Hello? Hello, is this working? Okay, if you can see and hear me, please say... This is Ross. My Magvel locked Ultimate Iron Man. If Ross is our Magvel locked Ultimate Iron Man, I know that you can see me. This is Ross. This is Ross, my Magvel locked Ultimate Iron Man. Today, we're going to be taking on one of Fire Emblem's greatest challenges. Okay. Excellent, thank you. It is working. Good morning, everyone. It's probably not morning for you. Oh, Jer- This is Ross, my Magvel locked Ultimate Iron Man. <laughs> Today, we're going to be taking on one of Magvel's greatest challenges. <laughs> He's young but courageous. He's young but courageous. Okay. Keep that in mind. I think that'll come up probably in the final stream. <laughs> How's Axbro Gaming going? It's actually going very well. Sort of. You'll see. Just joined. Is this Erica hard mode? You can't get me. Yo. Colm's kinda got cheeks, though. I think it's actually supposed to be his knees, but it maybe doesn't look like that. Alright, so I'm not sure how far we're going to get today, but we're definitely going to get to the route split, because I don't even think there's any new units to review before the route split. So we're, we're going to fly through these chapters compared to last time. We're probably going to let this uh, graphic play once, as in like this little tutorial thing, and then we're going to go ahead and start. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed last episode. Can I even call it an episode? I hope you just enjoyed last stream. I'm blind, not deaf. The Princess of Rene, a sword fighter on an important mission. Where are the Corsairs? Paladin. They didn't even use Seth. This is Franz. <laughs> I guess it could also be Ford. Knight. Gilliam. Oh, a heavily armored knights. Superior defense outweighs their poor movement and speed. No, it doesn't. Kevin? It's Kyle, I guess. Mounted knights with superior movement, well balanced for speed, defense, and attack. Oh my god, our Franz has base defense, by the way. Ross is unironically your favorite unit in this game. He's probably mine, too, but... He's still pretty bad. I'm actually not going to say he's horrible. We did give him, as a quick refresher, we did give him... Oh, look at this. Who's this guy? We did give him two stars. Reanimated cadavers of the recently dead. They are slow, but their claws are... Cr wow, look at those stats. We have Lolgers... What do we call the zombies? <laughs> Ramadan Kareem. <laughs> I'm sure Mulder celebrates Ramadan Kareem. He's that kind of priest. The Mogul. Zombozos? I like that. You're going Berserker or Hero Ross? We're definitely going Berserker. I don't know what kind of lunatic action. It's Ariados. I don't know what kind of. Madman actually goes hero, Ross. All he wants to be is a warrior, okay? You should honor his wishes by making him a berserker. Wow, this title crawl is really long. Great timing, it's over. Alright, let's go. I think this is the Ariados chapter. This is almost certainly the Ariados chapter. Erica suppresses her feelings of unease and continues to search for her brother. We just we just found her brother. He's really strong. Passing through Seraphu, the group crosses into the Great Ar. Uh, passing through this. Passing through Seraphim. Sorry, I just woke up. Uh, the group crosses into the Grotto Empire and encounters 
What did they encounter? We need more gold. A macro transaction. Ten dollar macro transaction from silver. I'm gonna be on a train in an hour. I'm gonna have to watch on mobile. But it'll be a good way to pass the trip, assuming surface doesn't die, that is. You're forgiven, okay? Forgiven for your transgressions this time. Where are you heading on that train? Hopefully it's not towards Seraphue. There's some trouble on the way. From here forward, there is no doubt that they are walking through hostile territory. In hopes of avoiding unnecessary trouble. Erica and company head for a sparsely populated region of Grotto. However, it is too late. Their movements are already being tracked. Visiting your mom, oh. I hope it goes well. The Oddless Plains. Now look at these two wholesome characters. I'm sure that neither of them are up to anything sinister. These characters aren't very subtle. <laughs> so tell me. You have ascertained Erica's whereabouts, have you not? Do fighters know what ascertained means? I have. I sent some of our men to follow the princess as she fled Seraphim. Do I have a... I do have a hood, but I'm not going to get it just for this. Oh, you're right. The guy on the left is a bishop. He can't be evil. They tell me Eric and her friends will be coming this way shortly. Our ambush is ready and waiting. There's no way they can escape. Like rats in a sack, as they say. <laughs> nobody, nobody says that. It's like rats in a sack, guys. It's going to be easy. Very good. Won't that wretched Volter be delighted? Imagine this guy calling someone else wretched. Now about Princess Erica. I hear she's quite a handful. They say her paladin withstood Volter's lance. Okay, that rumor is true. Her paladin is totally busted. Tell me, Novala, are you certain you can handle this assignment? Don't worry, everything is under control. <laughs> he doesn't know, he thinks it's fe 6 Marcus. I've brought along a certain something from Renee. It'll negate whatever futile resistance they offer. <laughs> he knows. Foul sorceries. He knows resistance is the best stat. <laughs> He's a mage, by the way, if you couldn't guess from his ridiculous robes. <laughs> Pray it goes as you say. Very well. Do what you must. I must return to the capital. Will you not stay and see how Erica looks in captivity? Unlike two other layabouts I know, I do not have such time to waste. Reeve means business. A mountain of tasks awaits me. My time is far too precious to waste on the likes of that royal whelp. Trifles such as these are best left in the hands of servants. Such as you. Yes, of course. Then, grapple well. Freakish old man! You should have watched. You might have learned something. I will capture the princess, and I will replace you at our master's side. Who could their master be? You will stew in regret, and I will enjoy every moment. I love how pompous this random mage is. Oh, he's not a mage. Swansine, member for 17 months. Thank you. <laughs> Princess Erica of Rene, accept your fate. You have nowhere to flee. What? Who are you? And where, where did you come from? You're as beautiful as I'd heard. And you're even wearing your bracelet. I suppose we should begin there. Would you surrender your lovely little trinket? Ah! My bracelet? Why do you want it? His Majesty desires it. That's reason enough. Once I present it to him, he will make me a general, a terrible class, and I will be famous. Come, hand it over. Do it quickly, and I'll leave you alive. Princess Erica, you will do no such thing. 
listen to this guy, okay? He's promoted. Of course not. Obedience will save you pain. You came all this way to aid Prince Ephraim, have you not? A fool's errand. Ephraim fell before the Empire's might. As we speak, he wastes away in a cell in Renval, meekly awaiting his execution. My brother! You lie! A pitiful worm like you could never defeat my brother. Calling him worm is foreshadowing, because this is the... Ariados map. Also, in Fire Emblem 10, Worm is a dark spell. Bah! Protest all you like. It does not change the truth. Ephraim has lost, and it was Grotto that defeated him. Sad sibling silence. Couldn't even make it one dialogue chunk without actually hitting an ellipses. In addition to an ellipses, though, we did actually hit. We need more gold! A 22 euro macro transaction from Dr. Darkrai 100. Hi, cheese, did I miss something? Finally started Jujutsu Kaisen, lost track of time. Very good, would recommend. I've seen up to the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen. You'll see when we uh, eventually do the Kanto Expansion Pack tier list premium. But I did film the intro for that already. If you've seen Jujutsu Kaisen, you could probably guess what the intro is going to be. You're not going to acquiesce, are you? Do fighters know what acquiesce means? Very well. Bring me the child. Uh, help me! Huh? Look familiar? She's a citizen of your precious Renee. What? Does she know what every citizen of Renee looks like? Now give me the bracelet. Do it. Or the child dies. It's actually an evil man in a robe saying do it. Do it. Or the child dies. No, please. You win. But I must have your word, the child will suffer no harm. Princess, wait, that bracelet. It's not worth a child's life. Forgive me, sir. Alright, well... He did say that if we give him the bracelet, he'll spare the child, right? I mean, does this guy look suspicious? I think we should do it. I tr okay, we didn't quite trust him. Hang on. I trust you. Okay, yeah. I trust him. Let's give him the bracelet. I don't know what's so important about it anyway. Seth won't tell me. Yeah. There can be no mistaking it. Next, your weapons. Take them off and hand them over. No. Surrendering our weapons would be tantamount to suicide. You demand too much of us. I see years of peace and idleness have not dulled the wits of all Renee's knights. Well, then my hostage has no more use to me, does she? Oh, such a waste. Wait a moment. I've just had a delicious idea. Have you heard of the giant Ariados prowling about this region? They'd appreciate a nice, hot meal, wouldn't you agree? You can't! No! What? What in the- But we gave him the bracelet! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Build an army. Trust nobody. Fire Emblem. Trust no one. I can't believe this guy tricked us. A $2 microtransaction from Karen, dude. Thank you for the... microtransaction. US loves FE7, does Japan love it, or is it whatever? I don't know, but they got a def- They definitely got a better version, so... I'd assume fewer people hate it. <laughs> this will be a delight to watch. Be sure to smash that like button. 
These fools will curse the day they were born to Rene. Why? Why would you? How can you do such a thing? This is war! There are no rules here. In war, you could do anything. Anything! It's so scary. You curs of Rene have lost. Your idiotic ravings mean nothing. This guy has more dialogue than some of your characters in Fire Emblem 7. Enough. Hold your tongue. What? I... We, the people of Rene, have long honored our allegiance with the Grotto Empire. And you invaded without warning. You ravaged our land. You killed my father. Even then, I told myself I must not hate Grotto or her people. If I gave in to my hate, the bond between our lands would be lost forever. I refused to hate. Instead, I lived for the day our nations would know peace again. But if this is Grotto's true face, if you could extinguish Rene without pity, without remorse, if this is the case, then there is no room in my heart for forgiveness, and I'll never give an important item to anyone from Grotto ever again. Keep that in mind. Impudent girl. The fighters know what impudent means? Do you expect your words to save your countrymen? They will not. Your beloved people will all die, as will you. You. <laughs> If you must curse someone, curse your dear princess. Help someone. Cry. Scream. <laughs> Are we going to get eaten? We're going to be fine. Someone will rescue us. That's, that's not screaming. It's nothing. And that's his only line. Oh no, not male villager. <laughs> My favorite character. Alright. This is the Ariados. This is the Ariados map. And it is Fog of War. So we actually might want to bring Colm. Five gifted subs from Jay Silva. Baguette isn't here anymore, but thank you for the gracious gift of convenience. Great five-hit pin missile. Torch staff for the boulder? Uh, we don't have a torch staff. Can we buy one? Why is Gilliam deployed? <laughs> I will take Joshua, actually. And Cole? Is, ne is Naomi deployed? No way, right? No, she's already... <laughs> she's already benched. Is Joshua one star? No, we gave him two. Alright, so we gotta save these villagers from the encroaching Ariados they're gonna go that are gonna get them. And the boss is up here, right? Do you need Natasha and the boulder? Is Natasha also deployed? Oh, she is. Well, who would we actually use instead, though? Loot, maybe? Okay, we gotta give Seth's items back to him. A two euro d a microtransaction from Svansi Ian. Mm. Microtransaction. Tomorrow I start work at 11 a.m. A.m. How convenient. Or how con. Do you work with Mulder? Are we Garrick Gaming yet? No, but we'll probably reach Garrick today, at least if we go Erica Root. I mean, we can take two healers, I guess. Don't forget the loot archer support. I don't know if I'm using them. We don't need two healers, right? Let's let's take loot. So the way the route split works, we are going to have to use a lot of units, so we might actually use 
Loot and Archer together on one of the routes. How many stars is Garcia? We gave him three. These inventories are a disaster. Maybe we should just go list view. But we definitely don't need this guiding ring. Erica's inventory looks fine. Archer's fine. Uh, Javelin on Seth? I don't think we were able to buy Javelins yet. Franz is looking good. I don't know why he has two Iron Lances, though. Erica is two stars, you're guessing? How about instead of guessing, you watch the content, pal. You want me to spoon feed everything to you? She's literally the first unit we reviewed, and you can't be bothered to watch that? Yeah, we gave her two stars. Is this Fire Emblem? It is. Vanessa's inventory looks fine. Molder's looking good. Let's give him the let's give him the mend staff, right? Molder needs the mend. Mended by Molder. You don't need that. You don't need that, Natasha. Joshua, we can give Joshua an iron sword. Especially the iron sword from the six-use iron sword from Seth. Right? He doesn't need that. Does Colm have so many swords? One of your swords to Joshua. <laughs> Loot's fine, and Ross has the iron axe, the hand axe, and the hatchet, and the torch. We should give the torch to somebody who can actually... The torch should not be on Ross. The torch should either be maybe on Seth. It has to be on a high mobility unit. So Seth or uh, Colm. If it's on Colm, then it works even more effectively, right? Because uh, thieves have extra fog vision. So we'll give it to, we'll give it to Colm. A uh, $5 microtransaction from Vanilla Physics. Thank you for the microtransaction. Mm. For the new viewers, unit progression so far can be described as coughing Erica versus Hydrogen Ross. For those of you who were, weren't here last time, I'll show you Ross's stats. Level 7 Pirate, 16 Strength. Ex very much above average. 10 speed is also above average. Uh, we we have 5 skill, by the way. We used a skill book. So, he's gigantic and also completely blind. His hit rate is a horrible. But uh, Wreck-It Ross is, is actually very blessed. Let's just give the torch to Colm. What else is Colm doing, right? Why Berserker over Hero? Berserker is so much better. Why would I go Hero? Berserker, you get more strength, the same speed, and you get 15% crit. Hero, you get swords. Lamau. <laughs> I guess we can also get an Iron Axe. Somebody had a random Iron Axe. I think it was Seth. Or was it Loot? What is Loot gonna do with an Iron Axe? Lighter weapons for bad con? What? I know Ross doesn't have the greatest con, but it's good enough to use axes after promoting into Berserker. Loot level 2 woodcutting soon. <laughs> Last room got me to play FP8 and your Ross is level 10 fighter with 4 speed. Oh my. Well, you chose fighter, so that's what you deserve. Well, maybe not that bad, but yikes. What is Loot gonna do? She's level one with six speed in that book. I don't know, our other units are pretty bad. Gotta put Colm... Formation? Gotta put Colm forward so that he can actually see things. Yeah, look at that. So Thieves have extra fog vision, that's why we're, we're using Colm. Put the horses in the back because they can catch up easily.
Mulder's got to be up there to heal people. And Colm has the torch, right? Perfect. Alright, so number one mission is to defeat the Ariados, because the Ariados are going to try and attack our villagers. And then we can do whatever. Probably going to have Vanessa save the village, I guess. Seems okay to me. And we're gonna get the- we're gonna have the sick battle preps music, good enough for Smash. Cause I'm really thirsty, I didn't drink anything yet. Are all the Chinese part of the final team? You know it. I already made the lances and magic thumbnails with Amelia and Ewan. Alright. Good morning, everyone. Cheers. It's a typo in the description. Uh, emblem should be emblem. Oh, look at that. It's loot. Everyone loves loot, right? Everyone loves it when you just point out and nitpick a minor mistake. It just makes the experience better for everyone. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Think you're, you think you're better than me, don't you? That's why you're, That's why you're talking down to me? Well, you're not better than me. I'm better than you, okay? I've spelled it in a new way that nobody else has figured out yet. Something you're doing? I tribute two interns. I can do that. And I summon the unstoppable Gate Guardian. Negate all added effects from casual creatures, but you still take the damage. I think this card also has a typo in it. I don't fancy your odds in this too. If you think you can spell properly, then why don't you cast a spell? <laughs> uh, I'll fix the typo after this. Thanks for pointing it out. Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa, not Leviosa. That's not right. I, I haven't seen that movie in like 20 years. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. That's it. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta glug more caffeine before we fight these... These Ariados, okay? These are formidable foes. Somebody on part one commented saying, why is Mulder four stars? They don't know, okay? They don't know. Wall stream. I have more. You hate this map? Natasha is better? That's definitely not true. <laughs> I'm not going to say that Natasha is strictly worse, but she's definitely way worse overall. I can't really think of any advantages she has over Mulder. I guess she can go Valkyrie, but Valkyries suck in this game. Natasha is the most NPC looking character ever added to Effie. I think that's actually Mulder. <laughs> Which is why people like Mulder. He definitely doesn't look like the hero of your Fire Emblem army. Is Natasha actually not better? Doritos are awesome. Pretty much all of your unit takes are, like, completely wrong. I know that sounds really elitist. I'm not going to play the Guardian graphic again, but almost all of your evaluations have been wrong. in some way it's a consistent pattern i've noticed it okay a more friendly way to say it would be that i disagree with all of them but of course i'm the one on camera i have a reputation okay so i have to say that you're wrong because if you're right that means i'm wrong and i can't have that be the case The 
might actually be better to train Natasha instead of Mulder because he already has Restore rank. Sounds like a pitfall to me. Better use Franz instead of Seth because Franz needs training and Seth's already good, right? They are right that Doritos are awesome, that's true. Well, in the moment, but when you get to my age, at the ripe old age of 30, maybe Doritos aren't so awesome, you start paying the price. What is that drink? It's artisan coffee, sugar free. Cheers, it's very bad. Franz is bad. They have a Nino profile pick. You can't trust a single thing they say. Uh, if Franz is so bad, then why is he an emote? Uh, but anyway, the, the non-condescending, non-meme answer as to why Mulder is better than Natasha is that Mulder has a way higher starting level, he has a way better staff rank, he has better base magic, even though Natasha does have a better growth. But N Natasha's base magic is horrendous, and she's a level 1 cleric in chapter 5. She's almost impossible to train. And her staff rank sucks. Base is overgrowths. Alright, let's, let's play this video game. I hope we don't get any other underleveled healers in this game, that'd be a real shame. First time hearing this song. We're, we're probably gonna die at some point on this map, but we'll see. Uh, Mog Killer one welcome to the YTC Institute. They're basically treating these villagers, or Renee sits, as YTC Institute interns. Speaking of which, a villainous character, Lord Zemnus 13. has granted us the gracious gift of convenience. Sinister music with Quillfish on screen. Thank you for the 10 hit pin missile. And No Bark Nomad. Nomads aren't in this game, but No Bark Nomad is, I guess. Welcome to the YTC Institute. We should probably put Colm on a forest tile, right? All right, let's see. Wow. Good thing we put him on a forest tile. A couple enemies over here. Let's see. Well, Ross is definitely our number one unit. I mean, aside from Seth, but whenever I say somebody's our number one unit, just you have to factor out Seth because Seth is always the best. But that applies to every unit you're talking about, so... You just factor it out. I don't think we have to worry about Ross dying, he's fine. I don't even- I think the only one that can reach Colm is this guy. There's no way he won rounds- okay. Two of them can reach Colm. We are on a forest, we are a thief. I don't think he's gonna die, but this is lunatic mode, he actually might. Can anyone reach Erica if she goes there? No. So may as well put her there. Honorary number one unit. These foot units. Well, let's just hope that Colm doesn't die. I don't think he's gonna actually die. Look at this movement, it's so good. Support? We are doing the Erica Seth support, right? We do have to sort of think about our supports. So Erica Seth, I think, is fine, right? It's not actually that creepy because Seth's actually not old. And then. I'm thinking Ross Amelia.
Seth is going Erica Root? Yeah, because... I think Seth is going Erica Root, because, um... Even though Ephraim does have the harder maps, he does get... Dusel. So he'll have his personal Jagan. Are you using Tana? Probably. Seth. What brings you, princess? How fair are you, Seth? Ever since the castle fell, you've been protecting me. Despite your own injuries. Would that I have served you better, my lady. You were not meant to see such things. You can't see me take damage. It's embarrassing. But my wound has closed up, and it does not affect my lance arm. That's why I can't use axes, because I got stabbed. Wait, show it to me. Look, the wound has closed, but it is not yet fully healed. Forgive me, Seth, for grabbing you so brusquely earlier. What made you think this, my lady? Your fighting is as superb as ever, Seth. True. But when you raise your lance, I see a flicker of pain on your face. As if you were merely enduring it. Bad move, by the way. But it only lasts a moment. Perhaps it is all just my imagination. Your Highness, please put your mind at ease. My wound has healed. There is no reason to worry. I would that were so, Seth. Please do not overextend yourself. I beg this of you. Positioning is very important in Dota. If you overextend, you're just asking to be ganked. Without you, I may not be able to continue this quest. True. You praise me too much, my lady. Not true. So I think, canonically, this entire time we're playing with wounded, nerfed Seth. So if he didn't get stabbed by Valter at the beginning, he would be even stronger. I guess it would just skip to the credits. Molder the boulder into the forest? Molder can take one lance. But there's no reason to actually put him there. Is it even possible to beat this game without Seth? I mean, it definitely is. This game's pretty easy. I say even though uh, Colm's... Okay, Colm... Could have gotten hit there. We actually got very lucky there. Well, this is fine. He literally gets one shot, by the way. F8 is probably the easiest Fire Emblem ever. 9 might be easier, but... I won't say that you're wrong for saying that this is the easiest Fire Emblem game. Okay, so Colm probably wouldn't have died there. He could have died if he got hit by the Axe Fighter, because the Axe Fighter literally one-shots him, but... We're okay there. Alright. Let's save this village. I heard there are monstrous Ariados living in the mountains to the east. They're said to be poisonous, so he's stocked up on antitoxins. It's antitoxins, strong stuff. No need to worry about poison with this around. Hey, why don't you go ahead and take one? Go on, you may need it. They might still eat you, but at least they won't be able to poison you. I like your optimism, kid. Oh, <laughs> we don't need this pure water. Alright, can anybody get to the fort? I really want Ross on the fort, because he's going to annihilate all... Oh, what about Fran... Franz on the fort? Franz on the fort? There's no way Ross can hit this guy, right? This is... <laughs> What a disaster. Oh. Okay, Joshua can kill this guy, right? Wow. Wow, look at that. With the iron sword. 13 damage with the iron sword. Are we sure this guy's two stars? A lot of XP. Do we chop the Lolger? If we chop the Lolger, then... We can chop the Lolger from this forest. And if we do it from the forest, then enemies can attack him. And he can reach the fort next turn, which is what we want. How's our hand axe accuracy? It's actually pretty good. <laughs> Chopped. Weapon level increased. 
Okay, we gotta get rid of this guy. And we have two Lance units. This is the most dangerous guy. I th Do we just Seth him? We might just Seth him. I, like, I don't want to deal with him. Let's just Seth him. Not doubled. Not doubled, hello? Feed the kill. Franz has the javelin, right? Yeah, let's give it to Franz. We can give it to Franz. Look at this. Look at this. Seth, when you raise your lance, I see a glint of pain, but then it fades in a moment. His wounds. Oh. Are we sure this guy's six stars? It's not a big deal. How fast is that mercenary? 13 speed, really fast. Really fast. It's not the end of the world or anything. It's just kind of unfortunate. With the iron sword equipped, Eric is going to be fine in the forest. Colm, if he goes to that forest, that one soldier can attack him, but one soldier's not going to kill him, right? We can at least weaken this guy with the fire tome. Wow, horrible. I want Franz on the fort. Well, there's no way that Colm can die. So I guess we'll just fire this dude? I, I guess. We just get the XP. If we light the entire forest on fire, that'll get him. Mulder doesn't actually have anybody to heal, I don't think, because Colm didn't actually get hit. Who do we support Mulder with? I forget what his support list is. I guess Mulder's just chilling here. I don't think he does anything. Uh, I don't want to move Colm because I don't want the soldier to attack anyone else. Mulder can support Colm. We're probably not going to be using Colm, though. Is Orson going to Ephraim Roots and Seth is going with Erica? Oh, this guy made a huge mistake. <laughs> nice armor. Lamau. Okay. Can I get skill, please? I can't hit anything. Oh my god. Hey, I speed's great, though. Wow. Okay. Mulder needs to help us. We're really fast, though. That's good. Our Ross is really good. Ouch. An enemy Cavalier. Enemy Cavaliers! Other phase. My god. This is, this is not your average Ross, though. Not at all. This guy's got... We're definitely speed blessed. 11 speed level 8 pirate is really good. So this is not real Ross performance. <laughs> Next we're going to see Ford camping all stats. Alright, so who do we put on the... If we put Ross on this Ford... What do these guys have? Do they have they have lances? And one is an iron blade. I wanna level Franz. I think Franz needs to go on the fort because he's worse. Wow. Lamau. Franz needs to go on the fort because he's worse. And we just move Ross forward. I think. Just in case, because this is live. Don't tell Kaga. Okay, so average Ross has 15 strength, 8 speed, and 8 skill. 
So ours is actually only slightly ahead in strength by one point, but we are ahead in speed by more than two points, and we're behind in skill by three points. <laughs> it turns out skill doesn't actually matter. I, I believe in the Franz Redemption, okay? I believe in the Franz Redemption. Here's the Franz Redemption right now. He's in a mode for a reason, okay? Five stars. Foul sorceries! It's okay, guys. The, the final boss is a mage, alright? Hey, we got speed. That's good. We, we literally have base defense. At least we got resistance. Yeah, he's base defense. We gotta deal with this guy. He's still hanging out here. How does Joshua do? Doesn't double. Steel Sword does 12, but this guy is so dodgy. Oh, this hit rate's terrible. I mean, what else are these guys doing, though? Oh, the light. Archer level? Having fun? Isn't hard? When you've got a magic... So I don't get speed next level. If we hit this guy, we can then get a Vanessa kill. Wow, okay. Making up for missing with Seth. Can I put Vanessa here? I think so. She'll, she should be fine. Excuse me? Is this enemy double attacking me? We got him. Yeah. Erica definitely needs Molder's healing touch. How fast was that chapter six merc? It's it, it had, he had thirteen speed. But this is a lunatic mode. This is a patch. This is not the vanilla game. So enemies are much stronger. Well, this guy's got flux tome. We're gonna chop these dudes. I don't want to get hit by this mercenary. That's it. But I, I don't think I can actually avoid that. If I go all the way to the bottom, no. I can't avoid that, but it's probably fine. I don't think Ross is going to die. Like, we have a lot of... We have a lot of HP. We'll be okay. We'll move Colm forward a little bit. Vanessa can get attacked. Colm can get attacked. Colm down there, I guess? So the Ariados come from here. We gotta save the villagers. Do we just have Seth kill the Ariados? I think we need... Maybe we need... They come from above? Oh, Ariados are to the north. Oh, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Five euro microtransaction from Savansi Ian. Thank you for the... Mm. Microtransaction. Can you come up with a rant about the participation trophy generation? I'm kind of addicted. <laughs> uh, sure. I think I need, like, inspiration, though. How many stars is Arthur? Well, why does Arthur get... Is Arthur part of the participation trophy generation? <laughs> Maybe loot's part of the participation trophy generation. Styles herself as a prodigy. Uses Redditor lingo to the max. Absolute agony to talk to this girl. All of this babble for six base magic. 
Who calls her a prodigy? I think she calls herself a prodigy. It's because nobody in school told her that she was wrong. Just because she sees a B plus on a paper, she thinks that she can go out and shoot fireballs at people without taking any criticism. These are the consequences of the participation trophy generation. Her magic school teacher should have told her to just sit down and shut up and then we'd all be better off. But no. She's gotta go ahead and go on TikTok and post her sick fireball no-scopes because she won a coin flip to fireball a mercenary in a forest. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Back in my day, that wouldn't have happened, okay? I guess it's not my day anymore, though. It's now the era of the participation trophy generation. What a shame. Well, times are changing. Ready to work. I sacrifice five Patreons. And I play the Wrath of Arceus. Destroy all video games wherever they are. Destroy mobile games twice. Maybe. Just maybe. Once each and every mobile device has been scoured from this earth, we won't have to deal with participation trophy generation snowflakes posting TikToks about ordinary events. Was that worth five euros? I hope so. Can we move Erica? I will move her like one forward. <laughs> You're sated? Okay, thank you. Uh, I guess we'll also move Joshua forward. He might hit something. Uh, where's the ominous music used in your videos come from? This game or Warcraft? Uh, you'll have to be more specific because there's a couple ominous music clips. This is probably fine. I think we're okay. Maybe we'll just move Seth up? In case he needs to rescue Franz from something coming up. This is probably fine. Wow, fi Franz, are we sure this guy is five stars? That's a really good hit rate from this enemy. Isn't Ross gonna get ganged up on? He's fine. Ugh. Ugh. This is lunatic mode. I don't like these enemy hit rates. They're way too high. Uh-oh. Nine damage. We are blind. Oh, that guy's the Iron Lance. Ouch. Three damage. Three damage. Oh, this is why we have the Javelin. I wish we had one more strength. That would be nice. Shouldn't have moved Joshua over here. Ouch. Enemy Cleric? I wish we had one more strength, and that guy would have died. They wouldn't have been able to heal him. Uh-oh. Okay, this is a little scary. Maybe Ross should have been on the fort. You're right. I'm pretty sure Joshua one-rounds this guy, right? Wow. Yeah, he does. With the steel sword. Well, now we're kind of scared of that mercenary, right? Because then that mercenary can kill Joshua if we get hit here. Ah, uh, we're fine. Is the same loot mod that has you do both routes and splits in the party? Yes. Well, we gotta move these guys because there's enemy cavaliers coming in. Very lucky that Franz did not get hit. Molder definitely needs to heal Erica. Erica with the rapier can probably kill this cavalier, but I don't know if we one-shot. If we don't one-shot, that's kind of an issue. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't think Ross can take all of these attacks, but he does have weapon triangle advantage. Wow. 
And the dragon shield. Yeah, sure. Let's chop this guy. Oh, ouch. Dominus Strikers for 2 was the one you used to line your Pokemon tier list. It's probably from Final Fantasy VII. The, uh, Those Chosen by the Planets, which is one of the... One of the tracks when you encounter Sephiroth. Kill the guy with the Javelin or kill the guy with the Iron Lance? The Iron Lance guy is more accurate. This is not looking good. I... It, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Are we sure this guy's five star? <laughs> It's not fair! I'm the greatest tactician in Magvel. That's a disaster. That's a disaster. That was actually like 92% accuracy. I can't believe we missed both. We're in huge trouble. We're in huge trouble. And there's Cavaliers coming from the left. We gotta get rid of this guy. This guy's very dangerous. Okay, Prodigy Gaming. Prodigy does 10 damage. Okay, and now he actually dies to the Rapier. It's actually good. Does Vanessa have a Javelin? She does, so Javelin Vanessa from here deals 8. If she did one more, then Eric would be able to kill the Rapier. She actually might be able to kill with one shot with the Killing Edge. Killed. Killed! Oh, an iron blade, thanks. Weighs 12. And we have 5 cons, so we lose 7 speed. Great. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna Seth this dude. Somebody's probably gonna die. That, that was a dis an unmitigated disaster from Franz. All right, Arthur has got a cower somewhere. Tower over here. This guy's just running away. That's fine. This guy would be dead if Franz had one more strength. This is bad. 47 hit. Ouch. We're gonna die to poison. There's no way, right? That's fine. Okay, that's a, that's a lucky dodge. Helps us out a lot. Nasty toxic. I'm sorry. Very upset. Are we sure this guy is five stars? We're so unlucky. <laughs> How could this be? Punished? Not, well, you say punished when you actually make a mistake. I don't think I made a mistake. I think I got extremely unlucky. <laughs> 
That's unfortunate. We're definitely not making this move. This move ruined everything. What if we do this? Now we actually win. <laughs> Chopped. <laughs> we didn't fight the spiders yet. Gotta deal with this guy. Iron Lance for 16 seems good. Ross has better defense. Well, we did give him the Draco Shield. Got him a terrible hit rate, right? Yeah, let's just Slim Lance. If we Slim Lance, are we in range of anyone? I don't think so. Well, that's fine. Where are the Aridos? They're sneaking around in the mountains. Okay, the Aridos are coming. Don't worry. Base defense Franz is rough, but not unexpected. I mean, by level 9, yeah, it is unexpected. <laughs> Molder with the heal. Now, what do we do about these incoming calves? Holmes should probably just refresh himself. This guy never levels defense in your experience? Well, your experience doesn't matter, pal. He does level on average. I'm thinking Erica against these Cavaliers? Because she does have the Rapier. But then she has Weapon Triangle Disadvantage? Like, ugh, I don't know. Probably just want to get loot out of this danger zone. If we put Erica there, she's definitely going to get attacked by this guy who has an Iron Lance. So I don't want to do that. I think we just want to let them attack Ross and then Ross kills them. So I think we actually just end here. Wow, we actually don't kill this guy. I should have equipped my Iron Axe. Why is Ross so bad? This guy's doomed. <laughs> 20 hit rate. Looking good. Wow, we actually killed this guy too. If we hit both. Yeah, we're blind. Oh, we don't even double him. There's no way we hit this guy. Yeah. Oh. No, that's fine. Where's the javelin guy? Is he gonna attack us or no? Ouch. Ross top contender for most fun? We'll see once we get Amelia. Okay, this is the guy that Franz failed to kill. Ross has no issues. Uh, he overkilled him by about 15 HP. Strength skill speed? Sure. It's fine. We'll get speed next level. I'm not worried. Good thing we used that Vulnary. <laughs> well, we would have been fine anyway. Okay, and there's the enemy Cavaliers. And Ross is healing up. Gotta get rid of this guy. With Joshua... We know that Joshua one-rounds this guy with the Steel Sword. Could take 12 damage. He's probably fine, right? Colm out here nearly getting one shot. He is base level, but I mean, he is a thief. Ouch. Joshua kind of has a lot of HP. <laughs> oh, Archer has a weapon advantage. This guy only has 2 HP. 
Mulder is not in a forest, which is a bit scary. I don't think these cavaliers can reach him. I think we got a Seth this mercenary. I meant to use the Silver Lance. That was a mistake. I meant to use the Silver Lance. Oh, punished. <laughs> That's punished. Rapier is not a one-shot, and I die. Killing Edge crit does kill, but I die, which is bad. How's our hit rate with the hatchet? It's really bad, right? It's actually not that bad. The hatchet. The Hatchet by Gary Paulson. The Hatchet! Good thing we got that skill level up. <laughs> the Iron Blade, thanks. I don't know the movement range of these calves there. Can one of them reach Molder? I think they can, but there's no way he gets one-rounded, right? I'm in a forest. Nine damage. Base defense is so rough, man. If we do that, then do we one shot with the rapier? I think we do. We're exposed to that axe fighter, though. But we are in a forest. I think it's okay. Dodging this would be very nice. That's bad. Is Ross still up to snuff? Our Ross is very good. Rapier, yeah, Rapier now one-shots. Maybe I should have backed up and javelined him. That might have been better. This guy still has one HP. There's no way our javelin even does damage. It does one. So if we had one more strength, we could do that. Can't believe I'm actually scared of this armor knight. I did, I can't put Vanessa there because this guy's just gonna chop her in half. Loot, attack, and rescue. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. Loot and run away. Hey, she's a prodigy, right? That means she levels magic and speed. Uh, she'll get speed next level. Alright, we are getting out of here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm scared of Franz dying, but he is in a forest. This guy can actually reach Joshua. There's no way he kills Joshua. How much attack does he have? 21 attack. There's 21 attack, and we have... He does kill us. This is the lunatic mode. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have to dodge it. Does he kill Colm? He doesn't kill Colm, right? 
21 attack. If we have 4 defense, he doesn't kill us. We have 3 defense, so he does kill us. He doesn't kill Arthur, does he? He also kills Arthur. These units get one shot. Maybe lunatic mode was a mistake. I think the best thing we can do is take the steel sword off him to increase his evade and just hope that he misses. And the Iron Sword is inaccurate. This is looking bad. Okay, good dodge. Franz, please. Please. It's not fair. At least we get a good level, right? If we get a good level, that means we're gonna die. Oh my god. It's not fair. I'm the greatest tactician in Magvel. It's not fair. What? <laughs> I fought so hard to say that this guy was five stars. He's gonna die. No, okay. Are we sure this guy's four stars? It looks pretty good. We were so worried about... We were so worried about Joshua, but they saw that we got a terrible level, and they want us to live with it. So they're gonna let us continue. <laughs> Did Ross steal all the luck? Sorceries. It's fine, we got res. Yeah, we survived the turn, so we have to keep the terrible level on Franz. <laughs> they're, they're doing this to me on purpose. They're doing this to me on purpose. Oh. Are we sure this guy is five stars? All these enemies. Look at all these enemies. Iron Lance, Javelin, Iron Sword, Iron Blade. This guy should probably get. Yeah, our hit rate's very good. Yeah. I think this is the play here. The only thing is that Erica can. Erica's maybe the only one who can reach this guy, so maybe she should do this. Oh, but she dies in two shots. This guy needs to retreat and get healed. We can reach this guy, but this guy has the iron sword, so there's no way we can hit him. Can we chop this guy? We do. Oh, we don't double him, but we just kill him. So sure. Ah! <laughs> that works. Now we can reach this guy. This guy has the javelin, right? Javelin's really inaccurate. Oh yeah, we're fine here, right? If we get hit here, though, we then have to dodge the silver lance. We didn't have to dodge the other lands. What was our hit right here? I think this is better. This is less risky. You think you can stand up to Erica the Eliminator? I don't know what Erica's title is. Strength?
like Lynn. Poison four. Poison four. Franz here. Can you kill this guy? No. Can we weaken with anyone? These Cavaliers do get slowed down by the forest a lot. And we, we still have Seth's action, so Seth can save us here. Which is the story of this game. Let's just do this. Really good avoid on the fort here. Molder the boulder with the patching. I think we actually have to use men because we're so injured. Seth, rescue Erica, and we run. I don't think he needs to rescue Erica. He's just gonna kill one of the Cavaliers. So which one is more dangerous? This one has an iron sword, so he doesn't do that much damage. Like, he can hit Ross, that's fine. I think this guy's more dangerous. Let's kill this guy. But she gets two-shot? Well, there's not gonna be two enemies to attack, because one of them is about to disappear. Uh, is this ROM bugged? There we go. That's, that's what I thought. One of them's about to disappear. Uh, actually, maybe we could have killed him with the Iron Lance because we double him. Oh, actually, that's actually kind of good XP. Alright, now we just have to worry about this guy's movement range. Arthur can definitely take one hit. That's fine. We know that Joshua's in huge trouble, so Joshua over here is perfectly safe. He can just heal himself, right? Let's just do that. <laughs> Let's just do that. I want to <coughs> drop loot. So I think we can just do this, right? Oh, hey. If I could actually get next to her, I, I could kill with the Iron Lance. Would you ever consider doing an Iron Man run? Sure. Although this is not that. We'd probably do an Iron Man for like FE6 because we already did a tier list for that. Don't forget to use the anti-toxin on France. Calm with the double? Nope. There's nothing freaky in the fog, right? I don't think there's anything in the fog that could kill us. No, we're fine. There's no way we die here, right? There's no way. Use a torch? I did. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Having fun isn't hard when you've got magic and speed. That's fine. It's pretty good. Put your faith in the light. That was scary. I will bring honor to my father and my kingdom. Light, guide my path. Don't tell Kaga. Alright, well, I don't know where the Ariados are, but they're coming up. Definitely need to get rid of these guys. 19 HP might actually be one-shot range for the Rapier. This guy's got it. This guy is toast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's toast. <laughs> oh. Chopped! Our only competent unit is this level 
99 woodcutter. <laughs> Can we one shot this guy, please? Imagine if we got strength last level, or the level before that. Wouldn't that be nice? Good accuracy. There's a message when the Aritos appear. Can we do the Iron Sword? Oh, we do with the Iron Sword, but... Rapier is one shot. Who's Molder healing? Arter. So let's just use a rapier charge, it's fine. Does Joshua kill with the steel sword? He does. There's nothing over here, right? I, I, I don't think... there's. We've fought so many enemies so far. I think it's safe to do this. Could also just dodge. Could we be playing the DS games? Maybe, but probably not Shadow Dragon. It's so hideous. This guy... He had some good levels before. Right, but defense is fine. Like that—that that wasn't that bad. It's okay, actually. But I, I would have liked strength. Molder is definitely healing Arter, but is Arter moving up? Is the question. I think he is, right? So we can move up and heal him. Well, this guy's got like no HP, right? We can just use heal. Shadow Dragon is good, though. I'm, it's, like, fine, but Shadow Dragon makes me want to blind myself, okay? If you want to become a demon hunter, first thing you have to do is play... First thing you have to do is play Shadow Dragon. It's so ugly. We can pick up Ross, right? We're gonna we're gonna rescue drop Ross and uh, I think Ross is gonna kill the Ariados. But we really need this guy, right? Are you winning Ross? You might be biased. Chow Dragon. I, I'm convinced that... So the reason why they had to make Awakening was because the series was dying. It was dying because Shadow Dragon assaulted your eyes so hard. Rescue Drop... I'm, I'm feeling the Rescue Drop Ross, okay? Ross is Ariados' number one enemy. This guy have a iron lance. That's fine. We can kill this guy, right? We cannot kill this guy. Are there enemies here that move? Probably not. If we put comb in this forest and use a torch, we can then see, right? I don't think anything can like one-shot comb. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Uh-oh. He's on the way! No!
I think we're fine. We're fine. This guy... If I put... Okay, he can't reach Colm. So if I put Franz here, he has to be able to take a hit from the mage. And he has to take a hit from this guy. And we are poisoned. Well, it's not like the priest is that high of a priority, right? I'm so scared. This guy's so bad. Hi, boss. Maybe you should have moved out instead of sitting there like, dude, what are you talking about? Are you talking to me? <laughs> you are you not? 14 damage. Ouch. Oh, get doubled. What a lulger. Oh, and then healed the combo. Oh, you're talking to the level boss, okay. We have two turns, which I think is fine. I think Vanessa can reach in two turns. But we need to... We need to get rid of this Lauldr, because this Lauldr is in the way. Does Franz double him? Okay, Franz does actually kill this guy. Poison. Ouch. Franz can kill a Lolger. Congratulations. Okay, and then we just have to make sure that Vanessa doesn't die in one round to this guy. A Horse Slayer is fine, right? He has 17 attack. And literally one speed, so we should be fine. Yeah, because we can just move and then we can block the Ariados next turn. Are Pegasus Knight's horses? I don't think so. Pegasus Knights are not horses, so we should be fine. It's a little unintuitive. Loot would say, uh, actually... It's not a horse, it's a Pegasi, so... Does guy have a javelin? He can't hit us anyway. I think this is totally safe. And Franz isn't actually in range of the... He's not in range of the... Has a name. He's not in range of the Horse Slayer, so he's fine. We can also just kill this guy. <laughs> oh no, he deals effective damage to us. What are we gonna do? Ouch. We're fine. <laughs> Problem solved. Wow. <laughs> Are we sure this guy's only six stars? <laughs> Pre-promote Paladin must have worse growths than the growth unit, right? Wow. Well, at least the game's not proving the six star rating wrong, right? Franz, aren't you embarrassed? We can heal Calm, right? Why didn't you drop loot? What are you talking about? Loot's right here. You alright? Okay, we can kill this lady. Erica, please. Ugh, 
I don't want to use the rapier. Well, it's only one ship, one charge. An elixir. Who is she holding? Like, what am I supposed to do, man? I explained my strategy exactly. You also literally saw it happen. What if I just stopped the stream every single time somebody had to ask a question that was easily answered by watching the stream? Expect me to cater to your every whim? Am I your manservant? No. What am I supposed to do? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. It all ends here. It all ends here. I tap three Patreons. I guess it's the mountain's volcano. Watch out, watch out. And I cast the crux of fate. Choose one. Destroy all viewers or destroy all YouTubers. Either way, I can finally rest. Why didn't you drop loot? Give me a break. We're carrying Ross. I think we just end turn. I don't think Colm wants to do anything. I'm new here. Uh, these monologues are so funny. What does it mean? Hopefully, it's pretty clear that I'm joking, right? Eek, an Ariados. Don't worry. No, go away. Please, somebody help. Help. Don't worry, child. Help is on the way. Help is definitely on the way. Don't tell Kaga. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, small, small issue with my plan. I can't actually drop re. <laughs> I can't actually drop Ross onto that because he is not a Berserker, but it's fine. The child is still saved because Ross can attack from two range next turn. Aridos doesn't one-shot us, right? There's no way. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're actually fine. All right, Mulder. Heal this unfortunate cavalry. Molder level? Magic speed? Speed next level. It's fine. It's fine. How are our levels so bad? We got two HP only levels on this map. How? The best level up we got this map was from our pre promoted paladin. the Ariados aura. This guy has a fire tome, so he's gonna attack Erica. 68 hit. 68 hit. Okay. It's a lot of XP for killing a priest. We actually can't put Seth in range of that mage because he's gonna die, but that's fine. I don't know. I don't have Volnery. Hey, cheese! I didn't work today. What did I miss? You missed some very, very sad levels. Very sad. I don't think anyone here is in danger of dying. Yeah, we're fine. 
And the, the, the citizens are saved, okay? The citizens are saved. Sixty hit. They are in a peak, so I can't really be that bad. Ah! Undertome, ouch. So what do I do here? My hit rate's gonna be horrible, right? That's actually not that bad. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Like, that's not that bad. I think we can kill them next turn on average. We could also rescue the citizens. Well, let's do it. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. What's our hit rate with the Slim Lance? We actually have to hit both. You only have to hit one here. Let's just keep that equipped. This is a free kill, right? He's definitely weighed down by Thunder. He's not weighed down by Thunder. That's fine. I don't think we're fine here. We're fine. You wonder if Ariados can use Volnaries? He can use Leech Life! We get Sword XP for doing this. Okay, Franz level. The Franz Redemption arc starts now. Strength, speed. It's fine, we'll get speed next level. It's, this is fine, that's fine. That level was fine. The issue was all the other ones. Seth is almost dead, which is not good. He definitely doubles this guy. I think we can heal Joshua and then have Joshua fight the Lulger. Still base defense, by the way. That's a real problem because Franz is a frontline unit. He's so squishy. I think we definitely want Erica to kill this guy, right? I think we're gonna killing edge him. Novala. How fast is this guy? She has nine speed. Uh, but he's weighed down by one. So he's eight speed. Well, Erica's really fast. I think we can double him even with the killing edge. So we should be able to kill him pretty easily. And Erica's super small, right? Yeah. So look at this. We can do this. I'm the greatest tactician in the leave, and then she can reach him next turn. Thanks, Seth. Okay, so we probably win next turn. Ever seen an Ariados like this? Got hit by every attack. Sounds like Ariados. Extermination complete. Wow, okay, I didn't know I had 11 HP. That was... Not risky at all. It's... Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Never punish. <laughs> that, that, that was... That was pretty scary. <laughs> that was actually just a huge mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, Franz, get him. Hey. 
Why did I use... Is this FE6? What's with Franz's hit rates? Are we sure this is 2RN? What is going on? You six defense. Alright. Killed? It's... Yeah, we'll just let him attack us. No, it can't be! They've made it this far? <sighs> Must I do everything myself? My killing edge uses. My killing edge uses! At least we got resistance. I feel like almost all of our units get res blessed. I don't care about res. Oh, we're safe from the Gorgon stone shot, yeah. My killing edge uses. I mean, we kill him with the Iron Sword, but we, we need vengeance for the citizens of Rene, right? Vengeance for the citizens of Rene. My vengeance! Uh, is this the end? Fame? No. Glory. The word I would use to describe that guy's face is sallow. So grateful, she's speechless. You're safe now. <laughs> I was so scared. So very, very scared. Have you seen Ariados' stats? Spooky. Thank Nothing personnel, Erica. Thank you, you saved us both. If you would like, please take this. So we went through that extra effort, rescue dropping Ross uh, to defeat Ariados. We saved all three villagers, so we get the best reward, which is... And thank you again. Orion's Bolt. The promo item for archers. Thanks. <sighs> Pest control Ariados disposal. For this. Hey, you can sell it for money, I guess. Bro, this chapter was a disaster. Actually catastrophic. There's only one way to deal with sadness. Cheers. Refreshed. <laughs> Horrific levels all around, except for Seth, so... At the very least, you guys know that Seth is six stars, but come on, I didn't need to convince you of that. Your late father, King Fado. Maybe it's Fado? I don't actually know. He ordered me to keep silent until the proper time arrived. However, with all that has happened, with Emperor Vigard's actions, I feel it, it imperative that I tell you everything, Princess Erica. You ready to hear the secret? the bracelet you wear? I am. As you know, princess, Rene houses one of the legendary sacred stones. Of course, it's in the temple. It's supposed to be a ward against evil. Yes, the true stone is. But the stone in the temple is nothing but a forgery. We've got graphics for everything on this channel.
The real sacred stone of Renee lies beneath the royal castle. Guarding it is a powerful seal, an infinitely complex lock of sorts. What? Is this true? Yes. King Fado, maybe it's Fado, confided in me himself. The sacred stones banished evil long ago and possess power beyond our ken. What about Ryu? The ancient kings of Rene felt it prudent to seal ours away. They feared its power could be misused. They thought to remove the temptation. The keys to break the seal were hidden too, forged into bracelets. The very ones that you and your brother, Prince Ephraim, wear. I'm, I'm glad that Seth reminded Erica that her brother is Prince Ephraim. Our bracelets? How could father keep this a secret from me for so long? They must know nothing of the bracelets. Tell them only if some great peril strikes. I, I like that phrase, tell them only. It comes up pretty infrequently, though. I can think of one other instance. No, Tyrion. They must not know what happened here today. Tell them only that Four Dragon is dead. And that... Oh, there, yeah, somebody knows. <laughs> Blackjack SP was typing it. Tell them only that the Lich King is dead and that Bolvar Four Dragon died with them. <laughs> it's the only other instance I can think of tell them only. These were King Fado. Maybe it's Fado's exact words. Can somebody look up? Is it Fado or Fado? If somebody has the katakana for the king's name, please actually type it, because I don't know. His name comes up a lot. Prince Ephraim knows nothing of the bracelet's secret either. The king told me this out of fear that something might happen to him. So that, when the time came, the two of you would learn the truth. The bracelets have such meaning. Yes, and we are the only living souls who know the secret of the Stone of Rene. It's Fado. Okay, thank you. It's Fado. Well, these are the only guys who know the secrets of the Stone of Rene, and also, I guess, all of you guys. <laughs> So if you want to learn the secret of the Stone of Rene, well, the only way you can do that. Is to smash that like button. And perhaps... Take up the employment opportunity. As one of the YTC Institute Patreons, thank you to all of the Patreons. This reminds me again of a Warcraft thing. There's a there's a video about the origin story of one of the main villains, a uh, Gul'dan, and it's about him basically getting banished from his village. He gets evil powers, then he comes back and kills everyone, and then at the end of this video, he says. No one has- no, at the beginning and of the end of the video, he says, No one has ever heard of the village of my birth. And then at the end, he says it again. No one has ever heard of the village of my birth. And no one ever will. Right after explaining the village of his birth to us for about three minutes. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. But Blizzard writing, I'm going to be honest, has, is usually actually pretty bad. It's just that it looks cool, so people forgive it. At least that's what I was given to believe, and yet. Inspiring music. Yet the Grotto Army has made it clear that they want me only for my bracelet. Yes, quite clear at that. Your stats are terrible, milady. I don't know how, but Emperor Vigard must have learned the secret somehow. And now... His troops pursue the bracelet, and we are no closer to knowing his motives. He would use the bracelets to unlock the sacred stone to destroy it in secret. Perhaps. Which means that my brother and his bracelet... If he's been captured, they may have the bracelet already, and he may be... <laughs> he may be Ephraim. Princess, we must take Novala's words to be true. We must hurry to Prince Ephraim. The enemy soldiers who fled the battle will have reported our location by now. If the prince is being held prisoner at Renville, I fear they might execute him once they learn of our approach. You're right. We've no time to waste. We must hurry to Renville. Let's go rescue my brother. Seth has so many lines in this game, I forgot how prominent he was as a character. $2 microtransaction from Jerbear. Thank you for the... 
Mm. Like this intersection. Only the YTC can get the stones of Rene. We'll see. Warcraft 3 human campaign is peak. What do you mean? It's kind of generic, but it is pretty good. It, the writing has definitely gotten worse. Waterside Renville. Fabulous Plains. Frozen Throne stream someday? Eventually, okay. Rumors say that Ephraim has been defeated and taken prisoner. Now Erica must find a way to rescue her brother from beneath enemy eyes. Erica's company rushes toward Castle Renville, where Ephraim is being held, allegedly. Surrounded by lakes, Renville is a natural fortress, all but unassailable. A lone bridge, held by the enemy, is its only entrance. Erica has only one choice. Erica decides to confront Grotto's soldiers head on, head on, applied directly to enemy lines. Chapter 7, Waterside Renville. You actually use Ross here in the speedrun because he can cross the river. <laughs> my, brother is in, my brother is somewhere inside that castle, allegedly. Renville is surrounded by lakes. The only entrance is the bridge to the main gate and it's well guarded. Castle Renville is a natural stronghold, easy to defend and difficult to assault. We must plan our attack carefully. I agree. Princess Erica, please allow me to fight beside you. I know I've gotten terrible level ups, but this micro celebrity YouTuber said that I was five stars. My elder brother Ford is in there with Prince Ephraim, Sir Kyle, and Sir Orson. Let me help you set them free. <laughs> There's nothing to discuss. We will fight. I'll take care of the bench. Hour of your reunion is not far off now. Thank you, Mulder. I am yours to command, Your Highness. We're with you all the way, right, Dad? Don't work yourself into a lather, Ross. I'll be watching you over you from the bench. In the heat of battle, a good warrior remains calm where lesser men do not. Also, do you need glasses, son? I've been meaning to take you to the doctor for those. You anything stolen? I'm your man. Of course, my blade's no joke either. It's funny, because that statement itself is a joke. I'm sure I can help if you'll let me. I'll keep myself safe. Absolutely not. Who let these guys off the bench? You can't possibly consider fighting without my genius at your side. I'll, I've definitely considered it. In fact, I think I will. I've yet to repay you for your help. Help! I, I've yet to repay you for helping me fight those abominations. Please, let me stand by your side a while longer. This is trouble written all over it. Bet you all it's a trap. I think you will actually win that bet. Ah, well. My luck's gotta turn around sometime, right? 99% of gamblers quit before they win it big. I will bring honor to my father and my kingdom. May the sacred light surround us and protect us all. I guess you could ask the light to guide our path. Well, princess, let us prepare for battle. Brother, I'm on my way. Let's go, let's go, Erica. Really like the battle prep music. Okay, is there anything to steal on this map? I don't think so. This might be the energy ring. Oh, there is. We gotta get this. We gotta get the energy ring, but are we fast enough? We are, we are. We have to get this energy ring. We have to get this energy ring. Ballista here. Ballista here too, but we <laughs> have to need me. <laughs> Alright, so we have to deploy Colm, because we have to steal that. Ross definitely wants the energy ring. I think Ross is going to cap his strength in tier 1. He doesn't need the energy ring. Uh, 
pick units. Yeah, it looks good to me. <laughs> so let's check our inventories. I really can we we can't buy javelins yet, right? I think everyone looks fine. Hans is okay. Ross is <laughs> Ross is Ross is carrying the entire armory with him. Maybe we should give him a Volnary, right? He doesn't need Are there even enemies to Halbert on this map? This is no cavalry. We don't need well Murray. He's got the Knight's Crest. We can probably one-shot this dude. Just exit back to map and buy a javelin. I don't think we can buy javelins yet. I guess we'll keep the halberd in our inventory. Uh, we have to... We don't need the torch here. There's one cavalry that comes as a reinforcement. Okay. Joshua's fine. Luke's fine, yeah. Okay, so let's check our positions. Oh, Chapter 2 shop has javelins? Oh, okay. We don't actually- but I think we're okay on javelins. We'll buy them eventually. Do we just Ross chop these guys, or do we send Ross up here? Like, Ross can chop these guys. Like, this map is actually really easy, right? Ross chop these guys, and then Franz with the sword can probably take those guys? Yeah. Ross is stronger than Seth? Ross is stronger than everyone, in terms of just straight-up strength, but... 17 strength. Alright, I think that's probably good. I don't think Joshua's really gonna do anything. Hello! My name's Ross from Eid. I'm the greatest warrior in the village. <laughs> Chopped! <laughs> Skill speed? We actually don't need strength. Oh, yeah! You're too slow! Are, are we sure this guy's two stars? I don't know. Wow. Our Ross is super blessed. This is actually very, very lucky. He also has 16 luck, by the way. This guy is actually disgusting. <laughs> Super good. This is not average at all. Ours is very, very good. This is also not average at all. This guy is very, very bad. Oh, Steel Lance. We can probably double him. Don't worry, Ross. I'm here. And Mulder can heal him next turn. Uh, I guess we'll... I don't know. I guess we can visit this house. Why did they put a ballista over here? Like, what is this going to shoot? Tirado is the new master of Castle Renval. He's supposed to be an adjutant to General Volter of Grotto. Who knows, though? Rumors say he's been plotting behind Volter's back. You should watch where you step. Thanks. No, our Franz is a disaster. It's, he's so bad. Gotta get the pure water.
I guess Seth is over here. We can have Vanessa fly over there later. Now let's just have Seth uh, here. We can to build the support with Erica. We're minus two speed, minus two defense. Are we really? Oh, skill blessed. Now we're fine. Franz is skill blessed, which means he's good. And Ross is skill screwed, which means he's bad, right? Seth should stay back to bail, the, bail out the others. Yeah, that's pretty much his job, right? We're under attack! Rouse yourselves! General Valter's adjutant, Lord Torado, has charged us with defending the castle. I'm pretty sure that when I played this game for the first time, I had no idea what adjutant meant, and I just kind of ignored it. Show them the might of Murray's brigade! Don't let anyone near the castle! Get him, Franz! Franz versus the Lolger. Looks five stars to me. Versus average Franz, ours is minus two speed, plus two skill, minus 2.5 defense, minus one res, and plus zero everything else. I'm actually very concerned about the minus two defense. Like, that's actually very bad. Okay, we could actually do this. This is probably safest. Oh, Steel Axe. There's no way we get hit. Who do we support Franz with? Maybe his brother? I don't know if we're going to use his brother. Franz and Ford. Everyone says Ford. Okay, I guess we're using Ford. We can do this, right? That's probably safe. Loot's over here. Ross isn't crossing the river. No, Ross has got to give the pep talk to Franz. Build your own supports, okay? Hey, you're Franz, right? You're a royal knight? That's so cool! Knights never visit my village. Hey, the enemy's gonna attack you next turn, right? You can do it, bro! You got weapon triangle advantage. I know your level ups haven't been great so far, but hey, you've still got room to grow. I believe in you, pal. Build your own sea support. We're gonna get it now. It's XP for Mulder. It's only a C support. It's only a C support. You can't expect too much. I need healing. 60. I think we actually have to mend. Oh, yeah. We're using Amelia, of course. Do this. Okay, we got a Franz level. We really need defense and strength. We need everything. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I, I still want defense, but that's fine. This guy is 23 HP. I think we can one-shot him. I think we can actually one-shot him. Are we sure this guy's two stars? Seems pretty bad to me. Albert? <laughs> yes, the anti-cavalry weapon, the halberd. <laughs> <laughs> nice robes, kid. <laughs> Actually disgusting. Is Ross actually two stars? Yeah, he's really bad, on average. Just 
just put Erica here. What are they gonna do to, do her? Nothing. Shoot her? Fine. This guy has the energy ring, so keep that in mind. We gotta steal the energy ring. I know we're in right. There's no way we get like doubled and killed, right? We're a thief. We're fine. We could be attacked by that mage. The mage and the archer together. There's no way they kill Joshua, right? No. And loot in the back. If Erica gets hit by the Steel Axe, she dies. Does this, does this guy even have a Steel Axe? Oh, he does. There's no way Erica gets hit by the Steel Axe. There's no way. It's impossible. See? Wow, we could have gotten crit there. Two shots us. That's kind of scary. Seven accuracy. This is lunatic mode. It is base level calm, but can I actually get? I can actually get. Look at this movement range. Pretty good. And we double like that. This is actually very decent damage. Erica cannot reach that axe fighter. Can attack here. That's pretty terrible. What else are we doing though? Kills with a crit. Nope. Oh! We we need strength. No noodle arms, please. The noodles! The noodles! Big problem. to look a lot like Lindis. Eleven levels. Eleven levels. Three strength. That's not even that far below average. Can we get a... Vanessa can attack from there. We definitely have to heal Colm. We want Colm to steal from that mage, right? Can this mage even reach? Almost no one. Can't leave Joshua there because he actually dies. Can we even kill this with an- we don't double this guy. What in the world? How much damage does Vanessa do? I'm just checking here. We don't double this guy, that's crazy, but we deal 9. Okay, so Colm plus Vanessa does kill. As we picked in yesterday, it went really well. It was fun. Everyone showed up. What's Ross doing? I think Ross is just he's doing whatever he wants. Like, what are they gonna do to me? Nothing. I definitely shouldn't have the Halberd equipped, though. I'm just gonna equip the Iron X. Like, I don't care if this guy attacks me. Does he think he can win? If I go here? I'm safe, yeah. We really need strength. Vanessa's very weak. Foul sorceries! More important stat first.
luck. Why does Vanessa only have 11 speed? Good question. This is a very good question. Very good question. I'm gonna hide in this forest. Look, we're building supports. I think this axe fighter is coming over. I'm not really that worried. Now that's movement. Prince Ephraim. Well, gracious me, I haven't heard anything about him. Oh, but now that you mention it, there was a big commotion a few days back. I guess the soldiers were chasing somebody, but... Well, I was so tired, I fell asleep and missed the whole thing. Fell asleep, you say? Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never complete my research. The beds must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Isn't that a bit much, sir? Burn down to their frames! No one goes to sleep until our research is complete. Damn it! If my grandma abandons me, I'll never hear the rumors about my brother. Oh, Kanto. Are any of our units actually above average? I think it's just Ross. I think everyone else is critically screwed in some way. But Ross is doing well. Are you sure, buddy? He's so scared of Ross, he attacked Erica. <laughs> what? What happened to Garcia? He's on the bench. We're pretty deep into this chapter, right? Don't tell Kaga. Alright, we'll aim to steal the... Aim to steal the energy ring next turn. I think we can do this. Yeah, we'll give the kill to Erica, right? Did you know that Ephraim is the Black Knight? No spoilers, bro. These guys just have iron swords, right? Yeah. Dude, base defense Franz is so rough. I actually don't think Seth doubles these guys. So let's actually put Seth with the Iron Lance. Holm can go here. There's no way they attack Ross, right? One of them might attack Ross. Let's just move these guys up. Fun fact, Thunder Tome has crit. Yeah, we, we saw it had a crit chance against Joshua. But we know he's unlucky, right? to get attacked there? No, it's just fine. I'm actually gonna put Ross here with the hatchet. If we're in the forest, we have to have the hatchet equipped. Ooh, Joshua is still hurt. Well, they're healed someone, right? Ballista? Well, we don't tell Kaga. 
45 hit rate. Hey, they do four damage to us. It's the Dra wow. It's the Draco shield. Wow, look at th this. This is Seth. Okay, perfect. And we can steal from this guy. That's big damage. Scary. Oh, okay. I guess that's all right. All right, this guy's got 12. How much damage do we deal here? Double, that's crazy. We can probably just Iron Lance this guy, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. This guy's got 17 HP. Magic chip? Magic's pretty accurate. Magic is everything, I'm told. Terrible accuracy. 2RN, though. 2RN. Two 2RN. Average results, right? Rapier is a kill with great accuracy, so let's just do that. Oh, sorry, I should really watch where I'm going. <laughs> See ya. Just bumped into that guy. Hmm. Are we sure this guy's a thief? Great thief level up. <laughs> we didn't even get speed. <laughs> we can have Joshua kill this axe fighter, right? Holm can become a great assassin. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying it, pal. Let's just chop this guy, right? Alright, well, this mage is actually kind of dangerous. Ooh. The hatchet? The hatchet. We can javelin him from here, right? Something is extremely wrong with this picture. This is unacceptable. We might set this guy. Patch it into Iron Lance might work. Ouch. It does work. And if we miss, what is our backup plan? Our backup plan is trade Javelin to Seth, and then Seth does it. I think we got that strength level up. Vanessa gets doubled, but not Ross. Yup. <laughs> I mean, the javelin is heavy. Okay. How scared are we of this ballista?
there's n I, I don't think it one shots Vanessa because if it did, they would have just done that last turn instead of shooting, trying to shoot Joshua. You sure, buddy? That's a lot of damage. We're just weakening him for frogs, it's fine. This is definitely fine. Wow, nice hit rate, pal. Looks like a free kill. I'm more scared of that mage, but I think Joshua can one round him. They're gonna shoot Ross for some. Okay. These thunder tomes are kind of spooky. All right, it's going well. It's going well. Don't tell Kaga. There's no way we can double this mage, right? This is so sad. Can we one-shot this guy with the Iron Lance? We actually can with a decent hit rate. And we don't die, right? We survive with one HP, so let's do that. Gotta use our Pegasus Knight to move two tiles. And we're just gonna slice and dice this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, um. oh yeah. There we go. Pretty good. General Seth, watch me go! Are you watching, General Seth? I'm gonna make you proud! Foul sorceries! You're proud of me, Seth. I got resistance. We still have base defense. Base defense is really bad. But our speed and strength are getting okay. Okay, I don't want to deal with this guy anymore. He's dead. Molder, can he reach? I don't think he can actually reach Ross. Oh, no, he can't. Uh, I guess he can reach Joshua. We're still minus one speed for Franz, which is pretty bad, but. Chop these guys. These guys are so weak, I don't actually want to chop them, because I want to give the experience to other units. Ross is too strong. At least we can build this support here, right? I wonder who we give the energy ring to. Nice slim lens. Oh, I forgot we were injured. I guess we're fine. <laughs> hey, he wasn't even weighed down by that slim lens. Strength, speed. Hey, we got the glasses. Skill. It's fine. We'll get uh, we'll get the speed next level. Oh, I can't reach Ross. Ross is actually kind of injured. It's fine though. I think here is in range of that guy. Equip our iron lance. We're probably fine. Erica might need the energy ring. Yeah, her, our Erica's really bad. Skill demonstrated. Gotta build this Erica support. I think these guys just hang here and just build their support. That's fine. Maybe Vanessa can swoop in and get another level. And I don't want to move Ross forward until I heal him. 
It's fine. It's not an LTC. Hey, maybe we double this guy. I think we do. I can't believe I'm praising this guy for one rounding Lolgers. But Arthur is afraid of Ariados. Ariados looks pretty scary. Look at that. We're so beefy. We brought the Halberd to one-shot the boss, so let's do that. Can Franz Javelin these guys? He actually can. There's no way he dies, right? There's no way. So who besides Amelia and Ross were we definitely using? You're forgetting Ewan! We gotta make sure we don't get shot by an arrow. We're probably fine, right? Oh, nine damage. It's actually kind of a lot. Our defense is so bad, man. The other archer doesn't even move. One tile short. Iron Lance. We do double. And this guy attacks us, but that's fine, because we can heal. Sure. I guess we are, we are weighed down by the Javelin. I think we could just double attack that guy. On player phase, so it's fine if we don't counter with the Javelin. Anyone that Molder can heal? Not on the way to... Patching up Franz. Do we even need to heal Franz? Because he's not actually going to have another turn. He's not actually going to fight anyone else. It's just going to be Ross. I need the XP. I need the XP. Does Naomi count as a trainee? I don't think so. We, we are going to get a Molder level next turn. I think we can one-shot the boss with the Halberd. That's the plan. And it is a Seize map. Nine damage. The base defense. The base defense. Alright, let's get that Molder level. We actually do have a Guiding Ring. We just don't have anybody to actually promote yet. We, we need magic and we need speed. Those are the stats we care about. Foul sorcery! We got resistance. Oh Our molder is so bad. How far below average is our molder? I think he's like minus two in magic and speed. He's really bad. can kill this archer. Have we gotten any crits this stream? I don't think we've gotten a single one. And we used like four killing edge attacks. Okay, do we one-shot this boss? I think we do. Oh, he has the steel sword equipped. Ayurka had one. Knight's Crest. It is droppable, though. 
We could get him to equip the javelin and then chop him, but I think we... Getting doubled is really bad. Look at this. This guy's stats are gigantic. It's the lunatic mode. Alright, how do we do here? We don't double him, but he doesn't double us. 19 times 2. That does kill him, right? So we should let him attack us, then we attack him. Throne healing? So we're not going to attack him. He attacks us, then we attack him. A ballista have failed? How could this be? <laughs> Master Tactician Murray. Ugh, I guess it's up to me. 10%? Is this FE6? Ouch. Oh yeah, we got him. We do die if he hits us. I don't think Mol Molder definitely doesn't get doubled by the Javelin. Actually, this heal doesn't do anything anyway, right? Because if we miss and get hit, we have to escape anyway. So this is actually just a mistake. Oh, we got him this time. Erica the... Okay, we're fine. Lord Dorado. Were we merely pawns? That's just Lord Toronto. Strength. Please. That's a good level. Are we sure she's two stars? Tap. They said they wanted her only for the bracelet. Disgusting. They, they should want her for her stats. Great. Seized. My brother is somewhere in this castle. Seth, we must go inside. Hold, Lady Erica. Look. In the shadows. A figure. Ah, oh, an enemy soldier! No, he's blue, he's not an enemy. Princess Erica, and... Is that you, Seth? Sir Orson. Why are you here? You should be with Prince Ephraim. Are you alright, Orson? If you're here, my brother must be here as well, right? Yes. Prince Ephraim and I were both captured by Grotto forces and held here as prisoners. I just managed to escape myself. A chance to escape. That's what I had prayed for. I will bring honor to my father and my kingdom. And the light guided me well. I am a paladin after all, which means I'm a good guy. Orson, are, are you well? Your face is so pale. Grotto's men, don't tell me they've... No, it's nothing. But Lord Ephraim, I cannot say whether he's still unharmed. What? Where is he? Where's my brother? If he lives still, he will be in one of the deeper cells where I was held. Head down this corridor into the dungeons, quickly, before reinforcements arrive. Thank you. Looks can be deceiving. And words are but air, but the nose knows. <laughs> Smells like deceit. I don't know. I don't know. His face is so pale. Oh. <laughs> Chapter 8. It's a trap. I wonder what happens in this chapter. 
This way, Princess Erica. I feel like they could have named it something a little less obvious. <laughs> Prince Ephraim is being kept in a cell back here. Very well, let's go. Sir Orson. How long ago were you taken prisoner? Some two weeks passed. Prince Ephraim and I were forced to surrender. We've been held captive here in this dungeon since that black day. Did you gain any news from your captors during that time? Unfortunately, no. Not a word. Our daily meal was brought to us by servants from the neighboring village. They were instructed not to speak to us, and we heard nothing of the war. Tell me, Seth, how fares Rene? Rene has fallen. King Fado. The king is dead. Dead. My king. My apologies, Princess Erica. I have served you poorly. You're not to blame, Sir Orson. We must look to the future, not find fault in the past. The Grotto Army pursues me in hopes of acquiring my bracelet. My brother wears this bracelet's twin, and he's in danger too. Bracelet? Oh, I remember. Prince Ephraim still wears the bracelet. And Grotto is after them? If that's the case, Princess. Perhaps you should entrust the bracelets to someone else. Your stats aren't very good. Perhaps, but... Give them to me, or Seth. Let someone you trust guard them. Maybe consider giving them to Seth. If the Empire desires your bracelet, you are in danger as long as you hold it. For your own safety, Your Highness, please. What say you? We must not allow the Sacred Stone of Rene to be taken. Orson, how did you know that the bracelet was related to the sacred stones? Only Seth knows that. <laughs> Build an army. Trust nobody. Fire emblem. Trust no one. I don't know, something's pretty suspicious. Everything you say is true and sensible, yet... Sir Orson, I'm sorry for this, but please give me your weapons. Seth? What are you talking about, Seth? Can't you see I'm unarmed? Do you think they allow prisoners weapons? What kind of injury have you taken that you suggest such foolishness? Very rude of you, Orson. If I'm mistaken, then I will give you all due apologies. However, there are questions I have that I cannot answer. Too many questions. Why did no enemy reinforcements come from the castle during our battle outside? That last chapter was really easy. How would you escape your cell and yet leave Prince Ephraim in chains? How do you know of the tie between the bracelets and the sacred stone? Seth, there is some misunderstanding here. I... Why? Why do you conceal a blade within your doublet? What? Very well. You haven't changed a bit, Seth. If only Erica had been alone. You, however, simply will not be deceived. Curse that nose of yours. Orson, what is the... Orson, why did you betray Rene? My fondest wish will be granted. Spend the rest of my days in the embrace of my loving wife once more. What are you saying? That's enough. You've done well, Orson. I'll take over now. You may return to your beloved wife. Wait, he's a red unit! Oh, I can't believe we trusted him. It's a trap! How could we have known? Who are you? Oh, no, that's Seth. Who are you? We've never met. I'm Torado. <laughs> Loyal and talented aide. Dev oh, lab aide. DeValter, general of the Grotto Army. Hear that, monsters. And you are General Seth of Rene, yes? I thought to catch a little bird in my net, and it seems instead I've snared a hawk. Good hunter level. Where's my brother? Ah, yes, your brother. He's not here. 
<laughs> the coward fled Lord Walter's pursuit, and they removed pursuit, which means that we couldn't actually stop him from escaping. Somehow, he escaped the castle. Somehow, Palpatine returned. And escaping under these conditions. <laughs> Do you think we're playing FE7 or FE5? Such stubbornness is quite annoying. I was going to say FE5, but I was also going to say 776. It was my cunning that led us to turn this unfortunate blunder to our advantage. I spread the rumors myself. I led the villagers to believe he was our prisoner. Good thing that Grandma fell asleep and didn't hear the whole story. What better trap with which to catch his sweet, devoted sister? My brother escaped? Yes, but your no doubt emotional reunion will have to wait. Until the afterlife. <laughs> Let's end this, shall we? First to destroy the bridge and cut off your only avenue of escape. All soldiers, to arms! Kill the princess. Take her bracelet. The bridge. Maybe this is Thracia 776. Princess Erica, we have to get away from this place. But how? The bridge is gone. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. Blast it. They actually blasted the bridge. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. I'm so sorry. I... To arms, men! Muster for battle. We can give all of our silver hand recruits plus two, plus two. Franz is definitely looking like a silver hand recruit. Uh, how's this looking? There's a chest. Ooh, there's there's three chests. Any stealables. Lots of steel lances, which is not quite what I oh a door key. That's not a stealable. No stealables. Ooh, longbows, gotta keep that in mind. Good luck with the Erica level ups. We did get a very good one. Okay, so we do need Colm here. Look at all these armor knights. We know who's gonna deal with those guys. Are there enemy thieves that go for these chests or no? Stealable lockpick that spawns later on. Okay, so there are enemy thieves. Did the five star cav redeem himself yet? His defense is very troubling. There's an enemy thief, but he goes for blood instead of for the chest? Okay. There are thief reinforcements. Alright. But the time to get the chest is pretty lenient. Yeah, we might actually be too slow to steal the lockpick, because we actually have... We base... We're, we're level 2? Well, we got one level up. And on that level up, we got strength, skill, and, like, defense... They come from the stairs beneath the throne room. Okay, so they come from here. Okay. Who do we give the energy ring to? Ponder that question. Because I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
We're back. So energy ring is probably going to either Erica or Vanessa. Erica's a main character, right? How bad is Mulder's magic? I, I don't know if we got a single magic level up. We only have five. Save energy ring for Amelia? No. Can we keep energy ring for a later character? I want to use it now. Energy ring's not going to save Amelia. Joshua doesn't need it. Seth doesn't need it. Five strength, calm. Eight strength. Seven strength. Use it on Colm, it fixes his only weakness. Let's give it to Erica. Vanessa has lances. Erica's the main character. Hey, sorry about snagging that bracelet from you earlier. I hope this ring makes up for it. Thanks, Calm. Put a ring on it. Ten, look at that, 10 strength. We're level 13, by the way. Erica's the main character, and she's force deployed. Why wouldn't you use her? I guess these deployments are fine. Isn't Seth the main character? Why use it to fix a unit? Double down on Seth or Ephraim? It's their two fixed units. Why would you give it to Seth or Ephraim? They don't need it. The pitfall is using it on characters that are actually hopeless. The correct choice was probably Vanessa, by the way. That was the correct choice. Any inventory management we have to do? I don't think so. Got the javelins. And I don't think we can go back to the world map. You should use stat boosters when they when they actually do make units good, when they reach an important breakpoint. But if you use a Draco shield on like Arter who has two defense, he's still going to die. In that case it's useless. Using it on Erica who doubles and wouldn't kill without it but does with it, that's actually useful, but it still should have gone to Vanessa. Great chapter title. Alright, we definitely don't want Molder at the lead. What in the world? We can start off by chopping a dude. And Franz can probably kill this Lulger as well, then get patched up. Or he can go kill... Oh, he can, kill... He can go he can go over here. Can he reach the pillar? One, two, three... No, he can't reach the pillar because he doesn't have enough move. But with a Lance, he's probably fine against this, these guys. As long as he doubles this... If he doubles and kills this archer, which I think he does, we're probably fine against these guys. I want to move Joshua up here. Seth in the back is the best movement. Okay, I think this is okay. And Ross is gonna chop all of these dudes.
two hours for prep. This is probably fine. I don't know if this music is appropriate. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> we knew this was fine. Okay, since Ross super kills this dude, we should maybe use the pillar for the unit that actually needs the help. Can we double and kill this guy with the Iron Lance? I think we can. Yes! Very good, very good. Wish we could reach the pillar, but it's fine. And we get a great Franz level here, right? I, I need defense so badly. Yes! <laughs> yes! speed. I'll take it. Great. We're still below average, but hey, I, I'm thinking this guy is looking. I like five stars. I don't know. It's pretty good to me. This is, this is lunatic mode. There's no way he dies to these guys. They don't have like a... Yeah, no. There's no horse slaying swords in this game, I don't think. How does Vanessa do? You double this guy, right? You definitely- okay, you do, but you don't quite kill. Chip, and then... Chip and kill? Oh, wow. That's good. You think you can stand up to Arter the Attuned? My XP! <laughs> I, I wasn't ready. I didn't think he would crit them. And we can just walk up to the knight next turn. This guy is obviously extremely dead. Ah! <laughs> does this guy move? I doubt it. But if he does, he probably doesn't kill Erica, so I don't care. And that'll give Mulder somebody to heal. Alright, we just gotta make sure that Mulder doesn't die to either of these guys. I can actually reach Erica. That's actually kind of scary. I don't think Erica dies, though. Just in case, we did get a very good level. I know it's only turn one, but don't tell Kaga. Home choke this point. Which way are we actually sending our army? Do we go this way? We can also go through the... I think we just go through the treasure room, right? Because F room comes back on this map. Yeah, let's just go up. Joshua's just moving. Turn one. Oh, that guy does move. Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay, Erica might actually die. You think you can stand up to Erica the Elegant? You think you can stand up to Erica the Elegant? Wow. I'm glad we got two 5% crits, but I actually just wanted to dodge that hit. Because now I think that mercenary kills us. Erica the Erased. Turn one. Seth has to do everything around here. Why is Ike two stars? It's FE9 Ike. FE9 Ike is really bad.
turn wheels available only on Nintendo PC. Does the RNG stay the same? I think it does. You think you can stand up to Erica the Eviscerator? You think you can stand up to Erica the Elegant? With the energy ring, by the way. Hey, now we have the Seth support. Ouch. Oh! Do we double this guy? We double- Look at this guy! What a good- What a good unit. I never had issues with Ike and FE9 aside from him reaching his skill cap a bit early. You're also wrong about almost everything. The same people are always wrong about the same things. How many times do I have to explain this? You're gonna have to wait, Ephraim. I guess we're starting aggression here. <laughs> FE9 Ike is so bad. What do you need in FE9? You need 1-2 range and you need a mount. Ike has neither. He also is locked to swords, the worst weapon type in the entire game, and has a late story locked promotion. He's extremely bad. The only reason he gets two stars is that once he does get Ragnell near the end of the game, he is okay, but he's still an infantry unit in a game with extremely overpowered mounts. His stats are good though. FE9 Ike is really, really bad. But he is in FE10, where he is really, really good. I'm sick of explaining this. I have to explain this every single time. And I'm never going to have to again, because this is the end for you. Just be happy that it's going to be over quickly. You have failed me, in turn. It is you who should suffer. Be content that your death is a quick one. I cast Dismember! Cost zero of an intern deceived you this stream. Strip target intern of their channel membership. Then they die. Horrible. Let this one's gruesome fate serve as a warning to the rest of you. I can't save you now, even though ghouls do attack at one range. The same people always have the same takes. They're always wrong. And if you're wrong about one thing, you're wrong about everything else as well. That's how it works, right? Erica. Prince Ephraim, I hear sounds from the East Corridor. Sounds like fighting. You think it could be General Seth and Princess Erica? We have two goals here, men. Save Erica and vanquish the enemy. Kyle, Ford, are you ready? Yes, your highness. As always. Lord Ephraim, we should join forces with Princess Erica first. We should be able to reach them by way of the Eastern Corridor. Come now, Kyle. That seems like a lot of trouble. We could just crush Grotto between us. A lot of trouble. Ford, you're as insolent as you are careless. If anything were to happen to Princess Erica, we Knights of Renee would. Fine, fine, I see where you stand. Calm down before you boil over. Prince Ephraim will decide. How shall we proceed, your highness? We await your command, Prince Ephraim. Both of you. Follow me! Hey, good unit back. And the music changes! I could see three-star Ike, though. But overall, I think that FE9 Ike is two stars. There's some easy ways to fix him. If he didn't have a story-gated promotion, I'd probably give him three stars. Because one of his biggest issues is the mid-game, where until the promotion, he's just really bad. If he... Another way to fix him would be to just let him use Ragnell when he gets it in the story. So he has Ragnell for most of the game, he just doesn't use it. And if he could just use it whenever, even though it would kill his speed, he would also be way better. If he had no story-gated promotion, and if he could use Ragnell right away, I'd probably give him four stars if he had both of those. And if he got axes on promotion, I'd give him four stars. But he doesn't get any of those things. 
He's really bad. But he's in FE9 where he's five stars, so, like, it's not a sad thing for him. Vanessa kill? Probably need to use the Iron Lance. I don't even think we kill him. Oh, we do. We get doubled by this guy. Are you kidding me? There's no way we miss, right? Okay, we're fine. We get doubled by a Steel Sword Mercy. We have base speed, by the way. Foul sorceries! At least we got resistance. Yeah, Vanessa is based. Base speed Vanessa. Isn't her speed growth like 60%? Oh boy. At least Franz kills this guy. That tile gets attacked by both, right? So there's no way to avoid weapon triangle disadvantage. We'll do that later. Well, this guy's almost dead. Erica can get the kill here. Uh, Rapier? Oh, he's a Rapier Church. Vanessa's minus three speed. Erica with the strength, though. She stole the good levels. Skill, great. It's beginning to look a lot like Lindis. Max skill. We know skill is so important, right? Oh, Molder. Okay, Colm can open the door next, and then Ross is going to slaughter these knights. That's what we're doing there. Why did they put Ford in front? <laughs> Why did they put Ford in front? Our inventory is the same as last uh, chapter, yep. That's rough. We're just gonna go here. A steel lance. Oh, the steel lance. We definitely want a lance. Would I rather equip the steel lance or the iron sword? Weapon triangle disadvantage? Or weighed down? I think being weighed down is better. We wait, no, we lose? Yeah, this is better. As long as we don't get doubled. Okay, we need to send help south, so... Uh, well, here's help. That's what we're doing. And Ford as well. Or Franz as well. Probably fine. This guy can maybe kill the axe fighter. 
not really sure what archers do. Oh, we can we can get weapon triangle advantage against the shaman. What about that? I don't, I actually don't think we kill this guy. Not with the iron lance anyway. Franz can maybe kill him with the javelin. And then Joshua can kill the axe fighter. There's no way we get doubled, right? This guy has a... Oh, we, we two-shot him. That's good. Oh, are we going to suffer from success? Butchered. Ah, Prince Ethel. It was fun while it lasted. I didn't expect him to double the Lolger. Don't tell Kaga. Oh, he's the fast cap. Why wouldn't he double? Yeah. Hey, maybe we'll get a better Vanessa level. But I think we want to try and keep things the same, if we can. Is Mulder healing anybody? No, right? Because nobody's actually taking damage yet. We know that we crit him twice here, right? Yep. That's the same. So we know all of this is going to be exactly the same. So that's modern streaming, reasonable save stating. What does that mean? actually kills that guy. Pretty good, right? This is what we did last time. To Wait, what? You didn't see that. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Base speed, Vanessa. We hit with Arter first, right? What didn't you see? Nothing. How? We are. We got. We have base speed, Vanessa. That's how. It's the Monado's power. Erica. How many turn wheel uses do you get in this game? It depends on your Nintendo PC. Did we weaken them with... Arter? I feel like we did. Okay, this time for sure. And we should get the same cursed level as last time. No, but we still didn't get speed. What is going on?
We actually don't need to heal Erica, right? I think I'd rather heal Franz. Because we can just heal Erica next. And Franz is going to be out of range. Iron Lance and then this guy. Well, this guy moved first last time. I think we're actually okay, right? What level is Vanessa? She is level six with base speed. And we ended up using a rapier charge on this guy last time, so let's just do that. We had Noodle Arms last level up. I like this timeline better. Armor Knight Erica? We didn't. Did we, we still have cap skill, right? Oh, we didn't. Oh, we didn't cap skill. Bad unit. Don't tell Kaga. Definitely need to send Seth south to save these guys. We move Ross up. Same with Colm. So Colm opens the door and then Ross kills all these armor knights. I guess Joshua goes this way. So now we need to make sure we don't suffer from success. Ford has 8 defense. Ephraim has 9. Let's have Ephraim do it. <laughs> Did you know there's a 1% chance that Vanessa has base speed? One nice thing about Pegasus Knights in this game, as if they weren't good enough already, is that they can promote to Wyvern Knight. And when you promote to Wyvern Knight, you get a huge amount of constitution. It's not really a promotion, it's a lot more like... A Mega Evolution. Guys, Megas are back. Megas are back! Thank you to the Dukester for the 50 hit pin missile. 50 more interns, thank you. Now we'll get a level up, we'll get a speed level up on Vanessa for sure. It's gonna happen, I believe. I believe. Megas are back. I don't want to use a killer lance on a soldier. We'll go ahead and we'll, we'll get the uh, the steel lance. Okay, Steel Lance is our actual... Oh, this is fine. For inventory, right? Yeah, we have the Steel Lance equipped. He isn't just the Dukester, he's the Duke S. The Dukester remains the number one contributor to the YTC inter internship. The Dukester remains the number one contributor to the YTC Institute scholarship program. Still on top for gifted subs, I think. Thank you for your generosity. May as well also thank We need more gold Prometheus for the 1266 macro transaction. It's the second coming of Bartra, just two more no speed levels on Vanessa, and we, we will officially have worse luck on Vanessa than we did on Bartra. I mean it can happen. Do we believe? Do we want to believe? <laughs> can we survive turn one this time? It's turn two. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. I wish I had more defense, although that wouldn't really have saved me. This is fine. Ouch. 22 damage with the Steel Lance. This guy is so strong. 
six damage with the iron bow. Looks like an archer. Okay, we're fine. Okay, who needs the healing here? We only have one molder. There's no way Franz can kill with the javelin, right? Oh, there is. That's actually good. I'm doing that so I don't face a counterattack. Yeah, this is fine. He may be strong, but his Ephraim's... Okay, Franz Redemption. Franz Redemption continues here. Strength, speed, defense. Fine. That's actually... It's this, this fine. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm very happy, okay? That's good. I'm actually not salty about no strength. I'm not kidding. You're too slow! There's even a horse on the wheelchair. Wild speed. That's act actually good. We have enough strength. We actually have to mend to heal him up because our, our magic is terrible. Ah. Another day, Garden Renval. I gotta say, these grotto guys, they kind of creep me out. Are you really doing what's right? Oh, well. Another day, and I'll be able to retire and go back home to my family. Can't wait to leave this war behind me. Hey, who's that guy? For Rene! Natasha, my wife, forgive me. Such a sad story. This game was great at telling, really pulling at your heartstrings. He was one day from retirement, and <laughs> this guy showed up. Can can we get an F? Can we get Fs for random fighter <laughs> from Renville Keep? This guy is so dead. Wow, he's not. We can survive this law. Okay, that lodger can't even reach us. I don't want to use my javelin. I don't want to use my killer lance on this guy either. Steel lances are so bad. My killer lance uses. What in the world? Strength speed. Look at this guy. He's such a monster. It's fine. It's fine, okay? We'll get strength next level. No graphics, okay? We're not sad about that. Guys, did you know that Ephraim is a good... We have 15 speed. 15 speed. Crazy. Just like this microtransaction from level 5 Vaporeon. Hi, jeez, I gave a friend gifts for her stream, but she had a blue screen, so everything ended up being totally invisible? How you do- what do you mean? Like, she had a blue screen and she didn't notice? I I'm doing well, I got a 15 speed Ephraim. I guess we can put Kyle here with the Steel Lance? Why did we even send these guys to help? I think we're actually fine. <laughs> Arthur cannot reach the Dark Mage, unfortunately. Oh, she has a blue screen and all your gifts were invisible? Or were blue, so they were invisible. Okay, is this on Twitch? Have Ross kill the armor knights? Hey, no backseating, okay? I'm the greatest tra tactician in Magvel, not you. We're gonna have Ross kill these armor knights. Can they even have javelins, or can we iron axe them all? Steel lance, steel lance, steel lance. Are they all? One has an iron lance. There's no way Ross dies, right? There's no way. We actually have pretty good speed. 
There's no way Ross dies, but just in case, don't tell Kaga. Uh, Ar Aranax is actually going to break. So let's just do that. All of these guys are dead. Uh, Erica needs to be healed by Molder. Molder cannot reach her. What is Erica even doing? I guess we can just have her talk to her brother, right? That's something. Well, here's the actual reason why Vanessa's five stars. Cause she needs to do this. What is Joshua doing? Emo emotional support Joshua? Oh, he, he can kill the thief that comes up. What's their hit rate? 25. They only do 8 damage. <laughs> wow. Are we sure this guy's 2 stars? Look at all these armor knights. This is lunatic mode, by the way. Oh, 10 damage. Ouch. Oh, we actually don't kill this guy. Hi, if only we had one more point of strength. Why is, why is Ross so wimpy? And our Iron Axe actually breaks here. We're one, str we're one strength off. Actually an issue. Hello? Okay, we actually got extremely unlucky there. I can't believe both of those hit me. Ouch. Good Kaya level? Strength speed? This hack does not increase their defensive growth, so that's why they don't have extra defense. Us being one defense short is... Or us being one attack short is very unfortunate, though. That actually delays us by, like, a turn. Maybe I should have given Ross a Vulnery, because that's what I would have used here. The chance we die is so minuscule. This Iron Lance guy is who we're scared of, but we can't... Is Hand Axe actually stronger? No, it's not. If we back up and Hand Axe that guy, then I think we're okay. So let's do this. Equip the Iron Axe, and then attack with the Hand Axe, and that way, if our Hand Axe breaks, it should go to the Iron Axe instead of the Hatchet. This is fine. There's no way he dies. Like, there's no way. We also get a level up here. And if we get strength, then... I oh, but we're not using the Iron Axe. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, boy. 11 defense. We do have a Draco Shield, though. It's fine. We'll get speed next level. Okay, Molder desperately needs to heal him. But Mulder also needs to heal all these guys. Alright, Mul- I think we're gonna hop on, Mulder! This guy's got a Thunder Tome. So with Thunder, he deals... Just attack. 16. Five, right? Is this Ephraim hard mode? Look at these loyal cavaliers. There we go. I, 
guess Seth can just go up? We don't really need Seth down here. Emotional support, Joshua. I guess there is a way we die, but it's very... Un now there's no way we die. Dodge tank. And we can reach that Armor Knight, I think. Ooh, 11 damage. Ouch. Hee! Great speed stat. We have Weapon Triangle advantage. I'm not scared of this guy. 8 damage. That's more than I thought. Do not double. But we're, like, level 2, so... That's probably why. Evil. Okay. Iron Lance, Steel Lance, Javelin, Steel Sword. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Gotta be safe. Cheers. Fresh. The Reggie Leaf is gonna destroy these guys. Is this a good idea? Ephraim versus three Cavaliers? Yeah, we're there's no way they can kill me. Look at this. We have We have nine defense. We're totally fine. We just gotta make sure they don't kill someone else. That's what we're actually scared of. How much damage does this guy do to Ross? 9 magic. He has 16 attack. So if Ross has 5 res, he survives. He has 2. Okay. One strength short. One strength short. Why is this guy so weak? Why is the level increase? Can Cole make it to the pillar? What a thief. He can't. Cole might literally get one shot. 21 attack. Oh no, we're fine. Good thing we got that defense level. Do we even win this fight? We lose. Unless we dodge. Alright, emotional support. That's safe, yeah. Oh. Seth is on the way. I wish Seth had the Javelin, then, then we would be fine. Okay, now we just gotta make sure these Cavaliers don't actually kill anyone. I think we just back up. And we're carrying Molder. Franz is healthy, right? So Franz can go up here. Yeah. Franz is fine. Erica needs to back up. This doesn't die to one, right? This guy can attack Vanessa. It's back up, it's fine. And now Ford should be safe, right? Colm 300% dead? The weapon triangle? Colm is dead? I think he's still one, one away from dying.
He's fine. They'd have to deal 18 damage. It's not dead. What are you talking about? It's fine. The Reggie Leaf. The Reggie Leaf! Look at that! We need like a back. We need a backseating graphic. We need a backseating graphic. I'm sick of being backseated. If the weapon triangle gave these this knight enough attack to one shot Colm, then why isn't Colm dead? Explain that one. I'm sick of it. I tap three Patreons. I thought this was in the middle of a river. And I cast the crux of fate. Choose one. Destroy all viewers or destroy all YouTubers. Either way, I can finally rest. If you're wrong about one thing, then you're also wrong about everything else. You can't trust these guys. What would a backseating graphic be? I mean, you were right. We just got really lucky that we dodged that. We could have died there. Okay, Seth can deal with this. Seth can lure over this Dark Mage. We might be using Arter later, so I guess we'll just have, have him kill this guy. It's not like Ross needs more XP. Magic speed? We gotta cleanse this land. With 9 speed. It's fine, we'll get magic next level. Ross does die to this, so... Can he kill that archer? Yeah. Hatchet by Gary Paulson! I had to use two hatchet charges, though. Oh, Ross level? Speed would be nice. Sure. We're, we're... We need a speed level soon. Soon, but it's okay. We'll get speed next level. Is, we got the prescription glasses coming in, okay? He had the talk with his dad. No more skill issue. <laughs> Look at these, these numbers are huge. Alright, time to plunder. Who do we give the angelic robe to? This enemy has 33 HP. Oh. It's a brace. What is a brace? Oh, it's like the wall. Eric, you can't reach. Pretty good. Oh, he needs a steel sword. Okay. Brace promotes Ephraim. <laughs> wow, I thought he had a late promotion. Surely we can deal six damage with the Javelin, right? Surely. There's no way we can't deal six damage with the Javelin. We can deal eight. Good. This, this enemy has 33 HP. One Reggie Leaf use. One Reggie Leaf use for 35 damage. Disgusting. Disgusting! Foul oh, sorceries! And we got the best stat. 
If that was Erica, it would have been like, oh, I guess we can use two rapier uses. I hope I dodge this counterattack. You have to worry about it with Ephraim. <laughs> Reggie leafed. Just destroyed. What a good unit. We have to heal Erica because she's not a good unit. We actually go max move and then heal her. We have to... Let's use heal twice because it's more XP. Emotional support Joshua is still here. Guess we can heal Kyle. Waiting for these thieves to spawn. I think we're just gonna Seth the thief. Seven damage. Oh, it's actually zero damage. You have some of the oddest luck I've ever seen. Awful Vanessa, Mulder, and Franz, but insane Ross and Ephraim. I don't think our Franz is that bad anymore. He's definitely worse than average, but this is... Okay. But our Ross is really good. Our Ephraim is also really good. Check Ross's stats, you want to be bossed? Feast your eyes on this. Eat your fill, there's plenty to go around. <laughs> this guy's crazy. We did use a secret book and a Draco shield though. So do keep that in mind. But even considering that, this guy is on a- Look at this guy. Nice robes. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> ah! Who do we heal? I guess we should heal Kyle. This guy's got a steel sword. He can go up to there. So we want to go there. With... With Erica? I don't think Erica can reach. Oh, so bad. Let's just heal Kyle. Is Vanessa just really slow? Our Vanessa has base speed. Vanessa's one of the fastest units in the game, by the way. We, we're just really unlucky. This tile. Steel Lance. I don't think we get doubled with the Steel Lance. This is probably a talk convo, right? Yeah. Erica, are you well? But that's not what it sounds like. Erica, are you well? Brother, is it really? You're alive! You're alive! Well, of course I am. <laughs> he was never in doubt. You think I can die? After we escaped Renville, I thought I'd strike a blow against the Emperor himself. When I heard that you'd been waylaid... Did fighters know what waylaid means? By the enemy, however, I turned back to find you. I knew that you needed help. <laughs> Looks like my timing was impeccable. I'm so sorry. The irony is that I was trying to rescue you. <laughs> All I did was interfere with your plans. What are you talking about? You came to help me, didn't you? Your efforts alone are enough to inspire me. What a nice brother. I can see why people like this guy. Come on, Erica. The enemy awaits. Come on, Erica. All right. Emotional support for it, I guess. Can he talk to his brother? He can! Brother! <laughs> ah, Franz, how have you been? I should ask you. Blonde hair is actually uncommon enough in Fire Emblem that you can tell these guys are related. We'd heard you were captured by Grotto's men. I was worried. Worried? I ride with Prince Ephraim, little brother. <laughs> Death will have a tough time catching anyone who rides with our prince. We've got seven move. But it's not like we've avoided trouble altogether, that's for sure. Hmm? Hey, have you grown taller on me? I have. I've also finished my training. I'm now a sworn knight of Renee. I got rated five stars. You just watch. I'm gonna be on par with General Seth one day. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Franz. 
You want to be like the general, eh? What about me? Oh, I... I still want to be like you too, brother! <laughs> That's a cute conversation. The writing in this game is way better than FE7. It might just be the translations better as well. Does anybody have a Vulnery to give to Ross? Ross is bleeding heavily. Okay, it's not actually emotional support, Joshua. He's he's our field medic. This should be fine. Seth also has to talk with Kyle? Okay. Ouch. There's no way we get doubled, right? Oh my god. We would have died to a crit. Okay, and there's the thief. With all this ruckus going on, perfect time for me to bag some loot. I hate having to resort to this, but times are tough. I'll do whatever I have to support my family. Yeah, I, I, I hear a horse galloping. For Renee! This guy, he, he has to save his family. It's not looking good for this guy, though. 16 speed. Hey, because of that... Oh, we can't actually steal his lockpick. We can... He's just boxed in. He can't do anything. Do we leave him alive? I don't think we can. I think he's going to attack Seth, and Seth is just going to kill him. If he doesn't attack Seth, maybe we'll let him live. We definitely need to use this vulnerability, though. We are dying. Cheers. Refresh. Should unequip Seth's weapon? I, I can't on this turn. The thief will steal my items. He goes for them. It's fine. He doesn't have enough con to steal my weapons. It's okay. Uh, I think Volnery is an ointment. It's not actually a. Uh, it's not actually a drink. Gotta make sure we don't actually put Colm in range of these Lulgers. I've played Sacred Stones like four or five times. It's a mage here, right? I'm not scared of him. Oh, uh, we are kind of scared of this guy. 14 damage. Alright, here's the plan. Franz with the Iron Lance? He's too good? Franz with the Iron Sword? And how's our Javelin accuracy? It's pretty good. Okay. Ten damage. It's Mulder XP. Alright, here is our Vanessa speed level. It's not unlikely at all. What did I do to deserve this? I never would- I- what is going on? Our level 7 Vanessa has base speed. Ross is faster. Ross is faster than Vanessa. <laughs> no. 
What's going on? Bartra incarnate. He turned into a cute waifu on a flying horse. Ross is stealing all the stats. Oh, we can heal Kyle or we can heal Franz. Let's heal Franz. Looks like she had her wings clipped. Oh, no. Has Ross been popping off? Ross is our strongest unit. Our Ross is very good. This corridor is getting a little cramped. Don't attack Seth if you value your life. You had your chance, man. You could have just left. Main character thief? All right. We're going to let him live. He's gonna get to go back home to his family, okay? He has a chance to turn his life around. Oh, did I give him the angelic rope? Uh oh. Well, he can't kill Colm. Oh, no, I can just trade it back to. I don't want to lose my lockpick, though. We don't one-round him with the Iron Sword. Oh yeah. We'll we'll just give him we'll give him a we'll rough him up a bit, okay? What if Seth crits? Then it's fate, okay? What's this guy doing? 24 HP. Were there enemy reinforcements? I thought there was like a mage reinforcement from here. Where'd he go? They spawned on this side, but not over here? I guess it's like a bugged ROM. What's this guy have? Steel Sword. Well, he doesn't double Franz. Lots of people need Molder's heal and staff. I guess we'll just move Kyle up here and then heal him. Yeah, it must be to balance out the difficulty of, of Lunatic Mode. Really nice of the devs to do that. Give Colm the bad boy Angelic. Who do we give the Angelic Robe to? Ross, Ross doesn't need it. Vanessa? Vanessa does make good use of it, because her HP is very bad, and she does fight a lot. We can lure that Lulger with Joshua? I think we lure with Joshua. I know we have weapon triangles, so what are they gonna do with Joshua? Like, whatever, we're not gonna die. I think this is okay. And Ford moves up one space. There's no way he doubles us. We actually might double him. Franz is okay. Nah. Who's Joshua supporting? I don't know. 
a lot of damage. Ouch. Get double. My vulnerary! And now he can feed his family. He can sell the vulnerary and feed his family. We're gonna get the good ending. Joshua supports himself. Alright, we can attack with the Iron Lands and then get the kill with Vanessa, I guess. That's what I, that's all I'll probably do. I think at this point we can say Franz is a good unit. He got some good levels. Look at that. Good hit rate. How much is one golden fire emblem? 300 gold to three vulnerary seems like a broken economy. Could be like yen. Oh, we could give this kill to Arter. So, might be using Arter. Wow. Lol. We're a little scared of this guy. If Ross suffers from success, he's kind of in trouble. I mean, we should just have Seth run over and kill this guy. But if we want the good ending, I guess we have to have, we have to let this guy escape. We just have to make sure that this- oh, this mage is a Thunder Tome. Hmm. Hmm. We can survive this magic onslaught. The pure water! The pure water! <laughs> yes! Sorceries. A pure water. Oh, look at that. Ten res. <laughs> why is why does pure water exist? It, it's very unfair. And with that, we can equip the iron axe. User vulnerary, and I, I don't think, uh, even if all these enemies hit us, I don't think Ross dies. Does Arthur die? No, he's not even in range. This guy's kind of scary. No way to get a javelin up there. But we can have Ephraim go up here, and then Mulder can heal him. A Mulder XP. We really need good Mulder levels, or Mulder's very bad. Great movement on Erica. Okay. He's gonna steal our other Vulnerary. Doesn't matter if we have two iron swords, right? Okay, I think we're okay. It's definitely a great effort to try and keep this thief alive. This guy's dead. You think you can stand up to wreck it, Ross? Completely unnecessary. What are you doing? Ouch. Well, I'd rather have dodged those than gotten a 3% useless crit. Speed? It's, it's okay. Our stats are good enough, okay? It's fine. I'm not that upset. That's a lot of damage. Ouch.
Alright. How good are we against this nerd? Well, it's not like we die if we miss. See ya. <laughs> Chopped! Oh, the halberd is effective against cavalry. And nerds, apparently. Alright. Now we now we can take these inventory items. Which means we have room to offload our, offload our weapons. There we go. You'd robe Seth. This mage doesn't know. He doesn't know. What's this archer's range? We don't want to move Coleman to range of that, but we should be okay here. Does Ron's double this guy? It does! He's 31 HP. I don't think this guy moves, right? There's no way Franz dies. There's no way. There is a way Franz dies now. <laughs> Uh-oh! We're fine. We're fine. It's XP for Boulder. We're gonna use four. Oh, here's the Boulder level. Magic and speed. We've been so patient. Level 10, we can promote. Oh! It's, it's, it's so sad. It's so sad. Oh. It's fine. We'll get speed next level. Are we gonna early promote him? Maybe. We'll see. We might have to if we do if we're doing ghost ship, we might have to promote him. I think that's all our actions, right? Like his he's using the vulnerary. <laughs> No, he doesn't know about the pure water. The pure water. <laughs> what? How could my magic have failed? Come here, nerd. <laughs> yes, the anti mage weapon, the halberd. <laughs> Perfect. Can this guy attack us? No, he can't. Ah, oh, Vanessa can't even reach. Okay, well this time I'll get you. Good job, Franz. Move Ephraim up. Uh, Kyle cannot reach that guy. That's crazy. Gotta get the Molder XP. Can Molder get shot from there? That guy's a longbow. No Vanessa XP? Next turn, my friend. Next turn. Erica in the back, that very characteristic of her. We can lure this mage, right? Thunder. 17 attack? There's no way we die, right? Ooh, 
We survive with two, and he has... And we have Weapon Triangle. But he could crit us. There's no way he crits us, right? There's no way. There's no way. Don't tell Kaga. Longbow doesn't kill Joshua, right? 15 attack. Yeah, we're fine. I'm glad we're luring enemies with our... <laughs> Myrmidon. Okay, now that he's all patched up, he can go home to his family and sell the last truck. What is this? Why are you attacking me? Hello? Okay. The, lo the longbow. Oh, no. Nine damage. Nine damage. As long as you don't get crit here, we're- Wow, five crit. That's actually really scary. Hey, that means we don't have to use our anti- uh, anti-mage halberd. Fails to double armor knight? We have a steel lens, though. Hey, we can break our hand axe here. If we miss, how bad is that? We have Joshua, we're fine. Ross, he's right next to you. You could have just chopped him. Eighteen health? The longbow weighs him down, right? Five stars? Five stars? health wall oh steel ant sucks eighteen health let's apply a Reggie Lee zero health Okay, this guy's actually kind of scary. We gotta get rid of this guy. We can attack from next to him. And we double him. Uh, we can give the kill to Arter. I guess there's a chance we don't kill him? It's very small, though. Archer level? Magic speed? Oh, sorceries! I come to cleanse this land. Yes, my friend. At least we got resistance. What is going on? Is it, like, confirmation bias? Or are we just destined to always level resistance? I don't think any of our units are behind in resistance across either of our playthroughs. We're always just insanely res blessed, the best stat. <sighs> Gotta get the Molder XP. Oh, there's an... <laughs> I didn't notice this guy was here. <laughs> Alright, Colm, take out this wall. 
This guy's oh, this guy's a general. He's got the silver lance. It's 14 defense. Wow. Might have to Reggie leaf that guy. We can have Vanessa kill that dark mage, I think. Go home and be a family man, thief. This should work. Steel Lance versus Wall. <laughs> Easy pickings. Doors open. I don't think Vanessa one rounds this guy because she has base speed. Yep. This guy has six speed. And he has... Are you kidding me? This guy has 5 AS. 5 AS. And our Pegasus Knight does not double him. Our level 7 Pegasus Knight. I think we can double him with the Slim Lance. But then we don't kill him. I guess this works. Ouch. Four doubles him. Four doubles him! And Vanessa doesn't! Oh, we actually get to keep this music because this thief stays alive. How much XP is the thief worth, though? Let's get Kyle Seth talk, sure. Mulder can heal him. We need we need this Molder XP, okay? We gotta get we we probably get, we probably can't early promote Molder because our Molder levels have been so bad. This entire side of the field is bleeding horribly. Maybe we should have brought Natasha. I think we're gonna Reggie leave the boss. Not doing interviews, we're early promoting. No, we're doing interviews. But we're not promoting yet. Alright, give me the goods. Ooh, Silver Sword, that's nice. Do Mulder's stats matter? We, we, he is going to be fighting, and his level ups have been atrocious. Look at this. A humble, a humble curate. Real sad, real sad. Grind support here for Erica and Seth, yeah. Promoting would actually speed up leveling, yeah, but then I have fewer levels to grow. I'm not gonna do that. Gotta get the Kyle talk first. Can't wait for you to go into the tower to make up for the bad levels just to get HP and res anyway. We've had some good levels this stream. We've also had some really, really bad ones. But I think Franz is actually caught up now. Do 
We're gonna do Franz Ford. Am I missing something? Is the thief just being kept alive for the meme factor? Did you did you see what happened to this thief? Nice knife. All right, give me the goods. We can do Franz for it. I mean, they're brothers, right? They should support each other. Franz and Ford, chilling in a corridor. And then we want to get the Kyle... Seth chat. General Seth! Well met, Kyle. Paladins? I never thought for a moment that you could be bested easily. No, sir! And I never doubted that I would see you again. Kyle, about Orson. We're evil, hang on. Listen, Kyle. There's something about Orson that you should know. Oh no. We're too late. We heard it all. Unbelievable, isn't it? But facts are facts. Yes. If Orson can turn his back on Renee, we remaining knights will have to work all the harder to prove ourselves. Let's go, let's go, Kyle. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kyle, or let's go... Let's go forward. Definitely choose let's go, Kyle. You hear well met a lot on ladder these days? What, did they make another broken paladin deck? They never do that. Are we supporting the twins together? Do we do A, Erica, and Ephraim, or A, Erica, and Seth? A, Erica, and Seth? Okay. How do we beat this guy? He doesn't have the javelin equipped, so we could actually train Arter by rescue dropping him out. Do that. We could actually turn this... He still has... No, he used all the vulnerary charges. How much XP do we get? 9 damage. Could crit him, though. We need... We need Molder XP. Molder XP. Hey, we could full heal our thief. <laughs> How much damage do you do to this guy? Literally zero. Literally zero. I thought this guy was a general. I see have eight res. One. <laughs> Why does he have eight res? Lord Torado. Foul sorceries. I guess we're not going to be training Arter against him. I guess we just Reggie leave him. Let's supporting. We don't have a hammer yet, unfortunately. Break his weapon, isn't he? F 
46 use iron sword. Hmm. For some reason, I, I didn't remember the... I can't steal the lockpick. I'm not fast enough. I can heal Joshua if he moves over here. Molder. Okay, Molder level up soon. These are getting all the supports that we want. So how do we actually kill the boss? How much damage does Ross do? Wow. Well, I guess that's how we kill the boss. could also Regileaf him. These guys are just chilling in the corridor. We're gonna heal everyone to max with Molder. This guy is trying his hardest. Def Imported she's definitely my top 10 Japanese Arab Japanese slash Arab Pokemon plus Fire Emblem YouTubers. I'm honored. Use the Regileaf. Level 13 already. No supports yet. I mean, it's only been a few turns. Can get another heal off on Joshua. I think next heal we get a level, right? Yep. Kyle, Ross. We actually should non-meme heal Ross. Domestic milk is better. Okay, let's heal Ross here. We really need magic and speed. Our stats are so bad. Far below average is our Molder. He's really bad. We got one speed level. I think we got one magic level. This is horrendous. Minus one magic, minus two speed. Oh. Hey, our, our, our Franz caught up, though. I'm sure that Molder can as well. I believe, okay? Just gotta have faith. I guess Kyle's just over here by himself. Kyle can also go next to Ford, right? Mulder has faith, do you? I'm losing it. By by the level. His staff rank is fine. He's only minus one magic and minus two speed. Perhaps isn't as good as I thought. I'm never wrong, okay? I'm sick of being criticized. I've never made a mistake ever, which means I'll never make a mistake in the future. All my ratings are absolute, okay? How's the thief doing zero damage to Theft? To Seth? Because he has four strength. Who else can I heal? I can heal Arthur. Oh, Seth keeps proccing Great Shield, yeah. 
Will you make mold? I'm not sure what that means, but if you mean will I become moldy? Since I am a, a cheese streamer, I guess I will, eventually. I'm already 30. Okay, we got the support squad here. Seth is just fine. We're farming XP. It is possible to break the thief weapon. I don't think we're going to wait that long, though. We're going to heal everyone we can. We can heal Vanessa. We want to kill the boss with Reggie Leaf, right? And Erica has to seize. And when he has the Silver Lance, he only does 16 damage to us. He doesn't even two shot us. <laughs> he doesn't even two shot us. We have 13 defense. <laughs> we have one less than him. We use the Draco Shield, though. First instance of the Sacred Stones boss music. Hmm. My men weren't able to finish the job, were they? Falls on me to show you my own special brand of power. It's 46 HP. It's fine, we get speed next level. strength. <laughs> Torado, Lord Torado, were we merely pawns? <laughs> oh. We missed. How are we going to deal 15 damage to him in one turn? Sure, this guy's force. He literally one rounds the boss. <laughs> Whoa. No special dialogue? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh! Are we sure this guy's four stars? No problem. Crisis averted. No problem. Good thing we had Seth. No problem. I don't want him to steal my stuff, though. Yeah, m more Molder healing XP, it's fine. Hold on to this men's staff for me. That was pretty scary. <laughs> You'll wish you died here on my steel. Lord Volter is not nearly as merciful as I. My brand. 
Strength speed? It's fine, we'll get speed next level. Well, I wouldn't mind more speed, but I guess I'll have to settle for capped strength. And his speed is fine. It could be better. I, I think we're, our speed is like average now. But yeah. Are we sure this guy's two stars? This is, this is looking pretty good. Are we sure this guy's two stars? Ignore the fact that we spent the entire chapter after he joined uh, spoon feeding him kills. Just ignore that part. We didn't, that didn't actually happen. I need the Molder XP. I think our magic is so bad that we can actually heal him twice. Yep, all part of the plan. <laughs> Erica can't reach next turn. Unless we do this. Look at these tactics. I is this an LTC speedrun? All right, there we go. Any supports here? No. Got to get that Seth XP. Now I use Mend for extra XP. We got to fix our inventory after this. I think that's everyone we could heal on this map. So that's maximum Molder XP. Oh no, we could heal Ross as well. I guess we'll finish it next next turn. Everyone else I think is topped off. Okay. If you heal everyone to full H HP, that's what they call maximum efficiency, okay? Do we get rollovers on green stats if we get blanks? No. So having cap stats is actually, like, bad. Heal the bandit too? What turn is this? It is... I'm guessing we're in, like, the 30s. It's, it's been a lot. Status? 26. We could make a Molder XP factory. We don't have to do that. Let's just... We, we spent enough time on this chapter. Let's end it. And we kept the thief alive for the good ending. Tease! Brother. I worried you, didn't I, Erica? And you as well, General. Not at all. We're happy you're safe. But tell me, Prince, do you know of Orson's treachery against you and all of Renee? Yes, though I learned of it all too late, after we'd been trapped at Renvall. I still find it difficult to believe that after all his years of service to Rene, I am morally responsible for his plight. Ephraim. Ephraim. <laughs> Everyone loves Ephraim. What is it, Mur? Something's coming. It's drawing near. Dark. And great in number. I understand. Looks like we should get out of here. Um, brother, this girl, her hair is indigo. Where did... Ah, that's a long story. For now, we must move. Suffice to say, Emperor Vergard has enlisted some otherworldly powers. We must warn everyone of the danger. She's from Kanto. Very subtle chapter title here. A new journey. Sibling silence. Okay, so coming up, we do actually have to choose our route split here. Now, in this uh, Nintendo PC version of the game, 
we actually get to play both routes. However, we have to divide our army between them, and then they meet up again at the end. Certain units join on certain paths. They join on the path where they're more story important. So, for example, because Dussel is best pals with Ephraim, he joins on Ephraim's route. And Garrick joins on Erika route. I think most of them... Most of the decisions that the developer made probably line up with what you're thinking, except for Cormag actually joins on Erica's route and not Ephraim's, which I think is kind of weird. That's the only one that sort of doesn't match what you would expect. I think the other ones pretty much all coincide with the one where they join earlier. So Ephraim gets ta Tana, yes. A uh, $5 microtransaction from Silver. He was on the train on mobile, unfortunately, but we can forgive him for this. <laughs> I could barely watch on the train because the mobile service sucked more than this runs, Franz. How painful was Chapter 8? Um, don't look at Vanessa's speedstat. That's what I'll say. So, here's what choosing the route actually changes. We play the route we choose first. The lord we choose then becomes the convoy for the rest of the game. And, perhaps most importantly, even though the story converges after the route split, the lord that we choose determines the personality of the main villain. So, if we do Erica route, then we get Soy Boy Leon. And if we do Ephraim Root, we get Slugma Mail Leon. So that that's a very important factor to choose. $30 macro transaction from Pro. We Prometheus. need more gold! $30 on doing Ephraim's Root first. Also, Cormag joins the same map as Dussel. Talk to him with Tana. You are correct in vanilla. I, I think in this hack, you are incorrect, unfortunately. I think. I'm almost certain. But I don't want to yell at you for being wrong because you did just pay me. Ain't no way. You want to bet? Although I don't know how I pay you if I lose. So I am going to I am going to host a poll here. You got Cormag by talking with Dussel in the hack. Let's see. Erica Root. And Ephraim Root. We do get to play both. But the poll should be up now. And it'll be running as we do all this story stuff. What is it, er Oh, what is it, Erica? I was thinking about L Lion. M maybe it's Leon? I'm not sure. Wait, is it Lion or is it Leon? That's Leon. Oh, it's Leon, okay. The last time we saw him was a year and a half ago. You're right. It was at Grotto Keep. Has it really been only a year and a half? Thanks for telling us it's a year and a half ago. I, I got that. Ephraim! Leon! Where are you two? We're over here, Erica. You better be quick. Ephraim says he's tired of waiting. Oh, please. I'm sure you could wait a few moments longer. Hang on here. Let's make sure we do this right.
gonna take a little bit of finagling, but I sort of set this up. We're gonna have to amputate his limbs correctly. He's a little too big. I mean, that's close enough, right? Now this is gaming. <laughs> when I played this game for the first time on the Game Boy Advance, you couldn't do this. <laughs> but now that it's the year 2024... <laughs> on the Nintendo PC, you can build your own adventure. <laughs> that's Leon. $10 macro transaction from Smash Hero 75. Thank you for the. I think Leon's gonna be in front of them. We need more yeah, gold! Yeah, uh, macro transaction. $10 macro transaction for Chad Root. $2 micro transaction from Silver mm. for Stop the Count. I mean, if we get Slugma Mail, if we get Slugma Mail Leon, it works better with this. I was actually talking to somebody at the picnic yesterday, and uh, he was Japanese, and then we were talking about Biohazard, which is the Japanese name of Resident Evil. Apparently, Resident Evil 4's English translation is pretty infamous in Japan, because our version is way better. In Japanese, Leon doesn't sound as ridiculous. Welcome, my brethren. No thanks, bro. <laughs> How does route affect convoying? There, there we go. We gotta we gotta stretch him out a bit. We got the Leon music. It's pretty good, right? How does the route you can't like that, that has to be bait, right? You can't get me. You're late. How does it take you so long to prepare for such a simple trip? Rest easy, Ephraim. <laughs> There's no need to be so curt with your own sister. <laughs> After all, a king must learn to treat women with honor and discretion. That's what Father McGregor says. Thank you, Leon. Or er, Leon. <laughs> Thank you, Leon. You, unlike my dear brother, are a true gentleman. <laughs> I was up far too late thinking about my prayer to the temple flame last night. And I'm afraid I... I overslept. Your prayer? What are you babbling about? Dude, why is year and a year and a half prior Ephraim's really rude? Come now, you know that flame has been burning since the time of darkness ended. You must know the story that the flame will answer the prayers of any pilgrim. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, Ephraim! Father McGregor is going to scold you for neglecting your studies, so... Don't even joke about that. So tell us, what have you decided to pray for, Erica? I, uh... I, uh... It's a secret. I should have known. You're so boring. Gee, it sure is boring around here. Ephraim changed a lot in a year and a half. Well, how about you, Ephraim? Me? Hmm, let's see. I guess I'll pray to become a stronger fighter, and you called Erica boring? That's just like you, Ep. That's just like you, Ephraim. Just like you indeed, brother. I can never tell if you're complimenting me or mocking me. What we know is prayer worked, because he's totally jacked. Praising you, of course. Right, Erica? <laughs> yes, that's right. And you, Leon? What will you p pray for? Where's everybody going? <laughs> Ephraim Root? What? Me? Hmm. I suppose all I really want is for all our people to be happy. That's very, uh... That's very much like you. Very much so, Leon. Now I'm the one who can't tell if he's being praised or... You're being praised, as always, Leon. Raccoon City's finest. 
tell me, why the sudden decision to visit the temple? Did my brother do something again? Now listen, you. Oh no, it's not what Ephraim's done. It's what he hasn't done. He's learned nothing at all about the sacred stones and the temple flames, so... Father McGregor became angry. He said, One destined to become king and rule over a nation must know the history of his kingdom and must respect the sacred stones. Only for the Game Boy Advance. Ever since I came to Grotto, my life has been chastisement and castigation. Do fighters know what chastise or castigate mean? Father McGregor does not think me to be altogether too kingly. And yet General Dussel has nothing but praise for you, Ephraim. He says you're brave and true, that you've the, mark the makings of a great king. Great king? I honestly have no idea what that means. If it means eight movement on promotion, then unfortunately not. Erica should su succeed the throne. Okay, Ephraim, you're... That's incorrect. <laughs> I would be happy simply taking my lands and traveling the land as a mercenary. Okay, Ephraim definitely needs to study more. Mercenaries can't use lances. Ephraim, that's nothing but foolish, irresponsible romanticism, true. Do you realize how much your words would fill father's heart with grief? Are we speaking of the same man? Our father will likely outlive us all. For now, I'm content just learning the lands from General Dussel. What about you, Leon? Is there anything you want to do? Me? Well, I... I suppose I want to become like my father. You were born to be the Emperor of Grotto, Le Leon. It suits you. No, I don't think so. I'm not... One thing I know from watching my father is that being Emperor is hard. But he also taught me... That smashing light is easy. In fact, it couldn't be simpler, and it helps increase the reach of the stream. He also taught me it's important to thank the people who made everything possible. In this case, it means the mighty Patreons. They keep the Grotto Empire afloat. And you can promote into one using a link in the description. Every day he answers the complaints of the people and he almost never sleeps. <laughs> I think I have a feeling why Emperor Vergard went insane. It's not the spoilers that are to come. It's because he had to keep reading YouTube comments. Lord Vigard, is this an Iron Man? <laughs> Is this hard mode? Which route are we taking? How does the route split affect the convoy? When's Gen 3 starters? When's Gen 4 starters? When's the black and white 2 tier list? When's Green Glitches 11? Emperor of Regard, Emperor of Regard, Emperor of Regard. He's had enough, okay? <laughs> My father is always so very tired. <laughs> I hope that. I hope that I can help him. Leon, you're so honorable. You should you should learn from him, brother. Again with your criticism. <laughs> Ephraim's had enough. <laughs> oh my god. Again with your criticism. It's time for the plot twist nobody saw coming. Can I find- can I find the plot twist nobody saw coming? Again with the criticism could be for the backseat graphic, yeah. Again with the criticism. What will you do, Leon, if I tap three Patreons? <laughs> Oh no, they foresaw a terrible eruption in Grotto. And I play the crux of fate. Choose one. Destroy all critics or destroy all YouTubers. Either way, I can finally rest. 
$5 microtransaction from Silver. Thank you for the uh, microtransaction. Mm. Emperor of Regard sacrificed five sacred stones to play Wrath of Arceus. I probably should have read that before I picked Crux of Fate, sorry. Tell me, Erica, what do you say to dressing like me and becoming king in my stead? Breaking gender norms! You're so skinny, I doubt anyone would notice you're not really a man. Ephraim. Do you think that's acceptable to say? This is a difficult video for me to make. It's a difficult video for me to make. <laughs> what? No, I think when he says skinny, he means that... He means flat. No, I don't think it's a translation error. I think... Are we gonna investigate what he says in Japanese? We need a race. We need a graphic that's racial tensions, but for sexism. We would have used that quite a few times. Mm. Okay, we're doing the research. Okay, we're doing the research. We're gonna f we're gonna find the Japanese for this. This is important. We have to know. Let's research. I think he calls her flat. Alright, let's see. Hey, look! They're right there. Alright, so let's see. It's, uh... I gotta go to... I gotta change the Japanese. Seima no Hoseki, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Se oh, it's Koseki. Seima no Koseki Jikkyo. That's what we want. Play through. <laughs> this guy has an Arden PFP. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking for... Maybe it's this one? It's this next one. It's the one after this. Okay, okay. So I found... Here we're at... Let's see what we get. I've locked this, uh... Hang on here. I know I'm, I'm covered. This is too many... Okay, hang on. <laughs> oh, you'll be able to see it anyway, because it'll be... Right now, he's talking about his dad not sleeping. He's so tired. The sprites look really different in Japanese. Actually, I can do this, right? Oh. And then I can just, like, put myself over this, I guess. Alright, reading test coming up here. How much of this can I read? Nah, Erika! Omae. This is, um, why don't you dress as a man and then become king? Here it is, this is it. Next one. Sono hiroki no nai karada. Tsuki nara kitto bare nai to omozo. I 
don't know how to read this. Your colorless body. That's definitely not what that means. To gshow.org. Leon's still here. <laughs> Don't I live in Japan? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know all Japanese, though. Yeah, it's, um... He's just saying that you're... You're so unsexy that nobody would, would know. This is the word, by the way. So you can, you can check it yourself. That's what they said. So they toned him down in English, just calling her skinny, but in Japanese he straight up calls her, like, flat. <laughs> well, mystery solved. It's Iroke. Wow. Well, there we go. <laughs> Very essential detour for the story, okay? Okay, we really need a sexism graphic. It happens a lot. It's a difficult video for me to make. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Why are you laughing, Leon? It's not funny. Ephraim. <laughs> That's the end of the conversation. Oh, okay. I guess we should get rid of Leon. <laughs> What do you suppose Leon is doing now? When Emperor Vigard ordered the invasion, how do you think Leon felt? He's always been so gentle, but he worships his father. He'd never question him. Erica isn't flat. Have you seen her hero's portrait? Have we? I don't know. Where is everybody going? Sensitivity training? Father's always been so gentle. Oh, he's always been so gentle, but he... Oh, who's that? But he worships his father. He'd never question him. But the Emperor, he's cl... Tap? I got a tap! Tap! I think people would notice that she's not a guy... He's clearly not behaving rationally. I just hope he's not so far gone that he'd hurt his own flesh and blood. I just pray for the day when the three of us can be together once again. It'll come, I've no doubt. Erica, Ephraim, welcome! Who's this? Who's this? The two of you returning together, it's like a dream come true. You must know, I've prayed every day for your safe return. There's so much praying in this. I'm happy to see you, Tana. I'm sorry, Tana. I didn't want... Oh. I'm sorry, Tana. I didn't want for you to worry. No, oh, it doesn't matter now. All that really matters is that we've been brought together again. My own brother will soon return from the field. Her brother is not nearly as good as Ephraim. It's kind of balanced, though, because Tana's really good. And Inez kind of sucks. And Ephraim's really good, and Erica kind of sucks. It'll be nice to sit down and discuss things again. They also nerfed... They nerfed, um... I was gonna say Marth. They nerfed... Cecilia? What's her... They left Lucina's English dialogue. I think in English she's still a little bit concerned, but she's very conscious about her skinniness in Japanese. Princess Tana! Prince Inez has returned from the front! Welcome home, dear brother! I'm so happy to see you return safe and sound. Inez has the most baseline slugma male portrait in the game. You didn't expect less, did you? You think Grotto's slugs could touch me? <laughs> <laughs> He's a higher caliber of slug. <laughs> we 
don't we don't even have a slugma graphic. Maybe we need one. <laughs> I guess that does count as racial tensions, right? Do you think those slugs could touch me? If you want something done right, leave it to a human. If you want something done right, leave it to a Freljian. Do you think those slugs could touch me? They only have one range. With my bow, I'll take down every grotto soldier from here to the Emperor's Palace. Absolutely not. Two stars. Well met, Inez. Ephraim. They don't like each other. It's good to see you, Prince Inez. <laughs> Magma Max. They say Rene has fallen. Millions must... <laughs> Millions must miss speed level ups. I believe I warned you before. This happened because you provided Grotto the opportunity to strike. Is that really appropriate to say right now? Our dad died. Brother, mind your tongue. This is no occasion for such harsh words. Tana's my Magvel waifu. Ephraim and Erica have lost their father to this terrible war. Slugma silence. And he's rubbing salt in the wound, even though it hurts him because he's a slugma. I'm sorry to hear of your father's death. I guess he didn't know that. Hear, hear me, Ephraim. God, this guy. Our most important task is to defeat Grotto and end this war. Thanks. Do you think that we didn't already know that? <laughs> I really don't like this guy. Oh, Inez. I'm sorry, Erica, Ephraim. It's alright. It's comforting to see that in all of this, at least he hasn't changed. His evolution to Macargo is a really high level. Ines has hated me for as long as I can remember. My brother looks upon you as a rival, Ephraim. And as you know, he wants to be the best at everything. That's why he chose the worst class path in the game. The best king, the best general, the best fighter, the best man. He won't allow himself to be beaten at anything. Tana, you talk too much. My father would like both of you to sit with him in a war council. Will you come with me to take part in your official audience? Yes, of course. There's much that I have to tell him. It'll be our honor to attend. This way. It does my heart good to see you all here safely within our castle walls. Would that we had more time for pleasantries, but let us hear your news. Very well, I will begin. I've directed the body of Frelia's army south to engage Grotto directly. Our troops are proving themselves superior, and the battle progresses favorably. But the riddle still needs answering. Why did Grotto begin this war in the first place? Your Majesty, we may well have found something relative to that. We learned something on our travels, news that weighs heavily upon us, especially because my constitution is terrible. Ah uh, yes, our messenger delivered your report to us a few days ago. Grotto is trying to destroy the sacred stones only for the Game Boy Advance. Is that it? Yes. We've strengthened the tower's defenses. Frelia's stone is safe for the time being. We remain confused in this. What does Grotto hope to gain by destroying the sacred stones only for the Game Boy Advance? We don't know. The legends say the stones protect us all from the power of darkness. I can't say if it relates, but I have a story about Grotto. It's been troubling me, and I would like to share it with you all. Mirror, come here, please. Yes? Who's this girl? Uh oh, serious music. Ephraim, who is she? This is Mur. I met her while fighting in Grotto territory. Mur, would you please tell everyone here the story you told me? Come on now, Mur, don't be shy. Please, Ephraim, you tell them. He's a bit shy. Very well. Mur tells me that she belongs to an ancient race of dragonfolk. She literally has wings, so I believe her. They're mentioned in a few legends. They're called the Tribe of Manikeet. Manikeet? Yes, their name appears several times in the tale of the Sacred Stones, only for the Game Boy Advance. 
It says they were neither human nor demon, but a separate, aloof race. Please, Mur. The Chai? We live in the east, in Darkling Woods. One day... Yes? We felt something. An ominous energy to the south. From the direction of Grotto. They felt a force flowing out of the Grotto Empire. Sala and I, we went to investigate this energy, but on our way we came across a battle and were drawn into the conflict. Mur got lost and was wandering aimlessly in an isolated region near Grotto's border. I met some wicked folk there. They deceived me and enchained me. They stole my dragon stone. They were preparing me for transport. It was in that moment when Ephraim appeared and rescued me. Eric is a bit shy. I stumbled across Mur by chance when Grotto's men had ambushed us. Everything she told me seemed beyond belief, and yet... And yet when I saw her wings, what could I do but believe? This dark wave of energy still flows from the Southlands. Its current is strong and runs deep. It has awakened the evil ones. I want to stop it. Hmm. Your Majesty, I bring word. What's so urgent you would interrupt a private council? I guess he can't hear the dramatic music. Maybe it's diegetic. The tower holding the sacred stone of Frelia. It's been destroyed by the Grotto army. What? That's impossible. What are the soldiers on watch? There were supposed to be many. The enemy forces. They weren't lulgers, sir. We stood no chance. They were led by Calix the Tiger Eye and Selina Florspar. Our soldiers fell before the, even half a day had passed. Maybe we shouldn't have given them steel lances. Selina Florspar? Only General Dussel is higher in Emperor Vigard's esteem. She's the one. She came personally. So they really do wish to see the sacred stones, only for the Game Boy Advance, destroyed. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. Blast. The Tower of Vol- Yep, Lolgerd. Great performance from Frelia's Finest. This hunk of rock is a sacred stone, only for the Game Boy Advance, eh? So much fuss over something as fragile as this. Is he talking about the sacred stone or Erica? Watch. That <laughs> crumbles so easily. Did we gain anything by this? Not that I care, but... Black-hearted fool! What have you done? Without the stone's protection, the horrors spread in. Huh? What's this? Still breathing, aren't you? Come, if you've any last words, I'll hear them, fool of Frelia. Monster! You waste your last words on insults? And feeble ones at that. Hardly the right note to enter the eternal... on, wouldn't you say? Well then, die. Calyx is really funny. Hold! What are you doing, Kalik? Our job was to st destroy the sacred stone, only for the Game Boy Advance. I know that. And I crushed it, did I not? What if we don't clean up these Frelian curs? They might... Do not raise your blade to anyone who is powerless to resist you. The Emperor does not desire us to kill without cause. That would be murder. Right. The Emperor. Your name's Selina, ain't it? Tell me, Selina. What makes that pasty-faced old fool's word so important? Wretch. Do you dare insult his imperial majesty? Hey, hey, I'm joking. Yeah, don't get so worked up. I get it now. You're a true and loyal soldier. I'm leaving before Frelia sends reinforcements. 
Coming. Selena the Silent. How could this happen? How could I have allowed our sacred stone, only for the Game Boy Advance, to be destroyed? Dark energies from the Empire's capital. Evil monstrosities roaming our lands. Guard's mad invasion. And now this. The destruction of our sacred talisman. What are we going to do without plus two res? We have no idea of Grotto's goals. We are in dark times once again. But even so, we cannot sit here, wringing our hands. First, we must warn the nations that house the remaining sacred stones only for the Game Boy Advance. If a guard seeks to destroy the stones, they are all in grave danger. Jehenna and Rouston must be warned. The nations must join together to fight our common foe. You think they'll believe us? Hmm. It's a difficult tale to believe, I must agree. I will go farther. Inez? A direct visit from the Prince of Frelia is not something they can ignore. I will travel to Jehenna, where I will forge an alliance with her queen. pretty confident. If our sacred stone, only for the Game Boy Advance, has been destroyed, then Frelia could be in greater danger. Father, I cannot let you leave the nation in such a time of crisis. It is imperative that I be the one to go. Hmm. This guy loves saying hmm. And I will head for Rouston. Erica, you know I can't let you put yourself in such danger. Rest easy, dear brother. I will journey to Rouston by ship across the North Sea. There will be no danger. And I have made a vow. I will fight as you have until the day Renee is liberated. I understand. King Hayden, I will take troops and march on the Imperial capital from the West. The West? Are you saying you will begin an assault on Grotto from here? If we can take Grotto Keep, the war will be over. The Sacred Stones, only for the Game Boy Advance, will be safe. If we start here and press forward with all our might. Once you reach the capital, Fergard's generals will be there waiting for you. If they oppose us, we will fight. You've got your father's foolhardy courage, don't you? And better movement, so I think you can do it. Very well. I entrust all our hopes to you three. Three hopes? Inez, you will go to Jehenna. Erica to Rouston. And Ephraim, the Imperial Captain. Funding you will have, but of soldiers we have few to spare. For each of you, a difficult road awaits. If any of us meets with defeat, the battle will turn to Grotto's favor. There must be no errors. We must not fail. Where I command, there are no mistakes. I have no doubts. I'll succeed. I swear it. Come, it's time to go. Ten thousand gold of funds you will have. But soldiers, he has few to spare. Farewell, brother. I will return. Hmm. To be honest, I still do not want you to go. I would rather you wait here for my return. Please, Ephraim. I'll be fine. There's no need for you to worry. Mine is the easiest task, and I'll be in no danger. I'm far more worried about your mission. Ghost ship is really difficult. Challenging the might of an empire with a handful of men? What's this now? Have you lost your faith in me? No, of course not. I know your true strength, Ephra. No one can defeat you. Unless you get FE6 RNG. <laughs> Hearing you say that fills, us, fills me with confidence. I think I know my own limitations. I won't overextend my reach. I can't die and leave you on your own, can I? Ephra. Let us both survive to be reunited. Give me your word, Erica. You have it, brother. Erica and Ephraim will now part ways. Choose who will accompany Erica. Alright. So this is not what normally happens. This is Nintendo PC exclusive. So who goes with Erica? I think Seth does go with Erica. Seth goes with Erica. Special dialogue if Joshua goes with Erica, right? Okay.
Natasha maybe for Joshua supports. Vanessa can go with Erica, right? Because Ephraim gets Tana. Does she get Ross as well? I'm really worried about Ghost Ship. I think we need Ross for Ghost Ship. How far is Archer from promotion? He's like level 4. <laughs> uh, Renak is on... Ephraim. I think we need Ross and Mulder for Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship is really hard. Uh, they do share a convoy. They do share a convoy. So everyone on Erica's route, because we play that second, we should dump all their inventories in the convoy. Can Ross even cross the water on Ghost Ship? No, but we need him because he's really strong. Not because he does anything on the terrain. If we send... I think we are sending Mulder with Ephraim, which means we should definitely send Natasha with Erica. We get Tana with Ephraim, not... We get Tana with Ephraim, not, uh... Not Erica. Which side needs a thief? So, one thing this hack did was they added buyable door and chest keys because you don't have two thieves. Erica gets Cormag. We have three more picks. Amelia's Ephraim? Okay. Worst comes to worst, we can always grind in the Tower of Volney for Ghost Ship if we have to. Let's go Arter and Luke on Erica, right? And Colm? Maybe a Cavalier. I think we keep all our Cavs together. Yeah, Franz recruits Amelia, so Franz has to go with Erica. Send Ford. But we're going to support Ford and Franz, I think. can send Colm there. Ephraim can also recruit Amelia. Erica needs a calf. She's got this guy. Two is better than one. That's true. Can give her Kyle, I guess. Solo Kyle. Send Gilliam. No. We'll send Kyle. Alright, so Erica Root will be Erica. Let's go Arter, let's go loot. We have Seth, so we can't really lose. Vanessa goes with Erica because Ephraim gets Tana instantly. 
Our healer is Natasha. Joshua has to go because that way we get special dialogue. And then we have Kyle. Erica's route is also easier. There's really nothing we have to worry about with Erica's route. And we're just gonna do this, put everything in the convoy. Because the convoy is shared. We get to play both routes in this, yes. But not in the vanilla game. Only on Nintendo PC. Is there a give all button? I don't think so, but I mean, we've almost done it. Uh, Larchel and Renax crew join... Ephraim. Do we send Colm with Erica? I don't think it really matters. Because Renak is really late anyway. Actually, I don't want to babysit Colm on Ephraim Root. Maybe we take Vanessa with us. But then Erica doesn't get a flyer until... Cormag, who's also pretty late. Yeah, let's just not use Colm on either. <laughs> How about that? I think that's it. Hello, geez, average YouTube viewer here. I'm allergic to reading video descriptions. Tell me how to get the route split patch and also how you unlock the lunatic mode. You can't get me, okay? You can't get me. I think that's it. Our enemy is well prepared and strong. Who else should I take with me? Prince Ephraim! Princess Erica sent me to go with you! Let's take back Renee together! King Hayden has sent me to assist you in the assault on Grado. Worry not, the bench will be toasty with my posterior upon it. Please allow me to be your shield. No. I feel that I will be needed to serve the flock on our way to Grado. Yes! He'll serve us! I pray that this war will end soon. Hey, I'll help defeat Grotto and become a warrior as strong as my dad. Did you know I have capped strength? It seems like I've got one more war left in me. My axe is yours, Prince Ephraim. I'll be on the bench right next to Gilliam. I can help too. Grotto's army is bound to have lots of things they uh, don't need. I'll be happy to take them off their hands. I'll also be happy to take this $10 macro transaction. We need more gold! Thanks to Dragon Warrior Freak for the $10 macro transaction. Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream? Is it really the first? Hey, Itchies just got off work. I heard there's been an infestation of undead, so I'm sending this shipment of grain to help feed the army. Thanks. How generous of you. That really helps us out because we needed supplies. Listen, viewers. There's something about the grain that you should know. We're too late. These units have all been poisoned. They may look fine now, but it's only a matter of time before they lose 3 HP at the start of the next turn. This entire army must be purified. Did you bring the antitoxin? With you in command, Prince Ephraim, Grotto's troops won't know what hit them. But first, I need a nap. Okay. I guess we chose Ephraim. I gotta sync with Ephraim. The Tower of Volney has appeared to the east of Castle Frelia on the world map. Once held by Grotto's troops, it has become home to a host of dark creatures. Battling these monstrosities is a good way for units to gain strength. Try using the tower as a training area to gain extra exp experience. 
Be aware, you cannot save your battle preparations for tower skirmishes. Once you clear a tower map, you'll have access to the next floor. Each floor is more difficult than the last, so come prepared. Dark creatures may also appear on other bases on the world map. To engage these demons in combat, simply place the cursor on their location and press the A button. If the battle goes poorly and you're in danger of losing units, use the retreat command on the map menu to withdraw your troops. I really like this music. Alright, so the poll result... Pretty... not overwhelmingly, but pretty decisively. 63%. Are going for Ephraim Root, only 36% for Erica Root, and 63 plus 36 is 100. So it looks like we are going Ephraim Root. Here we go. Totally not rigged pole. This is not Ghost Ship yet. In fact, I think I think this chapter is actually quite easy. This is the one where we rescue Tana. So I think we actually need to. I want to buy stuff. I, I want javelins. Give me the javelins. Give me the javelins. Give me the javelins. I'll take your entire stock. I'll take your entire stock. I'll take like three, that's probably enough. I don't have that many hex users. And uh, I guess one steel axe. And an iron axe. And an iron lance. That's probably enough. <laughs> this is probably enough. Let's manage our items. Franz is looking okay. I think he's one of the only ones who can actually use the Armor Slayer, but we definitely want... an Iron Lance, right? Tenuous Javelin's probably fine. Molder the Boulder looking okay, but I think we want Mend, right? We don't need these. We need Mend. Ross, we still have the Hatchet by Gary Paulson. We'll take a Steel Axe, and we'll take a Hand Axe, right? There we go. Colm. Posit all this stuff. Gilliam. On the bench. Garcia probably also on the bench. Ford, Iron Sword, Javelin. And Steel Lance, I guess, in case we need the power. Ugh. Ephraim looking good over here. He definitely needs a Javelin. Uh, I hate the Steel Lance. Get out of here. Iron Lance and a Javelin for sure. Our plan doing Lagdu Ruins? Maybe. Near the end. Okay, inventory's looking fine. Molder the Boulder is our only healer. Do we have another heal staff? I think we actually need... I want a heal staff before I forget. My XP? My XP? I'll take two. Unfortunately, you can only use Torch Staff on Fog of War maps, but uh, that'll be easy XP. Two heal stabs is probably fine. Do we need restore? I mean, we literally don't have any, so we should probably get one. The biggest issue with Shadow Dragon was how few good shops there were. Ooh. Skirmish maps can randomly have Fog of War? Okay. Let's make sure Molder. We don't need the Torch Staff yet. Take the heal. Okay. I think that's it. A little thirsty. 
appears. Refreshed! Ephraim begins his march south towards Grotto from Castle Frelia. What are we going to do against this behemoth? Upon conquering Rene, the Grotto Empire has set its sights on Frelia. However, Inez and his troop meet the invaders at the water's edge. Against all odds, Inez halts the invasion, despite the fact that he's a sniper, keeping Frelia's border intact. Ephraim coordinates Frelia's troops in an effort to advance the front lines. Unbeknownst to Ephraim, Grotto forces are waiting for them at Fort Rigmar. They've fortified their positions and plan to wait out Frelia's siege. Undaunted, Ephraim remains determined to root out Grotto. I believe this is also where we get the Ocean Seal, which is what we need to promote Ross. Oh, the evil music. The Stone of Frelia has already been taken care of. I gotta sleep, good luck with the level ups. Who do you think you are? Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never complete my research. The beds must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Isn't that a bit much, sir? Burn down to their frames! No one goes to sleep until our research is complete. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never promote Amelia to general! Good night, thanks for watching. How is the Stone of Renee? How is it the Stone of Renee continues to elude us? Glenn, Walter, find the children of Renee. Find them, and take from them the bracelets that they wear. Glenn, take Erica. Walter, take Ephraim. Find them. Conquer them. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Erica, eh? She's a ripe little peach. And her brother, Ephraim. He's better prey than I'd imagine. I could feel my blood rushing at the thought. This might be fun after all. Kalik, Reeve, shatter the remaining sacred stones. Kalik, take Jehenna. Reeve, take Rouston. Go. Crush the sacred stones only for the Game Boy Advance they house. <laughs> As you will. I'll begin making arrangements for Rouston's downfall. Immediately. Ugh. Why am I stuck with Johanna? Accursed ill luck. I became a mercenary to escape that wretched place, and now I must go back? He's saying that to the Emperor, by the way. Do so. Go to Frelia. Punish the Frelian army and their commander, Ephraim. Begging your pardon, Your Majesty. Now that you've conquered Rene, what are your plans for her citizens? The country is in ruins. Thieves and bandits swagger about as if they had plus to it. Leave them. But sire... Sir Dussel, the Emperor has spoken. Please. Senior citizen silence. Selina, remain here in the capital. We shall have new orders for you shortly. Understood. Please, your majesty. Grant me the privilege of a single question. You vex us. Your majesty. You know that I will gladly lay down my life for an honorable cause. But these orders, and all of our recent actions, they are not just! If I saw any way in which this evasion protected Grotto, I would hold my tongue. But now, Rene is left ungoverned to drown in chaos. We gain nothing! Why do you wage this war? What is it you hope to achieve? 
You sent our men to fight and die for nothing! This isn't war! It's murder! Lucy, this decision is ours to make. You have no voice in these matters. Punish me if you must, your majesty, but I implore you! Please rethink this! Two exclamation points! If this continues, Grotto will... Do so. Go to Frelia. Crush the Frelian army and he who leads them, Prince Ephraim. Your Majesty! Have you gone deaf? Do so. Go to Frelia. Crush the Frelian army and he who leads them, Prince Ephraim. Have you gone mute? Go to Frelia. Crush the Frelian army, and he who leads them, Ephraim. Yes, your majesty. Sinister silence. Commander Gab! We captured a Pegasus Knight snooping about outside! Let me go! Stop it! That hurts! Ooh! You didn't tell me she was such a treat for the eyes! <laughs> this is a prize worth catching! I... I came for Ephraim! If you do anything to me, he will not be merciful! <laughs> I like her! Throw her in a cell. I'll spend the evening giving her a thorough interrogation. <laughs> you beast! That is Fort Rigwald. It has stood unconquered for generations. Its defenses are legendary. It's the jewel of Grotto's fortifications, and its walls have never been breached. And if we don't capture it, any attack on the capital will be pointless. Tell me what you see, Seth. Do we have the power to take it? It's a daunting task, especially since I'm just a hologram who's actually with e Erica. The enemy has taken advantage of both terrain and numbers. But what about in morale? Do you suspect the soldiers may be unwilling to fight? Anything's possible. This war is a sudden thing, but Grotto and Rene had long been friendly. Before these hostilities, our nations were allies. No, closer even than that. This is the Emperor's War, but the hearts of the people are not so swift to change. For example, General Dussel, one of the Imperial Three they call Obsidian. He was the one who taught me what I know about fighting with the Lance. Dussel's sympathies are sure to remain with Rene, and with our cause. He's loyal to Grotto, but he has no love of war. I'm sure he will speak with me. Seth hologram appears to be malfunctioning. And more than that, Prince... Lion? I think it's Lion. How do you pronounce this? That's Leon. Oh, it's Leon. Uh, Prince Leon has been my friend for years. He can be timid at times and perhaps was unable to oppose his father in this. But I'm sure he detests this fighting and shares my opinions. Prince Ephraim. There must be some grotto soldiers within the case who do not want to fight. The castle do not want to fight. If we can rush the fort and seize the throne room, I believe they will surrender. Optimism here may be deadly. Still, it's a far better plan than challenging the main army face to face. Erica's on our way to Ralston to help end this conflict. We cannot afford to wait here for much longer. We must take this fort, and then press on to the capital itself. Let's go, let's go Ephraim! Attack! We're under attack! Looks to be Frelian troops! Their commander is... Uh, Prince Ephraim of Rene! Rene? Rene?
R Renee, I'm. Hang on. Looks can be deceiving, and words are but air. But the nose knows. <laughs> Smells like deceit. Renee, this whole thing stinks. My younger sister and her husband were living in Renee. What's the Emperor thinking starting this war? I think. Hey. Ah! Yeah, I heard you. Talking about not fighting, are you? Losing your nerve? The punishment for treason is harsh. You'll burn at the stake. But it's not just me. Even General Dussel is opposed to this war. Dussel? You'd side with that washed up coward? And who's your commanding officer? Is it Dussel? Come on out with it! Uh, you, you, you are Sir Gamp. That's right. So that should make it clear whose orders you follow, eh? You got that, dolts? If you do, then shut up and get in formation. No one cares whether you minnows live or die anyway. Got it? Wait a moment. That's a horrible thing to say. And who are you supposed to be? Your name, out with it. I... I'm Amelia. I was assigned to this fort today. I'm a soldier of Grotto. I am not a slave. What's this now? You're a girl! You got a lot of nerve talking like that to your commander, recruit. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you about the chain of command. Commander Geb, enemy troops approaching. Ah, stinking interruptions. Form up, you useless worms. Don't let those dogs near the throne. Grotto cannot afford to lose a brilliant tactician of my stature. No one will blink if any of you worthless toads dies. But if I die, you should be happy to fight, kill, and die in my service. He called them toads? He called them minnows? He called them worms? Zoologist Geb. I became a soldier to honor the Emperor General Dussel and the people of Grotto. But this... this is wrong. That's the lot of a soldier. We're pawns in the games of kings and emperors. We fight as ordered, and we die as ordered. That's it. Come on. Time to go. Someone drew a backseat gaming jeans. Is it on the Discord? I think we set up our inventory already, right? We're just gonna bench these guys. They're, they're, they're doing nothing. We don't need them. It's on the Discord? What channel? Ford and Franz. Small Sanctum. Oh, five lockpicks. Okay, let me let me see. Hopefully this works. It's covering me a bit, but let's see. The back seating cheems. I'm over here. Oh, it's this one? What? This is so high quality. Don't backseat me. <laughs> Securely strapped in, though. The backseat chiefs. Hilarious. Might be kind of hard to see as an emote, but excellent work. Very well done. Are we recruiting Amelia here or later for the extra speed wing? Later for the extra speed wing? Is that worth it? I mean, it's not worth it either way. How much later is later? Let's see if there's any stealables. Do 
door key. Heavy spear. But that's only effective against armored. We don't have anything. There is a horse slayer, so... That guy is a horse slayer. Gotta be careful. Guy's a physique. Ooh, a sleep staff. Axe Reaver. I thought she was only recruitable here. I mean, we definitely want to recruit her as soon as possible, right? Chapter 13. Let's just get her now. Where is the sleep staff guy? This guy. Okay, we actually should bring restore. Yeah, no, we need armor knight Amelia for the ghost ship. This is the only way we can survive. We have Molder with the door key. Let's get the restore staff. Franz's inventory is full. We can give Ford the door key, I guess. There's another one. Let's have a chest key. Why armor knight? Why not cav? Why would we go armor knight? Or why would we go cav? Armor knight's way better than cav. Yeah, don't you know that Amelia is good in general? Alright, let's go. Oh, what a fool I've been. I came all this way to help Ephraim and I ended up getting captured again. That General Geb had the creepiest eyes. Oh, and that laugh. Oh, hurry Ephraim, please. Hurry and rescue me. Okay. Cool music. Steel Lance. Six deployments only? No, there's more than that, but our other units suck, so we just benched them. <laughs> chop this guy? I think we just chop this guy, or do we Franz him? Six damage. Wow, that's not. Oh. Slain? 15 damage, though. 15 damage. I mean, he gets slain, right? We don't die. We go there, we can get shot by this guy, but there's no way that kills us, right? And he has a steel bow, we're fine. As long as this guy can't reach us, which he can, so that's actually kind of a problem. Let's just chop him. There's a sleep staff in the middle, there's a sleep staff over here, right? Is there another one? Oh, this guy also has a sleep staff. Good thing we brought uh, Restore. We're gonna need Molder. We can do this. We gotta get these bro supports. Unfortunately, uh, Ephraim can't Regileaf them. He's a bit too far away. Alright, welcome back to gameplay, by the way. Armor slain. Hey, Molder XP. Bronze level? Strength speed? It's coming up. Leveling only luck. I'd rather have gotten just HP. 
Are we sure this guy's five stars? I can shoot over the wall. But we can reach that guy, so let's just do that. We still have not seen a zero stat level. Gotta quit my sword here. Two strength short. We have. Iron Axe and Iron Axe. I don't think we kill them, so we'll be fine. Zero stat levels are a thing. It's possible. They're extremely rare, though. We're gonna get axed next next turn, but that's fine. What happened to our XP gains? Iron Axe, sure. Oh, we can do this. Look at look at this mobility. And now we have the sword. Perfect. Ephraim has done nothing so far. Is this a longbow unit? Steel bow. No items. Is there any time pressure on this map? Wow, that's a... Can Ford die here? Lost two coin flips. Hey, at least we get to re-roll that luck level. Built Ford tough. What a disaster. Welcome to Lunatic, I guess. Deploy Garcia. We should try and get the same luck level, right? Like, it couldn't possibly be worse. Okay, it's different RNG because, yeah, we... Hey, I mean, at least we didn't take damage. I guess that's okay. That means the RNG is different. It's not gonna be just luck. Hey, that's better. Not just luck. Looking better than last time? It's true, it is XP for Mulder. Do we just chop this guy? I want to get XP for... Akram's too strong. If we javelin him... And Ford attacks from the adjacent space where the knight is now. So bad. So bad. Wow. Broke the javelin, which we needed to do. You can tell he's Franz's brother. Eight XP. 
Steel Lance doesn't kill. Iron Sword doesn't double. I guess we'll just kill them with Ross, right? Hopefully these guys don't actually attack Ross, because they're just going to die. We gotta get that Molder XP. Be healed, Franz. Poke with Matthew. <laughs> Okay, hopefully nobody dies this time. Well, this guy's about to die. Wow, these guys have such good hit rates. It's the lunatic mode. I actually don't want Ross to chop those guys, but I guess it's okay. That's fine. This is actually what I want. Well, we dodged him this time. We definitely need to get forward levels because he's so weak. this. Oh, this is 49 hit on the sleep staff. 49 hit on the sleep staff. Nighty night. Can't sleep me. I want to get rid of this guy. Can Franz double this guy? He can, and he does kill him. Can I deal 14 damage to this guy? If I hit him once, that does it, right? Yeah. Good, now miss this one. He's too good. Alright, this guy has 35 HP, so... Yeah, he dies in one shot. That sounds about right. The Reggie Leaf! <laughs> the Reggie Leaf! This guy's a Steel Lance. I guess Ford can get Chip XP? Wow. Let's just kill him with the Iron Axe, it's fine. Nobody to heal, but I think we get a lot of XP for the Restore Staff. So we actually want them to... Oh, is this guy going to shoot Mulder? No, Mulder's fine. So we'll put Ford on this pillar. Who's this guy going to shoot? I think we're okay. Enemy calves on the way. They choose to shoot for... Wow. We're on the pillar and he has that much hit on us. That's crazy. 7% hit chance. We do have Restore, though. So we kind of want him to hit, because then we get XP. Maybe Forge too good. Enemy reinforcements from there is fine. How do we get this kill on Ford? Horrible hit rate. No double with the Iron Sword. We have to deal 14 damage. Can Franz do it? No, because Franz doubles. Ephraim also doubles. How much damage do we do here? Do we do any? We do five. Then we have to deal 16. We only deal 12. All of our guys are too strong. I can't believe we have to do this. We gotta box this guy in. This is so sad. Die in two hits. You can hit him again with Colm. Yeah, I think uh, we're gonna Reggie Leaf these guys coming down here. We don't want Molder to get shot, so I guess we'll just wait. We won't heal this turn. 
Not too worried about those Cavaliers. Sleep Staff on four. He's taking a nap. Here comes the XP. Restore Staff. Restored by Mulder's Staff! How much XP do we get for this? Restored. Okay, Iron Sword and then Iron Sword. He should die. Got a box in the enemy so that you can get a level up. Definitely four stars. Come on, Ford. We do get a Ford level up here. He is the Speedy Cavalier, which of course means that he levels nothing. We'll get speed next level. It's going, it's going very poorly. We're in huge trouble. Runs in the family, I guess. Iron sword. Just fronts with the iron lance. I could just Reggie leaf them now, but we want to get the XP on Ford. All our other units are like really over leveled, so they don't get much XP. Can we suffer from success? I don't think so, because we don't, we don't even kill this guy. We do double him, though. Okay, we missed. The Franz family. More like the Bronze family. Uh-oh. Are there any reinforcements on this map? It's been a really long time since I played Sacred Stones, but I, I distinctly remember there being like a Shaman reinforcement from this staircase. But it just didn't spawn. Very puzzling. A Shaman on like turn four? Where did it go? It should have appeared, right? But we didn't get one. Really weird. All right, Molder level. I have faith. I do have faith. Here's the magic and the speed. I'm going to the Is it possible? How is it possible? Is this the power of the Demon King? We're level 12. We have 6 magic and 10 speed. How is this possible? I have an iron. 
Iron Lance? Well, now I do. actually killed him. I don't want to do it now, because then, then we're going to suffer from success. From Ephraim's success. Ouch. Where's the shaman reinforcements? We can kill the steel lance, but then we get doubled. That's a horrible hit rate. Bronze just kills. Ephraim just kills. I guess we'll just wait. And we'll get Molder XP. Why do I have the steel lance equipped? Suffer from success if you don't succeed. We can attack and heal, though. Okay, probably a level up next turn. Look at this. This is the Molder XP farm, okay? We're gonna get a great level. Our faith will be rewarded. Got the heavy speed. Oh, hey! That takes him to just under. We actually don't want to kill him, though, right? Because we're going to die. We don't want to suffer from success. Otherwise, we would do this. Twelve damage. Ouch. Scary. Scary. Okay, that javelin guy is kind of scary. Maybe we should get rid of him. We don't even double him. Hello? Alright, can we weaken this guy with... Then we need to do six damage, which I think we do. For honor and good stat growth. Javelin on that guy does six. Could kill him with the hatchet. I think we're gonna do that. I want him out of the way. Hatchet by Gary Paulson! We're still weighed down by the hand axe, but we won't be once we promote. I think we need to mend here. And we definitely need to equip our Iron Lance. This is so embarrassing. We got a turtle like this because our units are so bad. Oh! Are we sure? That's good. Extra chip XP. Okay. Ford Redemption incoming. We really need good stats. Watch that one. Foul sorceries! Do you know that Ford is the resistant cavalier? 
Uh, we did get speed. That's something. Oh, look, and because of that, now we double. Imagine if we had that earlier. Wouldn't that be nice? A heavy spear. I'm sure that actually might help us. I'd rather have that than the freaking steel lance. We can hit these armors there. Can we weaken this guy? Yeah. This guy has the iron swords, he's gonna hit us, that's fine. And we can heal Franz this turn. Okay. We're fine. We can javelin him, maybe, with Ephraim? Okay, that's good. Whew! We have to deal 11 damage. We currently deal 8. Does this have an extra 3? It doesn't, and we get doubled. We are 1 point short. Steel Lance kills. Steel is Steel Lance the same as Heavy Spear? I can use more men's here. Riveting gameplay? It's not that bad. We're getting those molder levels. Not that they're worth anything. Okay. Good. We, we're almost at another level. We're almost at another level. Uh-oh. Hey, we haven't gotten low percentage crit yet. does have a vulnerary, so I guess we are going to use that. I really want to see Mulder go full Slayer. When Mulder turns to the dark side, you'll know why, okay? Just grinding Miss XP. We definitely need to get a Franz and Ford support. It's going to help Ford out a lot. I don't think Franz can weaken this guy. He's just going to kill him, yeah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's good. Strength, please. We're so weak. We're so weak. We're so weak. Speedy Cavalier. It's fine, we'll get speed next level. We're so weak. Can this Lulger reach us? It actually can. With an Iron Lance. Okay, we're fine. I'm not worried about that. Ouch. Can we at least kill this soldier? We don't. We do double him, though. What are his averages? A little better than this, I think. If I do this, and Iron Lance him. And then if we block off this area with 
I guess, Ford or Franz. We'll build that support and the Lodger will... Oh. I don't think Ford can take attacks on both of these, can he? Probably not, so... Let's deal with this. Why take the risk? Look at this, we can put Molder in this pocket. This guy doesn't have a javelin, does he? No, he doesn't. I guess I could have done that without killing the soldier. Pocket Molder! I think we're gonna use a door key instead of using our lockpick. Our lockpick is almost broken. This guy's the horse slayer, right? So we have to be careful. Ephraim and Ross carrying the team. At this point, they did this on purpose, right? So if we send a cavalry in over there, they're gonna get slain. So let's not do that. Nine damage, what are we gonna do? It's actually zero damage. Ephraim level up? Did he steal all the good levels? He did. Wow. You're too slow! Wild speed. I don't know if our strength is that good. But it's enough. I mean, yeah, it is. It, it's enough. 14 strength is good. 16 speed. Are we sure he's the slow one? Let's just make sure we don't get horse slain. Can they attack over this wall? They cannot. Surprised they didn't give them longbows. We get Molder XP. I mean, we can heal double Ford strength. I mean, let's get the Molder XP, right? It's not like the knight's gonna hit him anyway, because the horse slayer is pretty terrible accuracy. Oh, look at that Molder! Look at that Molder XP. Gotta make sure not to get horse slain. Wow, 11 damage. Ouch. It's more Molder XP. I think we can Javelin him? And then finish him off with someone else, right? Oh, perfect. How much speed does Erica have? I think Ephraim's actually faster. We are pretty deep, though. Just in case. Don't tell Kaga. Right, come on. You can, okay, you can do one damage. You can do one damage. Oof. Is this Ford or is it Amelia? We gave Ford the heavy spear, right? If we open this door, these guys can move four. So one, two, three, four. So we're fine. We can open the door. Why did I do that? This is fine, this is fine. Oh, she moves towards us! Okay, that's kind of scary. There's no way we get one shot, right? Ouch. Okay, we have to be very careful not to kill Amelia by accident. Because the moment we recruit her, we gotta move her out of there, or she's toast. Hmm. 
Molder will choke this point. We kill this guy, right? Wow. Wow. We got another axe coming. Ross carry. And she has the Slim Lance. The soldier attacks us, right? I don't even think Ford can kill her. Can we double this guy? Probably not. No, we can't. She doesn't move first, right? One. She can't even reach us. She has four moves. We're fine. Franz recruits her. Does this guy have a javelin? This guy does have a javelin. Uh, I think we just Reggie leave him, right? Because he's a thirty. He has thirty-one health, and he's an armor knight. So yeah, he dies in one shot. Sounds about right. Oh, the Reggie leaf. <laughs> Really easy to preserve this thing. It only needs one durability because it one shots everything. <laughs> the Reggie Leaf. Molder level. Redemption. Redemption. It's a holy skill. I will bring honor to my father and my kingdom. Light, guide our path. Finally, a decent level. Foul oh, sorceries! We even got resistance. Luck is improving the closer we get to Amelia. <laughs> uh, I think we just end the turn, right? There's no way these guys can kill Ross. Look at this. Ross has 13 defense. We used a Draco shield, but still. Seven damage. We have 22 hit rate on him. That's crazy. Eighteen damage with the Reggie Leaf. Eighteen. Double. He gets doubled. Oh, he has a Steel Sword. Two Reggie Leaf charges. I don't want to use a Reggie Leaf on a Lulger. No, my Reggie Leaf. Four Reggie Leaf uses down the drain. Is there another Reggie Leaf? There's one more, right? Ah, uh, we still got 31 uses. Okay, can you do nine damage? So Ephraim, who recruits her? Ephraim or Franz? It should probably be Franz, right? Attack. He literally one-shots her. He literally one-shots her. We choose Mercy. You, you're a girl? Ah, hey, don't make fun of me. I'm a soldier of Grotto. Prepare yourself, Frelian dog. Wait a minute. Ooh. Are you all right? It's not surprising you fell over from that stance. Can you get up? Sh shut up! Did you hurt your knee? I know how it feels. I did it often enough as a recruit myself. Be honest, I still do it more than I should. Have you seen my level ups? I'm Franz. I'm a knight of Renee. What's your name? I'm Amelia. 
Amelia, do you think I could ask you to surrender? This may be odd, but I really have no desire to fight you. Not gonna play it again. I get the feeling you don't want to fight either. Am I right? I... But... but... I've heard F Prince Ephraim takes female pr prisoners and uses them as palace slaves! If I surrender, will I be forced to work in the palace too? N no, don't be silly. Prince Ephraim would never do such a thing. I... Think. You think? No, he wouldn't. Of course not. You have my word of honor. Well, you seem sincere. I trust you. I'll trust you, Franz. Really good graphics for the Game Boy Advance. They even got the guy with the blonde hair right. Are we really gonna trust this guy? He's below his averages, I don't know. Alright. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's Amelia. Alright. You've been patient. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's Amelia the Recruit. Level 1 Recruit. Chapter 10. 4 Strength. 3 Skill. 4 Speed. 6 Luck. 2 Defense. Three res, four move, six con. Are you ready? You think I'm gonna give Amelia one star? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Yeah, there. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Okay, Th there's really no surprises here. Uh, is Amelia the worst unit in the game? If not, she's second worst. She's really, really bad. Really bad. But at least she has good growth. Just kidding, of course. <laughs> Did you think that they would give a... My... Just kidding, of course. <laughs> Just a little... Oof. Just kidding, of course. <laughs> Just a jest by Intelligent Systems. Did you really think they would give a level minus 10 units... <laughs> Just kidding, of course. <laughs> Just a little jest by intelligent systems. Did you really think that they would give a level minus 10 unit whose only purpose is to grow good growths? No. You'll take 35% strength and 40% speed and you'll love it, okay? Worse strength than Lin. Why? I just don't understand. What if she had a hundred percent growths, she would still be one of the worst units in the entire game. How the hell are you gonna kill something with four base strength on chapter nine? I think I said chapter ten earlier, it's chapter nine. E rank lances, by the way, but of course. <laughs> it's 
it really does not get much worse than Amelia. If it does get worse, it's the other trainee in the game. And that's only because of timing, not because they're actually worse than Amelia. Amelia is a pure meme unit, and unlike the other trainees, you don't actually get any unique utility by training her. If you train Ross, you get the best Berserker in the game. He's definitely better than Dazla. If you train Yuin, you get the best Summoner in the, in the game, because although Summoner stats are kind of, you know, they, they don't really matter that much, they do matter a little bit if you want to fight with them, and a trained Yuin is definitely better at fighting than Noel. With Amelia, you get either the worst Cavalier in the game, or, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the worst general in the game. She's probably worse than Gilliam, because at least Gilliam starts at level 4 instead of minus 10 on chapter 9. Oh. As a recruit, as a recruit, as the only trainee recruit, she has a unique promotion path. For her first promotion, she can go either Cavalier or Knight. If you've completed the game once already on both routes, you can actually go Super Trainee. I believe Super Trainee does actually get Crit, which is kind of fun. As a... As the only recruit trainee in this game, she does have a unique promotion path. She can go either Cavalier, Knight, or if you've completed the game once on both both paths, you can go Super Trainee. I believe Super Trainee does get crit upon final promotion, but it's still definitely a bad choice. I'm actually not going to say it's the worst choice, because I think there is one that is worse. <laughs> You'll never guess which it is. So if you're playing seriously, you're not using Amelia at all, but if you're trying to use Amelia pseudo-seriously, 600 BST, I wish, then the correct choice is to go Cavalier, and then to go Paladin. If you have the option to go Paladin, you should always go Paladin. But let's be real here, okay? If you're using Amelia, it's because you're trying to meme to the max, right? And if you're gonna meme to the max, the only way to do it is to go knight, and then to go general, okay? Amelia is good in general, and you know, that's what we're gonna do. And you can trust us, okay? We never make wrong choices here on the Imported Cheese channel, please subscribe. If she goes general, be sure to give her swift souls, okay? It fixes her only weakness. In terms of supports, she supports with two good units. That's pretty good. In terms of support, she has a personal thunder affinity, which is kind of whatever, but Ross could be a good support, and Franz could be a good support. And maybe she needs the tutelage of Dussel. Lots of good options for her. Unfortunately, all of these options involve using Amelia. <laughs> There's no force either on Earth or on Magvel, no King's Ransom you could pay me to convince me to move of Amelia above one star. There's no force on Earth or on Magvel, no King's Ransom you could possibly pay me to convince me to put Amelia any higher than one star. She is a pure meme unit through and through, but you know... The weaker the start, but you know, the more sour the start, the sweeter the end will be when we finally have General Amelia plowing through the enemy ranks. The journey to get there is gonna be rough. I'd say saddle up, but we're not going Cavalier.
Brown Star. We should probably mention this while we are talking about Amelia. On Erica Root, she does appear twice. So you can steal her speed wing the first time, like using the steal command, and don't recruit her. And then when she reappears, you can then recruit her. And that way you get two speed wings. That is unironically probably the most useful way to use Amelia, if that counts. One speed wing for each star. Maybe that usage of Amelia gets two stars. Okay, take this! Not only does she get doubled by the archer, she also gets one shot. One shot, one star. She's level one cheese? As if that's a defense. I'm aware she's level one. <laughs> I wish she was level one. She's level minus 10. Whoa. Cheat Ross got two stars with worse stats. He didn't have worse stats. He had better stats, and it was chapter two! And he had the personal weapon, the hatchet by Gary Paulson. That helped him out a lot. Amelia doesn't. Wow, we actually don't one-shot this guy. Maybe we can deal three damage with the javelin. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. You know what? You can tell Kago, okay? Tell him that after he left, they added a trainee to the game who's, who has terrible bases and terrible growths. Why? I think she can deal three damage to the mage. It might be possible. That guy's coming towards us, right? We gotta stop these Cavaliers. That's a longbow. I, I did well, didn't I? You did not. Ripperoni. The Amelia experience. The only spot she can go that's safe is Ross's. Long, look at this. We take two damage. What's not fair? Amelia's level one. Ouch. 
Do you think Amelia can deal three damage with the with the javelin? I think she can. How do we do this? We actually might have to Regileaf these guys. Oh, we actually can't Regileaf. That's pretty scary. I think we just back up. I think that's safer. Let's just back up. We trained Ross from garbage to good unit. Let's have some hopes for Amelia. It, it, look, man, it doesn't matter that Ross is good now. I'm aware he's good now. Look at that glowing green 20. Remember that to get him there, the chapter after he joined, it was just the Ross training show. We had to spoon feed him every single kill. That's an opportunity he has that Amelia doesn't. Ross is still terrible, by the way, even though he's good now. Amelia will eventually also be probably fine. But she's not fine now. She's horrendous. Having to invest is a downside. Do these guys have javelins? This guy does. But there's no way he one rounds Molder, so we can expose Molder. One of the enemies in the right corridor has a stealable gem. Do they? I think we checked at the beginning. I don't think they do. No, there were no stealables. This is a difficult video for me to make. You're right, there is a stealable gem. Thanks for reminding me. My mistake. Okay, this is the last error that can be hit. Franz, Ephraim. Ephraim actually has pretty good res. I think Ephraim with the javelin... I don't think he kills everything, but maybe he does. Hey, we can get a support with his bro. Let's do it. Do we go S rank Amelia and F do we go A rank Amelia and Franz or Amelia and Ross? Brother. Hey Franz. I'm glad to see you're still in one piece. The one piece is real. After that last battle, I was starting to get a little worried. Doosel. I'm not doing Doosel. I'm glad you're alright too. Good job out there, by the way. Your fighting form is perfect. Thanks, Ford. I keep thinking about this war. What do you think will happen? Dunno. I mean, whatever happens, happens, right? Always quick with the joke. But I'm serious this time, what do you think? Hey, I was being serious. We're the best and brightest of our age, but we face overwhelming numbers. Pretty confident. If you ask me, all I can say is that I hope we win. It takes more than just hoping for it. We need to fight for it. We're Knights of Renee, it's our duty to fight. You're so serious. You're just like Kyle. If you take the battle too seriously, you're sure to make a mistake. Unlike me, who never makes mistakes. You think so? Of course. It's good to be responsible, but you have more pressing concerns at times. All right, brother. I know what you're saying. Renee's finest. Amelia Franz is a sweet support. Light affinity, wind affinity. Ah, the wind affinity. Ugh. I think we're fine here. Ephraim's not at full health, though, is he? I, I don't think there's any way... That he, there's no way we die. We don't even double. Hello? Lunatic mode?
Is this FE6? We gotta mend this dude. I don't even think we get... I don't even think we get full health, right? Nope. We're gonna have to Regulief this guy, for sure. He, we, we have to get rid of him. No choice but to... Wow. And these guys are also gonna attack us. We're gonna Regulief every last one of them. Weapon level increased. Okay, 21 HP on this guy. How do you do, Ford? 7 damage, okay. How do you do, Franz? 11 times 2. Iron Sword does 8 times 2. So with the Iron Sword... We then have to deal 5 damage. That's zero damage. Too strong with the Iron Lance. Javelin. Uh, can we hit once with Ross? He kills him? <laughs> The hatchet does, and that leaves him with four. Can Amelia deal four damage to this guy? There's no way, right? We can deal two. Give Amelia a steel lance? She's not gonna- there's no way she's gonna be able to hit this guy. Oh, we got it, we got it. The hand axe. The hand axe. Okay, Slim Lance. Zero. Okay, I mean, sixty two hit. And we get one shot twice if we miss. The finest soldier in Grotto. The finest soldier in Grotto. We need assistance immediately. We have to kill this guy. There's no option. Iron Sword. 1% crit. Ouch. Maybe I should have used my Iron Lance. Trust me. Oh, they can't even reach me. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. This guy's about to get Regulief. Nine damage. Ouch. Nine. Oh, nine damage. That's actually kind of painful. Never mind. It's actually zero. This is the longbow. Ouch. I don't think we die to that other cavalier. No, he has a javelin. Okay, we actually would have died without a dodge. <laughs> this guy has the longbow, right? And, and he has the red gem. Can we even steal it from him? 
Yeah, we can. He only has seven speed. He can attack this entire corridor, right? Yeah, he can. So we can't actually send Amelia through until we deal with that guy. We could always rescue her, though. Alright, we definitely have to do this. I'm thinking... Not Regileaf. Okay. There's no way that Amelia can kill after that. There's no way. We have six tiles, right? One, two, three, four... Is it five or six? Five, right? How's Hand Axe? 20. That's an exact kill. We don't want that. This and then Ford, maybe? But then Ford might actually die. Can't. Oh, Ford isn't even in range. This guy we can just kill, right? Or do we box him in for the range training? This guy looks like he could be boxed. Yeah, we can farm him. We're gonna farm him. What if we miss one of these? Wouldn't that be convenient? What if we miss one of these? Is this FE6? I'll do my best. We could still miss. We could still miss. Look, we have Kaga's blessing, okay? He would approve of this. The greatest soldier in Grotto. Are we sure that she's one star? Are we sure she's one star? Amazing. Now, if she stays here, obviously she's gonna die, so we gotta get her out of here. <laughs> Amelia the Adequate. Okay, I don't think anybody dies here. I think we are okay. Amelia fans rise up. Your entire game halted to baby her? Yep. One star. I don't have the javelin, but we're gonna farm that guy. I'm kinda scared of that mage. This longbow guy is really annoying. Well, we're fine to just kill this guy, right? Oh, Ross level? We can't get strength because we're capped. We just want speed. Oh, Askin, you shall receive. Oh, beautiful. Actually amazing. Ouch. You're too slow.
That's a three health main. We can expose Molder to one longbow shot. He doesn't care about that. He won't die. We got skill last level, right? Steel Axe? Oh. Oh. Goodbye, nerd. <laughs> A Steel Axe. Don't tell Kaga. Any of these dice rolls she loses, she dies. <laughs> the greatest recruit in Grotto? Oh no, it's over. You didn't see that. A terrible vision of what could have happened. We have to get rid of at least one of these. Steel bow. She has the hustle ability. 50% extra attack, and this is what we get. Kill the archers and let her bully the priest. Yeah. This is the guy we have to steal from, though. Just have Franz kill this mage. We, we can't have her risk killing the mage. Uh, oh, this is actually really bad. I think he also dies, right? To, like, the longbow as well. Let's get the support bonus, right? Oh, look at the ac the, the support! Brothers! Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Is this FE6? It's a disaster. The Brothers War. Oh, God, that's so bad. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. Oh, brother. That was a disaster. What? That was so... Franz the Fraud. Okay, he has the same hit rate. You think you can stand up to Ford the Feeble? I guess Ford the Focused, right? Good timeline? Good timeline. Can't let his brother outdo him. Ford Focus! Gotta get rid of at least one of these guys. Mecha in shambles. I don't want to save scum level ups too much, but also this chapter takes forever, so... There are gonna be some split timelines, I'm sorry. No real way to avoid it. Okay, we can go up here. We also need to steal this gem. We don't get one shot, that's good. Can the longbow reach us? Oh, the longbow can reach us, oh no. Pretty scary. Pretty scary. Cannot reach there. Okay. I 
I got it, I got it. Calculated. There we go, training arc will start. This guy cannot reach, of course not. Healed by Molder? Franz is fine. What, is there anything up here? Oh, oh, scary. Luna. So let's get ready to kill him next turn, I guess. How's Ephraim doing? I mean, Ephraim can do it, right? With the javelin? He's not gonna die, right? I don't think so. Oh, apparently. I think we're fine. What's this guy gonna do? Uh-oh. Ouch. That actually hurts. Maybe now Luna kills us. But I don't think Luna's gonna hit us. Luna's hit rate is so bad in this game. A longbow. Hey, he's coming close to us so we can steal his stuff. Perfect. Twenty-one hit. We don't even die. The state of the Oh, you think you can stand up to Ephraim the Elite? Save the javelin use. Oh, not the sleep stand. The sleep stand. Sleep stand. Okay. Step one. <laughs> That's a nice red gem you got there. You ain't. Step two. Is that step two? I think we have to... Well, let's heal for more XP. Level is Molder, like 12? 13, ugh. Is Franz double? He doesn't, he exactly kills. This is Ford double. He doesn't, he doesn't kill. <laughs> Ephraim definitely kills, right? Oh yeah, he does for sure. We actually want Ross to not double. What a monster. I guess we'll give it to Franz, I don't know. <laughs> Franz is too good, if only he didn't level strength. All right. I'll do my best. Ah. Look at that XP, just from a chip. Strength and speed, please. Oh no, oh no. It's fine, okay, we'll get- we'll get speed next level. <laughs> what do our other units do? Is- is Ephraim gonna do anything? I guess Ephraim just goes to rescue Tana? Like, we're not in a rush. I think we need the Amelia Escort.
We can maybe... Okay, we're hoping to get Molder XP. We want to go to sleep. Because if we go to sleep, we can then restore staff. Only one more use, though. Alright, the Slim Lands. Ugh. We want to attack him more times because we get so much XP from just chipping. Okay, we actually need to heal Franz. I don't even think this is going to top him off. Oh, it is. I underestimated Molder. I won't make that mistake again. And we gotta get ready to rescue Dropper down there. Which I think is possible. Will there be a vote on Amelia's promotion? No, it's, it's general. Even if there was a vote, do you think people would really vote for Paladin? Hell no, we're going general. Amelia is good in general. I guess we'll build supports. It does make sense for Ephraim to go up here and save Tana, right? Ephraim can just do that after this last uh, sleep staff. He could fall asleep. Did you hear what he said about his sister? He was really rude to her. He's definitely not woke. Oh, he's woke. I'll do my best. Uh. Okay, level up on the next turn. This guy can't reach me there. This guy can. I don't even think we need the Reggie Leaf. Let's just use our Iron Lands. What's this guy gonna do to us? What's Ross doing? I'm not sure. Franz does this, they build the support faster, so I guess we'll do that. Can Molder heal anyone? Gotta heal that 1 HP on... Gotta heal that 1 HP. I was just Paladin Amelia, but never Paladin Franz. Great Knight Amelia sounds cursed. Oh, the Molder level! The Molder level! Why did we get sad music? Oh, sorceries! We got the best stat in the game. Our Mulder is so bad. He's so bad. At least we got magic. But this Mulder is a disaster. Oh, zone-based reinforcements. Amelia level incoming. A lot of XP. Okay. It's fine, we'll get speed next level. If we go here... Yes, that's fine. Because he's not going to move, he's just going to attack us.
Yeah, okay, we're set. We should probably do something about this. <laughs> this guy might have to get Reggie Leafed. Uh, this is just an armor, it's just one shot, no big deal. Oh, we have the Halberd, you're right. We have the Halberd. Ross will choke this point. Colm will hide over here. You sure about- oh. You think you can stand up to Ephraim the Eviscerator? Nice killing edge, pal. <laughs> what? Okay, well with my killing edge, I can probably... Pray to my god of choice and get a crit on this- Whoa! Crit. Oh no. Franz, no. Oh, I messed up so badly. No, my training project. Oh, that's terrible. I just sacrificed so much XP. I just made a huge mistake. How are we going to train Amelia now? I think we're going to be okay. Because Megas are back, guys. Megas are back! Thank you to the real gold sleazy for the 50 gifted memberships. A 50 hit pin missile. All for Amelia. Well, I think she still gets a level from this, but that was disastrous. Really unfortunate. Well, not even unfortunate. I It's just a tactical mistake. It's just a mistake. We're out of here. You're so envious. If you Do you have gifts enabled? Save scum and go back a level? No, we're not going to save scum actual levels. I'd rather use the Halberd than the Reggie Leaf. It's a sword, though. Reggie Leaf, you're up. I really don't want to break the Reggie Leaf. It's, it's so good. <laughs> this guy can't reach us, right? And this guy? Oh, he can. He well, he's gonna get Reggie Leafed. Well, no, he'd rather hit Ross, right? Let's make him hit Ross. You Hummerned Reggie Leaf? We, we, I, we actually might do that. How many charges does Hummer, Hummerned have? Three? That's a lot of Cavaliers. Oh. He just decided to kill himself. Okay. Why? Iron Lance, Steel Lance, Jav- Okay, there's one Javelin. Now, no javelins. Problem solved. <laughs> Don't want to use my Reggie Leaf. There we go. All right, here comes an Amelia level. Ah. Q 
can't really celebrate. I don't even know if we're below average. We gotta deal with all these reinforcements, then we can go get Tana. Wild speed, though. We gotta get her up here. And Colm is just chillin'. He's gonna go get the chest eventually. What is this guy doing? You sure, pal? We don't even double him, hello? Damage. Is this FE6? I feel like Ephraim has had the worst luck by far. I know he sees a lot of combat, but he misses a lot. A steel Lance. Okay, there's a javelin. We have to kill the javelin. I must unfortunately leave for a reason that definitely does not require beds to be burned. Have a good night. Alright, if you say so. Okay. Well, she can throw a javelin next turn. Disgusting. Ephraim kill? Sure. And Molder XP if we get hit here. Yeah, ouch. Uh, we can make do with a heal here. Is that heal? It is. This guy has a Javelin. Steel Lance. Two Javelins. The issue is I don't want... Like, Molder getting Javelin is okay. We're only concerned about the Javelins, but if I put... Like, if I kill this guy with the Javelin... All these Cavaliers are just gonna kill themselves on Ross. Just for safety. I think we're okay. Ford has the javelin equipped, right? Yeah. How much per rank do the heals increase? So heal is 10 base and mend is 20. Well, this guy's just gonna die. I think this is an Ephraim level. Ephraim's really high level. Probably want to start holding Ephraim back a bit. 16. Oh boy, wow, look at that. Level 16 with 16 strength and 16 speed. Level 16. Oh. And we have weapon triangle advantage with our javelin. I know what we're doing to this guy. Well, we definitely need to kill the Javelin guy, so... This Javelin guy we can just kill with Ross. Now, there is another Javelin guy. Does he one-round Amelia?
loses two speed. She has eight attack speed. Amelia with the javelin. Yeah, okay, he, he one rounds us for sure. For sure. So we'd have to rescue her. Which we can. She needs the speed wing. Huge chip XP. Huge chip XP. God, we gotta do all this. We can't. We can't even take her. She can't attack next turn. Very unfortunate. Colm is too small to pick up Amelia. I just assumed he, I just assumed he could. Yeah, that's good. Oh, we exact oh, we might suffer from success here. If we didn't get that strength level up, we wouldn't have to worry here. Oof. Oh, this is good. You think you could stand up to Ephraim the Eviscerator? That's not good. We didn't want to do that. It would have been one would have been one HP, it would have been perfect. Even with a physique breeze, this is fine. Ouch. Is this Ephraim mode gaming? You bet. That's good. Okay, and I guess a Ford kill is fine. That's something we could use. That's so bad. Do this, right? So we can... Oh, we don't even have a... I mean, 82 hit rate's fine. This guy definitely doubles Amelia. Can I drop her there? There's nothing on the left, right? Yeah. I actually want this guy to attack me. Put Ross here. Probably fine. And then we can start moving this guy up to get all the chests. 13 damn These hit rates, this lunatic mode, the enemies are so skilled. It's Molder XP. That's good. Wow, we have 69 hit on him. That's pretty good. I can't be mad we missed that. What about this? What about this? Ah! Foul sorceries! At least we got resistance. We'll get to speed next level. Ross is at full health. Franz is at full health. Ford is not, so we need to heal Ford. Can this guy shoot? No, he cannot shoot Mulder, so we can heal Ford. Oh, boy. Hello, Plague. Welcome. We're... 
We're having fun with Amelia. Uh, how much do I do? I don't have a... Oh, I actually one shot with this. Pretty good. Careful about the shaman? The shaman. Nineteen attack. Uh oh. Shaman. The shaman. Molder's too big. Molder's too big. I can't rescue Molder. The boulder is too heavy to rescue. Ross can get him, yeah, Ross can get him. The boulder. Too big for smash. 10 damage, ouch. Oh, Amelia did six damage, right? I'll do my best! Hey, Ford level. His last level was pretty good. Fine, we'll get speed next level. <laughs> is, this is not normal, right? Why do we get so many blank level ups? This is not normal. Can't even two shot this wall. How many how many turns has it been? This is a disaster. Thirty five turns. Ooh, restores that. Why don't you just have Colm unlock the door? I have three lock the cues. Okay, Amelia, you can do it. Confirmed. Amelia can hit the broadside of a barn. Good job. And we'll, I guess, just build supports over here in the meantime. Bronze Ford is fine. We can get more... More Molder XP, because we really need that. And nothing else to steal, right? So then we can focus on just getting towards Geb. Okay, let's talk to this chick. Tana? What are you doing here? I came here in hopes of helping you in some way. But while I was looking for you, I got captured by Grotto troops. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to see you're unharmed. Tana, you should head back to Castle Frelia immediately. King Hayden must be worried about you. No! Ephraim, I came all this way so I could help you! And yet, here I am, helping you. Ah, well... Yes, that may be true, but... But I've been so worried about you, Ephraim. I see. 
Ah, please don't look at me with those teary eyes. If you're really determined to help, then you're welcome to come with us. But you must promise me not to try anything reckless. Ephraim, thank you. I knew that you would understand how I feel. Does Ephraim really understand how she feels? Hmm. Well, I agree with Ephraim's decision to let Tana come with us. He doesn't have any weapons. Seven strength at level four. Nine skill. Thirteen speed. That's really good. Six defense. More than you would expect for a Pegasus Knight, right? I don't know. It's chapter nine, right? These stats are a, a little bit low for her level, right? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And she flies. Five stars. Isn't she faster than our other Pegasus? We don't talk about that, okay? What are her growth rates? 45% strength, 65% speed. Well, she's a Pegasus Knight. She's Vanessa, but she joins later, so Vanessa is much better. But if your Vanessa happens to be base speed... She's Vanessa, but she joins later. Hey. If your Vanessa happens to be base speed while approaching level 10, then I guess... She's basically Vanessa, except she joins later, so Vanessa is on average better. But if you're... She's Vanessa, except she joins later, so on average, Vanessa will be better. But if your Vanessa happens to be far, far below average, say perhaps with base speed nearing level 10, then Tana might actually have better base stats. <laughs> they call this series Flyer Emblem for a reason, though, so Tana is still really good. Which flyer should you use? Use both of them. For promotions, exact same choice as Vanessa and the exact same verdict from me. Absolutely go Wyvern Knight. Who cares about swords? LOL. It's showing her Erica root inventory, but on Ephraim's root, she's a humble prisoner, so she just doesn't have anything in her inventory, but her stats are the same. Fruit of Idun. Do we dare click on this? Gotta go to the gallery. It's this one. Wow. T T Tana. Tana, noble and nimble. Five stars? How much money do you think people... How many people's life savings do you think were squandered in pursuit of this skin? 
I guess calling it a skin is correct. Look how much skin there is. Five stars? One. She has so many hero skins. Why is she so popular? Ephraim support. Wow, actually, this support list is really good. And by really good, I mean she can support Ephraim and Cormag. And both of them have a fire affinity, which is really good. Tana's own personal wind affinity is whatever. GBA Flyer. GBA Flyer. Five stars. She's not Cormag, but who is? Oh, Cormag is. Okay. Everybody okay with five star Tana? Usually people are like, but uh, you overvalue flying utility, but I, I think we're okay with this, right? Somebody in the chat reminded me not to forget about her triangle attack. I totally forgot about her triangle attack. She can triangle attack with Vanessa and Cyrene. It's a total gimmick. But it does exist. Low-key Falconite is better for her than Wyvernite. The only thing Wyvernite gets her is more con, but her speed is overkill, and Falco has better promo, promo bonuses, including bulk. You're wrong. I'm not going to explain why, but you're wrong. Wyvern Knight is definitely better. We explained it with Vanessa. I don't care about swords. I'd rather have Pierce. And better Khan. Especially because we're on lunatic mode, where some of our units uh, fail to double. Well, Colm can just clean up all this stuff up here, right? Let's go, Amelia! <laughs> End <of> turn. <laughs> Be sure you're done before you select this. Oh... <laughs> The priest definitely does not move, right? Can't believe we're doing these advanced rescue chains for this crap. Gotta heal Ross. Oh, we never used the angelic robe. Who do we use it on? We could use the angelic robe on Tana. That's actually probably a good idea. Hot Pegasus Knights in New Kingdom. Amelia or Riot? We'll see, we'll see. Tana or Amelia? Let's go, Prince Ephraim. Oh, we're gonna need a new Javelin. 10 damage. We got him. Look at the chip XP! Look at the chip XP. We gotta give her another javelin. Molder doesn't need the angelic rope. He already has one. He's a priest. Gotta get the Molder XP. Yeah, I think we actually... Given that our units are so bad on average, I think we actually can't meme up to the max. We might have to give the angelic robe to Tana. She's gonna need the durability for Phantom Ship.
didn't mention it in the review, but Tana is also an additional flyer on a map where... Didn't mention it in the review, but Tana is also an additional flyer on an upcoming map, Ghost Ship, the most difficult map in the game, where flyers are extremely valuable. Don't sleep on Tana. Don't sleep on Tana. Did I use the right preposition there? Is on a preposition? Is she woke? Bronze and Ford building a support. I did great, English teacher. Okay. Thank you. The sleep staffs are broken already, yeah. Are we gonna give Tana weapons? Yeah, we should probably do that. We'll do that next turn. Right now, it's the Amelia training arc. We gotta be careful, because after this priest dies, uh, the shaman is gonna attack her and kill her. Ah! Okay, we missed. Alright, gather around, gather around. I did not mean to deposit that. I need my Regileaf back. What else did I deposit? The Killer Lance, right? Does he even need the Killer Lance? He's so strong. He does not need it at all. Yeah, you can have this thing. You don't need that speed wing, do you? Can't use the Killer Lance at base. Uh-oh. I think Tana needs it more. Like, Ephraim does not need it. He's so strong. He doesn't crit with it anyway. <laughs> okay, Mulder does actually die to that guy, so we can't actually expose him yet. Nothing else to heal. Just the Ocean Seal? It's just money. Priest is not going to attack us. Something that Amelia really needed. It wouldn't save her from one star. But she needed something like the, the training javelin or something. Because if Ross didn't have Hatchet by Gary Paulson, he would probably be one star. The Hatchet is so important to Ross. Amelia not having an equivalent is real. Look at this! 51 hit rate on this unarmed priest! This is so sad. Our lockpick's about to break. Just grinding XP and supports. Iron Lance, Javelin, Killer Lance, that's probably fine, right? Would we ever use a Steel Lance? I mean, I guess we have the inventory space. We'll get her this time. Ha! Ah! Okay. She can grind to promotion on Geb. I don't even think she does one damage to Geb. There's no- look at this. Look at this behemoth. 14 defense. He doesn't even have a ranged attack, though. We need to be able to deal one damage. I don't think we can. If we can't deal one damage, we can't train on Geb. <laughs> Axe Reaver? This guy's an Axe Reaver, right? But then we're gonna be at one range. He can just kill us. <laughs> Could we give Tana the spare Slim Lance, maybe? I don't think she needs it. Can we get him? We got him. Okay, we gotta rescue Amelia out of here. Strength, skill, speed. Strength, skill, speed. Strength, skill, luck. Okay. Sure. 
We'll get we'll get speed next level. It's fine. Power graphic. Near one. Oh. We can drop her here. That's safe. Alright, now we gotta lure this guy. I guess we'll do it with Ford. Can't heal this turn. Same strength as Ford? Uh, that's not a compliment for Amelia. 16 damage. You think you can stand up to Ford the Ferocious? The f no, Ford the Focus, sorry. He stole our XP! <laughs> the Ford Focus! It's because of his brother. He's too close to Franz. Ford focused. We could bully this archer with Amelia. Focasarita foado. Yeah, I guess so. This is the ocean seal, right? Ah, oh, we got it. The levels Ross. Eighteen. This guy. Is it there? With the javelin. Okay. I guess we'll have Franz in range of him. Okay, good, good, good. You sit on coal. No. Home needs the plus one move. Don't tell me what to do. Is Tana gonna do anything? I guess I'll just move forward a bit. Seventeen damage. Ouch. Do we double this guy? We don't. That's actually very good. Oh, we got this. We got this. We we know what has to happen here, right? Do we have the heavy spear? We have the armor slayer. Against the Axe Reaver. We gotta do that, right? Oh, wow. This guy's about to get reaved. Doubles the weapon triangle, by the way, in addition to reversing it. Do we even need this? No, because we have swords, right? We can give that to Tana. Tana could use that really well. I went back and checked the Vanessa section of the previous one. I'm still not convinced that Wyvern Knight is better. You're out of your mind if you think that Wyvern Knight is, is worse. I'm surrounded on all sides by people who are wrong. My father, Emperor Vigard, spent his days listening to the people of Grotto. No matter how inane their mewling was, he would always lend them his ear. I'm not like my father. I won't show mercy to those who don't deserve it. Grotto is entering a new era. The sacred stones cannot save you. Not from my minions. This is the end for you. Don't say that it wasn't deserved. You have failed me in turn. It is you who should suffer. Be content that your death is a quick one. I cast Dismember. Cost zero if an intern deceived you this stream, perhaps by suggesting that Falconite was better. Strip target intern of their channel membership. Then they die. Let this one's gruesome fate serve as a warning to the rest of you. 
Maybe you'd be able to escape this fate if you weren't over-encumbered by your poor calm. Who in the world would go Falco Knight over Wyvern Knight? The thing is that pretty much all of my ra unit rankings are incredibly cold, okay? We, di we are going to play the Frozen Throne someday. I didn't expect people to disagree with me. I'm not saying insane things like Amelia 5 stars. I'm saying things like Wyvern Knight is better than Falco Knight, and I'm getting pushback. What is going on? Molder level? The sacred stones have abandoned us. <laughs> I see only darkness before me. It's not fair. I'm the greatest tactician in Magvel. Is this what the Sacred Stones were trying to save us from? These 1 HP level ups? We're minus 3.8 speed. It's not fair. When Mulder eventually turns to the dark side, remember this moment. I'll check this out. Wait, why did I do this? I did that in the wrong order. I was so triggered. I was so triggered. How far back do we go? That's so, so much lost progress. Yeah, it's back here. Well, we can't possibly get a worse level up. It's a disaster. I was so distraught. It's a disaster. You blame Amelia? It's not Amelia's fault. It's not Amelia's fault. Let's just get rid of this guy. This is the... It can't possibly be worse than that. Amelia getting one shot twice after all of the training we did. The Wyvern Wars and its consequences. Well, this guy's dead. This chapter takes forever. Chopped. Ouch. Does this guy get doubled? Chopped! Ford can kill this guy, right? Wow. Well, he does kill him. Oh, 
That's fine. Ross can kill that guy. Probably have to because we have the heavy spear equipped. At least we can deal with that Lalder. The Falco Knight Wars. <laughs> Is there anybody who thinks that Falconite is better? Falconite... It's not that Falconite is bad, it's just that Wyvernite's way better. I guess we can heal Ross. This guy doesn't have a Javelin, does he? No. definitely don't double, but he doesn't double us, right? Yeah, okay. Amelia has four move. Up. We do double with the Iron Sword, we do kill him, and we don't die. Ouch. If we heal twice, that's more XP, so let's just do that. Lunatic mode enemies are really, really difficult. I think the worst part of, well, the most difficult part, it's their increased skill. We get hit a lot. Franz with the Iron Sword. Skill good on enemies, I guess. And damage. Oh! Okay, we can get the chip. I don't know if there's... Ford throwing a javelin, and then... Oh! And then Amelia gets the kill. This didn't happen last time. this FE6? At least we get a zillion chip XP. Throw Axe would have killed him. Gotta have the knight in shining armor rescue. That's pretty much everything we needed to do, right? Yeah, let's just start healing. And then Amelia can start chucking spears at that priest again. We're probably gonna get a worse Amelia level as well. We got strength last time. Amelia level. Strength, skill, speed. Defense, res, sure. got resistance. We can use that for when we're a general, right? Okay, Wingman Ross leaves the wall at 1 HP.
Tana. Anyone to heal? Not this turn. Well, I guess we could heal Amelia. Let's just do it for the XP. I'm off to sleep since my bed's been burned. I'll sleep with a nice pile of ash. All right, good night. I won't get mad. Good chip. We do get a level up when we kill this guy and we got to rescue her out. It's good for your skin. Take the Iron Lance, and a Javelin. We'll also take the Killer Lance. And the Axe Reaver once we get that. Okay, can we get the Amelia level on this turn? Just like last time. I need the Ephraim supports. Okay, emotional support Ross here. You get him? I think we're on average though, because we hit two, we missed two. Internet intern chat is so interesting because you just see the craziest takes that you just hope are being made for contrarian sake. I don't know, I think they're being serious. Just wild to me. Wild speed, I guess, because it's about her constitution. 50% chance? It's actually better than that. Hey, we got him. Strength, skill, speed! Strength, skill, speed! That's what happened last time. It's actually the same. We'll get speed next level. And we wanted Ford? Ford to Javelin, that guy, right? And he's got the Javelin equipped. And what happened last time was Ford... Ford the Focused actually... Crit him. Hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Building the support. Mulder's probably going to have to heal Franz. Or Ford, so we'll put Mulder here. And Colm is just robbing chests. Do we still have the Ford Focus? We don't, so this is different. This could be an Amelia kill. This could be an Amelia kill. So we get the Molder XP. Molder throws one Javelin. And then Amelia tries. That's good. So bad. 
It's so bad. But it is better than a 50% chance. We actually don't get one shot, though. I did well, didn't I? You did not. Does Tana with the Javelin double this guy? I doubt it. Tana gameplay? We gotta support. Oh, she could she could use pure water. Okay, not crit. Molder can heal Tana. Molder level next heal. Iron Lance. Do not like these crit rates. It's so scary. Ouch. She would have doubled as a Wyvern Knight. Well, that's true. Although I will say, she probably would have doubled as a Falco Knight as well. Okay, and this is the correct order. Yeah, there we go. Eight. Slim Lance is more accurate, right? Did Molder get any good levels? Nope. We can drop forward on that tile, right? Ephraim and Ross in the back, I think that's fine. Oh no, Reaved! It's actually bad because I want those Axe Reaper uses. My Javelin! Reaved? Okay, cool. Scary. This is the... Okay, we gotta box this guy in. Ford level? He's the speedy cavalier. He has eight strength, by the way. Eight strength. Level 12 with eight strength. Shorpo 1 2 range? No, not in this game. Range 2. Okay, Franz on the other side. This mode only increases their offensive stats. Iron Lance times two. Let's Regileaf him. Let's just Regileaf him. You think you could stand up to Ephraim the Eviscerator? Oh, Ephraim level. Sure. 16 strength. And the Axe Reaper. Let's give that to Tana. She can't even use it. Okay, I'll do my best. Alright. Big training. Big training. Ah. Uh, we get the chip. Strength, skill, speed. Are we sure she's one star? That's actually pretty good. pretty good.
How cursed are our units? Level 8 Recruit Amelia has 8 strength. That's pretty good. Level 12 Cavalier Ford has 8 strength. That's pretty bad. Only Ross and Ephraim have good stats? Well, what about Molder? Here's the Molder level we've been dreaming of. It's better than before. It's better than before. We got the good timeline. What's his magic growth? I think it's 40%. We're still well below average for both magic and speed, but better than before. And hey, we got resistance. Uh, let's just do this. Alright, Amelia training arc commencing. We're gonna get Amelia to level 10 on this map, okay? No Tower of Volney needed. Wow, we actually two-shot this guy now, because of the strength level. Uh. Amelia level? Only one more, and then we get- we- we get level 10. Strength, skill, speed! speed next level. Let's use Tano. What does this guy have? Oh, an Armor Slayer. Armor Slayer is really bad against not armored units, so we're probably okay. Iron Lance. And it's a Seize map, so we do have to eventually get Ephraim over there. What level is Ford? 12! Lunatic mode. One use on the javelin. We deal, we deal 10 damage. Pretty good. If we kill him, we get our final level, right? Gotta heal Tana or else she's gonna die. Ford's attack is actually one below average, really? His average attack is that bad? Not going to attack there. How close is Ross to... We can potentially get Ross to level 20, right? And then we can promote him. Ouch. Is Ross the ocean's gray seal? I think we're probably gonna do one more map after this. Uh, we wanted to do...
How's our slim li Like, the armor slayer is so bad, right? Oh, look at that. There's no way we miss, right? Don't tell Kaga. Kaga, why did you forsake me? I can't believe somebody said she's two stars. I can't believe it. She's so bad. She's so bad. We'll get him this time. We didn't get him this time. Kill him on counter? We can kill him on counter. It's possible. We could have just moved another unit up to kill there, obviously, but we do get to counterattack here. We killed him on the counter. It's through adversity that we build character, okay? Character built. This is what I deserve. This is what I deserve. Saddest thing. I think our Amelia is still above average. Forty six turns. Forty six turns for this. <laughs> One star. I deal with this guy still. Let's get Ross. Ross versus Geb? I think it's gotta be Ross versus Geb. Her attack is above average, her other stats are below. Yikes. At least we have above average attack. I not have I do have a javelin. Does killing Geb with Amelia affect the true ending? I don't even think it's possible. I don't even think we can damage him. We can get the conversation. Tana also has a conversation, right? This guy doesn't even have a ranged weapon, so we don't have to worry about that. I think these bros just chill and build their support. Yeah, he doesn't have a killer bow. It's just... Axe and... Iron Axe and Killer Axe. Yeah, we do literally zero damage. 
you, you wench! You're that recruit, aren't you? You think you can betray me and get away with it? Your threats no longer hold any power over me. I, I'm not your pawn. I'm a knight. Huh. Right. I'm assuming they also have a conversation. What was that? You piece of trash, what do you think you're doing? Oh, they don't have a conversation, wow. Look at this, look at these supports. Attack with Tana four more times for a level? Sure. It's not like we're gonna lose our... It's not like we're gonna lose durability, right? Are we really gonna do that, though? What about our LTC? May as well build Ephraim support, right? It's not like we're gonna lose durability, because we can't hit him anyway. We actually are going to need to chip him with Ross. Ross actually might have issues hitting him, though. Why doesn't this guy get the proper boss music? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Infinite XP glitch? Now this is gaming. One more for the Tana level. Give Tana robe for Molder XP. <laughs> right, well, here's the Tana level. Looks good to me. However, due to her lackluster strength and speed, I think we're gonna have to go Falco Knight for the better promo bonuses. Okay, that's good. How much XP do we get then? Oh, we get a lot, we get a lot. I think we need to chip him twice and then kill him. We just have to consider the throne healing, though. Does Tana actually damage him with the Axe Reaver? Couldn't Amelia get XP, too? She's level 10. Oh, the Hand Axe! Okay, second to last Ross level. We're capped strength, we just want speed. You think you can stand up to Ross the Resistant? At least we got Rez. I, I really can't be disappointed. Like, look at this. This is great. <laughs> oh, Ephraim has the Lance Reaver. What? Who's the Lance Reaver? Oh, Axe Oh, she can't use it. Okay. That's the problem. Oh, she's missing one HP. 
Just asking from older staff. I... Okay, I did get the ocean seal. Oh, it's Geb. And Axe. We double him with the hatchet by Gary Paulson. Please set Amelia by Ross for the juicy fire affinity. Yeah. Can do this, right? Why is the staircase here? Yeah, good question. Geb. Geb! If he attacks us, he switches to his, to his killer axe and he can destroy us, so we gotta be careful. That's bad. We should maybe chip with Franz as well. And then rescue him out. Oh, one times two. Wow. Welcome to... We can promote Ross to kill Geb. This is how the game is meant to be played, guys. This is how the game is meant to be played. Good idea. Yeah, we'll get there, I think. I mean, we ground Amelia to 10, right? May as well do this, too. Are we friends yet? We're not. Because we don't have a killer axe. Are we friends yet? What chapter are we ending on tonight? Probably the next one. We're gonna get Dusel, and I think that'll be it. How long have we been going? Only eight hours? Yeah, next chapter will be the last one. And then we'll start the next stream with Phantom Ship. It's gonna be great. Gah. <laughs> Come on. Where are my glasses? Is next room tomorrow? No. This weekend's probably gonna be... I imagine we're gonna finish the game next week. So this coming weekend, we're gonna probably finish Erica and Ephraim Roots. And then after that, we'll do the, the finale. We also have to do the April Fool's stream. We're getting there. Are we friends yet? No. Are we friends yet? No. Okay. We're getting there. Colm is hot footing it over here. Geb is growing. Okay. I'm glad we're hitting him, like, successively. Still not friends. The support bonuses would actually be very helpful. getting there. Are we friends? We are friends! Friends with Franz! 
Oh, hello there. You're... Ah, it's Amelia, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, yes, and you're Franz. That's right. How are you? Getting the hang of things? Oh, yes, quite. You know, everyone here is so much friendlier than the folks in Grotto. I'm glad there's so many people around my age traveling with us. Yeah, I think I'm about the same age as you are, too. You know what that means? That means from now on, you're my rival. What? What do you say? Um, well, does, does that mean I have to fight you? I'm gonna die. My stats are terrible. No, no, it's nothing as complicated as all that. We'll just work together. See, I'll try to be better than you, and you try to be better than me. I'm not really sure why I'm bothering with this, because we already know who's better. Every day, try to be a better person than you are today. It's easier to do when you've got someone to work with. I see. But why? Yes, well... Uh... My brother's a knight too, and he's had someone like that for a long time. I've always been envious of the competitive relationship he has. They compete, and they argue, and they bicker. But I know they respect one another, and they grow together. I envy that. Um... I'm not sure I can be like that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter who you are. All that really matters is that we have someone like that in our lives. Besides, you're a qualified soldier, are you not? You're level 10. Uh, I, I'm not honestly sure I'm even qualified to be out here. <laughs> For all of Amelia's flaws, she's definitely not dishonest. Same here. That's why I picked you. Let's work together. All right. I'm not sure I can live up to your expectations, but I'll do my best. Good. It's nice to meet you, Amelia. It certainly is. Friendship forged. She'll do her best. I guess that makes more sense if Ephraim recruited her. Rival forged, apparently. Oh no, we don't want them to have rivalry though, that's a bad ability. We're, we'll, we'll get there eventually. I think we have to hit him three more times? We got the goods. We, we don't need this, there's no way we're using the steel axe. Are, are we friends? We're friends! We're friends! But before this blossoming romance... We do have... We need a more macro gold! A macro transaction from the real gold sleazy. 100 Hong Kong dollars for the self-help motivation. Thank you. Let's celebrate their fifth super on a stream. Th they'll reach the sixth someday. What is going on? <laughs> Thank you for the generous macro transaction. Alright, Ephraim Tana. Oh, Ephraim! I'm so glad to see you. Tana, you should pull back to a safer location. What would we do if you were attacked by archers? But I want to go where you go. I want to go where the people go. I don't know the song. It's from Little Mermaid. I feel safer when I'm close to you, Ephraim. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to protect you if I get into a duel. I have to focus on fighting our enemies. Oh no. Please, Ephraim, don't speak to me like that. I've trained with Frelia's finest Pegasus Knights. I can fight too. If she trained with Frelia's finest, uh-oh. Maybe she does need an escort. But... I'm sorry if I've been following you too closely lately. But I promise that I won't be a burden. I'll work my hardest. So, please. Well, she's not doing her best. Don't make me stay behind and wait for you. Tana. All right. If it's what you want, we'll go together. How are we doing here? Six res. Maybe six riz as well. He's kind of oblivious. The last friendship we need to forge is Amelia and Ross. That's the only one that actually affects what we're doing here.
Geb. Maniac mode Geb. Okay. I think two more hits. Can Tana do any damage now? Oh, because of the fire affinity? I doubt it. Nope. Better accuracy, though. True hit. Might as well build up forward here, right? How does Ephraim Axe Reaver do versus Geb? There's no way Geb can even touch him, right? One more. One more. Miss. Support bonuses only apply if units are within three tiles of each other. So it's not it's not map wide. Geb has like 14 defense, so probably exactly Efren's strength. My man. We have 16 strength. Here we go. You love to see it. You're too slow. Slightly cursed. Slightly cursed. Pretty heavily cursed. Extremely heavily cursed. I think slightly above average? Extremely above average. He's got 21 luck. He really is lucky. Yeah, heal Ross for the Mulder XP. So get ready. Before we can promote Ross into Berserker, he does need to pass an interview. Okay, let's see if we can weaken... Let's take the Axe Reaver. Oh, we have a lot of crit. I don't like that. Promote to Warrior for Bow Access? Yeah, and I'll promote Tana to Falconite for Sword Access, too. Alright, Ocean Seal. Alright. Uh, Ross, is it? So, you've been with our army for quite a few chapters by now, I have to say. Your performance uh, when you first entered our ranks was less than exemplary, to put it kindly, but since you've taken to the high seas, you have proven your worth several times over. I do favor your chances in this interview, but in your own words, please tell me, uh, why do you think you're qualified for the rank of Berserker? What about Cole? I need to get out of C tier, okay. I want to reach level 99 woodcutting? Oh, yeah. That's a pretty noble goal. I'm considered the best unit in the, our entire team. I can nuke everything. It's my second best class. I get crit. It's my second best class? Are you alright, Ross? I think you're, you're a little delirious there. Green number good. In my own words, Ross smash? Who else would use the ocean seal on? I, I, do, like t I do like two of your answers, Mr. Ross. 
I do like two of your answers, Mr. Ross. I like that you have life goals. I like that you want to reach level 99 woodcutting. And I like that green number good. 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 Yes, he can still walk on water, and he can now walk on mountains, too. 10, 20, Berserker Ross. 21 strength. 14 skill, we did use a skill book. 15 speed, actually great. 21 luck. 16 defense, we did use a Draco shield. But even without the stat boosters, this guy is actually, like, our only blessed unit. And a fire affinity. Now, I do fancy our chances against Geb, but just in case. Don't tell Kaga. Our best axe, by the way, is the Iron Axe. We don't have a killer axe until we kill this guy. Eight times two. This is going to be, like, the duel of champions. Why am I using the hatchet? Ouch. You think you could stand up to Wreck-It Ross? Hatchet by Gary Paulson. We're definitely not weighed down by the Iron Axe anymore, by the way. We just have to dodge this Killer Axe crit. There's no way we can rescue him out of here. We're too big. Carefully doesn't equip the Killer Axe. We're gonna let him equip the Killer Axe. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Do your worst, Geb. Ha! <laughs> you think you can stand up to Wreck-It Ross? That's not boss! Wrecked by Ross, no problem. Got an eye- oh. I see what you meant. You didn't see that. Let's try that again. Okay, we're now huge, though. But I think we can still be rescued. Yeah, we can still be rescued. Okay. I wonder if we'll get to see the Berserker crit anime. You think you can stand up to Wreck-It Ross? Amelia kills, she's already level 10. And we can get the Molder XP. 3 HP, who gets the kill? It's gotta be Ross, right? Remember when Charmeleon evolved to fight Aerodactyl? We had Ross promote to fight Geb. Here we go. Guaranteed. Uh-oh. Ouch. Guaranteed. You think you can stand up to Wreck-It Ross? That, that's not possible. Our strongest unit by far. And we get the Killer Axe here, right? Yeah, there we go. Killer Axe. 20 uses. Improves critical hit rate. 30 crit from the Axe. 
15 crit from our class. And I think... 7 from our skill? I would like to formally apologize for the Falconite, st Falconite standing. I forgot that Vanessa can fail to double Mercs. Remember rounds with Javelins if 10 won into Falco? Apology accepted. Welcome back. And we can get the uh, Molder XP. Oh, Molder level? This is 16, right? Magic speed. Well, at least we got magic. It's fine, we'll get speed next level. Alright, so nice and quick map. Some people have said that I'm not qualified to do Fire Emblem unit evaluations. I don't know where people get that idea from. A lesser player would have taken 77 turns to clear the map. But thanks to my years of Fire Emblem expertise, I was able to do it in only 76. Thracia 776. I'm a true fan. Seize! We did it. Prince Ephraim, the rest of the enemy troops have been routed. Bring me one of the prisoners. I have a question I need answered. It's a prisoner. Here's the prisoner, your majesty! Not the most cooperative. I'm gonna ask you a question. If you've no wish to answer, remain silent. If you wish this conflict to end quickly, however, you will cooperate. It's actually Stalwart Silence. What do you want? Why has Grotto invaded Rene? I can't say. This war began on the Emperor's orders. Soldiers like me haven't the foggiest idea what he's after. Fog maps. And tell me this. Where's General Dussel? In the capital. The General's been opposed to this war from the start. He's been pleading with the Emperor for days now, but the Emperor ignores him. They say some are questioning the General's loyalty. He's putting his standing and his life in danger by being so vocal. Is that so? Well, it appears General Dussel remains the same true man I knew before. What about Prince... Lion? Is it Lion? That's Leon. That's Leon. What about Prince Leon? Where's he been through all of this? Why didn't he do anything to temper his father's aggression? Uh-oh. Dramatic silence, the music stopped. According to rumors, Emperor K Vigard was convinced to start this war by none other than the prince himself. What did you say? That's ridiculous! I know Prince Leon well. No one hates fighting more than he does. He would never do anything to trigger all this bloodshed. Prince Ephraim, please calm down. I'm sorry. We leave the prisoners in the fort to the Frelian troops. Seth's hologram, I intend for us to press on toward the capital. At some point, I expect we'll find either Dussel or Leon. I'm sure we can convince them to join us in stopping Emperor Vigard. Understood, but I have my misgivings, my prince. General Dussel and Prince Leon are both men of Grotto. If we are forced into conflict with them, it won't happen. Dussel was my teacher, and I know he is a man of character. I've seen his bases. And I've known Leon since we were children. He, Erica, and I are old friends. There's to be an error with the hologram. The speech is malfunctioning. I understand your concerns. If worse comes to worst, and steel is drawn, I will not hesitate. I'll fight and kill anyone who thinks to oppose me. That's a, a, a little scary. 
Are you satisfied, Seth? Yes. I apologize for grabbing you so brusquely. I mean, I apologize for my rudeness. Your father is gone, and that means you are king of Rene. There is no other. I just ask that you not throw yourself into needless danger. I hear you. The decisions I make affect more than my own life. Once this war is finished, I will re rebuild Rene with Erica. That is my mission. Mirror. What is it? You must return to Frelia. I cannot take you any further on this journey. What? No, I want to stay with you. No, Mur. I'm continuing on to the Grotto capital. It's going to be very dangerous. I cannot protect you. Not as well as I'd like to, anyway. Everything comes from that direction. I can feel my lost Dragonstone. And that's not all. The dark energy still flows unchecked. I cannot go home while it stains the air. But... Please, Ephraim. Very well. Ah. I simply can't refuse you anything. Your eyes remind me too much of Erica. Just like you, she has blood red eyes. You must not stray from my side, you understand? Yes, I will not stray. Grotto Keep! Evil music? Selina. Your orders. I'm ready, your majesty. In your service, I am prepared to do- Dusel has left for Bethrone. Take a battalion and follow him. Understood. When I arrive, I will place my troops at his disposal. No. You will not. You will strike Dusel down. Dusel is a traitor. He has abandoned his country and sided with Rene. The punishment for treason is death. But... General Dussel? A traitor? That's just not possible! There must be a mistake! The guard. The silent emperor. No. I, I did not mean that you are mistaken, your majesty. But, but... Selina. You have your orders. You will execute Dussel. Silence, Selena. Your Majesty. Will you allow me to ask you a question? The guard, the silent emperor. When your Majesty saw fit to make me a general, you shared with me some words of wisdom. I remember the moment quite, quite clearly. You told me the role of an imperial general is that of a shield, not a blade. We're here to protect our citizens, you said, not to threaten our neighbors. I've never forgotten your words, your majesty. I have held them to my breast. They govern my every actions as general. Your majesty, that sentiment is still alive and... Go. Silence, Selina. I humbly acknowledge your orders, your majesty. That's a Japanese sentence. I am the Empire's servant. I am your Majesty's vassal. I am General Selina, the floor spar of the Grotto Empire. Oof. Turning traitor. Here we go. Ariados! Alright, let's manage items. Don't need this. Uh, we want to give the Axe Reaver to Tana. Tana's going to need it. So Tana really needs to train her Lance Rank. I guess Ephraim's inventory doesn't matter that much because the convoy is attached to him. Franz looks fine. Three-use Javelin is a little suspicious. Mulder does not need a Steel Axe. Probably don't need the halberd, right? Only four uses of the iron axe left. Should we just sell these almost broken weapons? It's probably gonna cause some issues. Is it flu or spar? No one else can even use axes. It's a 
make another heal. We're gonna make Amelia general, right? Oh, of course. She's good in general. Get this inventory. Poem, we can sell that. This looks okay. Uh, actually, let's get a... Let's get an Iron Lance, right? Okay, well, hoarding is a pitfall, so... Who's getting this speed wing? Six speed. <sighs> Amelia speed wing, right? Tana doesn't need a speed wing. The speed wing, not the angelic robe. I think angelic robe on Tana. Ross? Ross does not need it. <laughs> have you seen this, man? We have 15 speed. We don't need a speed wing. I think we give the robe to Tana. And we give the... And we give the speed wing to Amelia. Dussel, maybe? Dussel's fine. Dussel's fine. No, Ross, Ross the Rich doesn't need anything else. We already gave him the secret book. We gave him the Draco shield. Ross is fine. All right, how do we do this? Tana, I hope you're doing well. I've seen the hero skins. I think you need this. It's unwise to enter battle so unarmed. Well, if it's from you, Prince Ephraim. 28 HP! We still have only 28 HP. <laughs> 18 charge hand axe. I don't think there's any shopping we need to do. The issue is that Ross's weapons are going to break. Well, let's do some shopping. At Ross's hometown. Let's sell this almost broken javelin. Let's just get a fresh one. And Ross has also got some pretty suspicious items on him. And let's just uh, refresh him. Can't even sell the hatchet by Gary Paulson. We did split the units between routes, yeah. And that's not how it works in the regular game. So this is very much a Nintendo PC feature. Axes are so economical. And I think we're ready to go with that, right? Javelin, Slim Lance, Iron Lance, yup. Alright, last chapter for today. Can we save Dussel's squad? It's gonna be tough. A former Lance instructor to Ephraim. Grotto's General du Dussel often came to Rene as an emissary of his empire. Despite their stations, the two men share similar dispositions and a warm relationship. Why has Grotto started this war? What is the miasma of evil emanating from the country? Ephraim believes that Dussel can answer these questions. Is it this belief that propels Ephraim forward into Grotto territory? Oh, it is this belief, not a question. What class will Amelia be promoted to? How many times do I have to answer this? How many times do I have to answer this? I answered it in the lead-up to Amelia's chapter, I answered it several times during Amelia's chapter, I answered it several times during the Amelia training arc. What class is Amelia going to be promoted to? I'm sick of answering it. I'm not gonna answer it again. These are the consequences of the participation trophy generation. I say it and nobody listens. Why? Because they're too busy watching TikTok.
Ready to work. I sacrifice five Patreons. And I cast the Wrath of Arceus. Destroy all video games wherever they are. Destroy mobile games twice. Maybe. Once each and every smartphone has been scoured from this earth, then maybe people will actually pay attention when I say, of course we're going to promote Amelia to general. She's good in general. The Throwing. Oh, dangerous music. Please wait, Prince Ephraim. I have a message from Bro. Who's this? Why isn't she on our team? There's been an uprising in Carcino. I think it's Carcino. Pop, no, not Pablo. Pablo is leading a force of renegade grotto supporters in rebellion. Carcino. Any word of Erica? Is my sister safe? The last word we received had Princess Erica heading to assist Prince Inez. We've not heard from her since. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. Blast. I sent Erica to Ralston thinking it would be the safest mission. If I could, I'd pull out of here now and go look for her, but... Prince Ephraim. I know, I know. I mustn't let my ocean's dic emotions dictate my actions. If Carcino has allied itself with Grotto, then defeating Grotto is our best bet. We proceed as planned. Tell them that. Understood. Be careful, Erica. You have bad defense. 100 base power? What? Was that an earthquake? I think it's past. Prince Ephraim. I'm fine. There's nothing to worry about. I was surprised, that's all. You're not shaken in the slightest, are you? Actually, it surprised me as well, despite my status as a hologram. I had heard that tremors such as those were commonplace in Grotto. Apparently, they are usually weak and cause little, if any, damage. Now that you mention it, I remember a while back when I was first in Grotto. Eric and I were startled by a tremor just like that one. It's the, uh, the Graboids. If anybody's seen the underrated m movie franchise Tremors. L Lion... Is it Lion or is it Leon? That's Leon. That's Leon. Leon said he had grown used to them, and he just laughed. Oh, well, Seth's not laughing now. We don't have any time to tend to injuries just now. We must press forward. We must see to the capital. I do not understand. Why this course of action? What is the Emperor thinking? What was he thinking? General Dussel. Is that you, Selina? Are you to be assisting me in this... duty? Yes. Ferlia's army will be coming soon from the north. We're just waiting for the order to engage them. Fire them engage. Prince Ephraim leads the enemy forces, doesn't he? That is correct. Prince Ephraim of Rene. Ah. Rene is our enemy. General, please give the order to attack. No. Order all units to hold. Do not initiate the attack. I want to speak with Ephraim first. Selena the Silent. So it's true. You plan to betray the Empire and ally, ally yourself with the enemy. What?! <laughs> General Dussel, you stand accused of treason of the highest order. <laughs> we actually do have a graphic for this, right? Treason! Have you lost your mind, Selina? Lay down your weapons and follow my commands. If you fail to do so, if you resist in any way, I will execute you on the spot. This is nonsense! Who's behind this madness? These are His Majesty's orders. 
The Emperor has anticipated your treachery. Do so. Your duplicity is hardly surprising. Prepare yourself. Impossible. His Majesty! Cormac, you and I will bring that traitor down. Go around that fort to the southeast and drive into them from the sea. We're fighting General Dussel? He's one of the cornerstones of our empire. How could... He's been like a father to you and to my brother. Do you truly mean to kill him? Selena the Silent. So people have said that we overused the Stalwart Silence graphic. I agree. I don't disagree with that at all. However, the reason why we keep using it... Is because Stalwart Silence keeps popping up. You can't recruit him here, in this hack. If that is what my Emperor commands, then yes, without hesitation. Cormag, if you are a true Knight of Grotto, you will do the same. Stalwart Seasoning. If you're confused why I said Stalwart Seasoning, it's because obviously Cormag is... Five stars. I love McCormag Seasoning. Expertly blended. Prince Ephraim, the Imperial Grotto army is before us. I know, but something's odd. They're chasing someone down. Is, is that a deserter? This isn't a desert map. Wait! That's... Dussel? You've got great eyesight. Prince Ephraim, your orders. We rescue Dussel! Ride! We need cavalry units! I'm ready to fight now! This armor used to be too heavy for me to wear. Now, it's no problem. I've come a long way. That's right. I'm a real soldier now. But I'm not about to stop. I'm just getting started. Alright, prepare your interview answers, please. Alright. Amelia, is it? Alright. Well, you're only allowed into our army, thanks to a recommendation from Franz, who himself hasn't been performing up to snuff. Uh, according to our performance report here, thanks to you, our previous engagement took 76 turns. Uh, why do you think you are worthy of the knight of knight? Worthy of the rank of knight? Please tell me in your own words. I want to someday pilot a Gundam, sir. We need a bigger suit of armor. I'm good in general. I think this he heavy armor will help me protect my friends like Ike. I'm a knight who's better than Gilliam. I have to compensate for the armor of other females in any RPG. That's true. I'm great. I can hit my attacks 100% of the time, 10% of the time. I'll be good in general. I like being worthless. Alright, I think... Since we know that she's good in general, and her being heavily armored does make the average armor of our female units better, I guess we do grant her the rank of knight. I'm not worthy, but I'll do my best. All right. Congratulations, Amelia. We do grant you the rank of Nineteen HP, by the way. Uh, well, Recruit only had four movement, but at least we get these sweet promo gains, right? Plus two HP, plus one strength, plus one skill, plus one speed, plus four con, plus zero move. Excuse me? Oh, but she's so fast! Plus four con. That's incredible. Nine strength. Nine speed. Seven skill. Six defense. At least 
least she has six more speed than Gilliam after the speed wing. But it went from four movement to six? My friend. Cavaliers have seven movement. It's the only unnerfed horse in Magvel. Ephraim even gave us the order to ride. We're, di we're disobeying a direct order. We're lucky that Ephraim is so merciful. She should be executed. That would actually be justice. Nothing to steal, right? Secret book, but that just drops. A horse slayer, a killing edge. She has bolting and L fire. Lance Reaver, killer bow. This guy. Oh, look at this guy. So nothing stealable just drops. But we don't actually have to kill Selena. She leaves, I think. Silver Axe. This is the Marissa map, right? So the thing is that you have to keep all of Dussel's soldiers alive for a reward. So we actually, like, can't mess around at the beginning here. Marissa is not in this map, followed by the message, Marissa is on the map, but not recruitable. Okay. It's the village cameo? Okay. This is where it happened, this is where I recruited Cormag with Dussel in the vanilla game. Yeah, that's where it happens in the vanilla game, but this is not the vanilla game. So, in this Nintendo PC version, I think Cormag leaves. Why is Gilliam deployed? I think we're also gonna bench Colm. We want Amelia. Alright, we can't mess around until we rescue Dussel, so... Not that he really needs rescuing, but it's more his knights that need rescuing. Bro is near him, I think he does get the kill. Supported! Supported. That's our item, the hatchet. Let's go Iron Axe. I wish you could just see enemy rangers, that would be really nice. Just bolting, right? Oh my god. She doesn't use it, right? I don't think she does. She's too big, I can't take her. She's too big. What's this? They've only just begun? What a disappointment. I so wanted to witness the comedy of two generals hacking away at each other. Walter, what do you want? Ah, Selina, you're to return to the capital immediately. Dussel is no longer your concern. His majesty has declared you untrustworthy. I've been sent to relieve you of your to relieve you of command. What? 
You've proven yourself incapable of dealing with a single old man. At least give her a turn, come on. I tell you, having to clean up your mess makes things difficult for me, Selena. Now then. Baron! Yes, sir. I'm leaving. I can't leave poor Erica and... I can't leave poor Erica sad and lonely in Mincino. You're in command here for the duration of this conflict. I'll take care of things. What do you think you're doing? I am here at His Majesty's bidding and... Did you not hear me? His Majesty... His Majesty's bidding has changed. That's definitely how he said it. You, Selina, are not to be trusted. These are His Majesty's words. You share the same sentiments as do so. You could turn traitor just as he has. You should feel honored. He could have ordered me to kill you where you stand. That's absurd! His Majesty, he... He knows I'm trustworthy. Then return to the capital and sort it out. Go and ask your beloved master whether I speak the truth. I... What are you going to do, Selina? I will return to the capital. I know better than to trust your word. I will speak with the Emperor myself. She's out of here. <laughs> Stupid woman. This is a difficult video for me to make. Don't put that. If Grotto wins too easily, there'll be no more bloodshed. We must do what we can to extend the fun. I believe it's time for me to return to my darling Erica. Wouldn't do for Glenn to arrive before me, would it? Take care of things here before I return to you. Understood? Of course! Gotta leave a bow knight. Oh. This would have been an Amelia kill if I hadn't <laughs> messed up. I couldn't take drop her. Seven damage. Exact kill? No, uh, more than exact kill. Ah, uh, weighed down by the javelin. Hiya, Papaya, Chat and Cheese. I joined right when the misogyny happened. Thank you, Walter. Can't be too concerned with, uh... Oh, hey, we have the Javelin. I think we kill this guy. Oh, we don't. One strength level short. We can't mess around here. We gotta go save. We're not messing around, Franz. Franz, we're not messing around! Sorceries. At least we got resistance. I think if we put Amelia here, that's a big problem. There's no ballista that can hit us, right? Killer bow, long, but he doesn't actually drop anything. Which one has the... This one has the secret book. So Tana has to get that one. Is the five-star cab in the room with us right now? Alright, I think Ephraim can kill this guy, right? Look at that! Ah! Good unit? Ford is our worst unit, so we should have him do this. This guy has to die. 
Iron Sword, I guess. Best map in the game, great design. I do really like this map. It's quite difficult. You're under a lot of pressure. You really gotta move. And we can eliminate the enemy of our choice here using Ross. Iron Axe, Iron Axe, Steel Axe, Hand Axe. Doesn't really matter which one we get, right? Let's kill that one. So that all these guys funnel into Ross and die. We're not messing around, okay? We're not messing around. We're not messing around. We're not messing around. Strength, skill, speed. Ross, we're not messing around, okay? Tell me, brother, what should I do? <laughs> Nucky boy, thanks. We're not messing around. Ross, we're not messing around. <laughs> really bad. Against these lunatic enemy- ouch. We might have to rescue drop Ross. With Tana. Commander Cormag! I know what I must do, but I cannot raise my own lance against General Dussel. I must go to speak to my brother. I will leave the enemy army to you. Move out! This is not vanilla. In vanilla, you recruit him here. Hey, we can support. Javelin. We just restart. I think we have to rescue drop Ross down to save Dussel. We might have to do that. Brother, are you painting again? Hmm? Yes, well, it's a hobby. You fish, don't you? Franz the Fisher! <laughs> Rod Saint Franz! Yes. What do you like about fishing? Well, it's different than hunting for other animals. More patient. Yet when I hold a fishing pole, I feel my spear arm is getting stronger. And when you're off duty, you should stop thinking about spears and swords. There's more. Yeah? I feel at peace. Hmm. Fishing sounds nice. Let's you relax. Purge your heart of the battlefield. Yes, exactly. And that's important, isn't it? In battle or in daily life, you just have to stop and rest, right? Hey, you should take a break sometime and go fishing around here. Ha! In the middle of a war, we have eight turns to clear this map, bro. You can't be serious. How could I possibly do that? Yeah, I'm not saying you should go right in the middle of a battle. Do when you're off duty. Maybe you can help replenish our food supplies. Really? Sure, yeah. You you go catch us a big fish and I'll eat it. It's a deal. Huh? Oh, right. Now I have something to look forward to. Was this all about you getting some fresh fish to eat? Friendship Forge. You can't attack after supporting? That's actually kind of a problem.
we do kill with the Iron Sword. Ouch. Spend some less time fishing and more time training, Franz. What was that? Oh, he's a Lance Reaver. Nice, uh, nice Lance Reaver. Nice 30 HP. <laughs> We're not messing around. Got a Lance Reaver. Ah, <laughs> uh, we don't double. That's fine. Okay, can Tana go somewhere without, like, instantly dying? I wish I could equip the Axe Reaver. I can go on the wall. The Archer and two cabs are immobile. Ouch. Ouch. Javelin. We're way down, right? Oof! Ouch. Hey, he's got a steel axe. We're not messing around, okay? Get doubled. We have a steel axe. Hold the ballista out with him. Hand Forgive me, Erica. I messed around. I didn't even consider that could happen. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Are we sure this guy's four stars? Exact kill, by the way. All right, we got. We need a different strategy because we're in trouble down there. I think we gotta use Tana. We gotta, I think, rescue drop Ephraim down there, or Ross. Yeah, I think that's what we gotta do. And Ross probably needs an elixir. We don't need the stacks. He's not going to have any healing. Does Tana need a Slim Lance? Maybe. Let's move Tana as far forward as possible. Tana's going to take Ross. Let's try this again. 
This time we're not messing around. We can pick up Ross, right? We're not- this time we're not messing around. So what are we researching if Ross is viable? We're researching everything. We already know that Ross isn't viable. Well, we can't attack anything, but we can take drop, right? Javelin is fine. We'll take Dropper in the forest. Okay, hopefully Tana doesn't die. She actually might because she's weighed down. But there's no way she gets doubled by a Lulger, right? There's no way. There's no way. We're not messing around, okay? That's a lot of damage. Ouch. We're not messing around. Look at that, 12 XP. And we dodged. Very good. We're not messing around. Oh! Looks like an Amelia kill to me. We know that Amelia has the same strength as four. Ouch. I guess we should have had a Lance equipped. Other phase? Okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Don't tell Kaga. Alright. Easy Amelia kill? Okay. She does actually kill them. Amelia, first combat. 50 XP. Pretty good. Molder cannot heal her. Molder cannot heal her. That's maybe a problem. Iron Sword for sure, right? I think Iron Sword and we don't even attack. Iron Sword and we just wait. We don't want to suffer from success. We don't even kill this guy. Do we have to Regileaf him? We don't even kill him with the Regileaf. One off. That's kind of a big problem. We do kill this guy. Even Ford kills this guy, though. Who's injured? Bronze is, but he's kind of okay. We can do this, right? And we can give support bonuses from here. I think we're okay, I think we're okay. Like, we're not scared of the Lulger, right? We can put Molder in the forest. Nine and a half hours today, how are you feeling? We're not messing around, okay? That's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling serious. Okay, well, there's one two range. So maybe we don't want to put Mulder in the forest. This way. I 
like Molder in the Forest against uh I think Molder in the Forest is fine. I have I put my faith in Bolt in Molder the Boulder. We need to make sure Tana doesn't die is the issue. We can Kanto back. If we do this and drop Ross down. She can then canto back to here. Who can attack her here? Nobody, I don't think. I think she's totally safe. I think she's totally safe. Ross has the hatchet equipped. It's probably for the best. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We also might not be okay. That's fine, right? 15 damage. Great armor, Knight. Strength, skill, speed. Zero damage. <laughs> you think you can stand up to wreck it, Ross? That was easy. Ross is not messing around. <laughs> you think you can stand up to wreck it, Ross? Nice Lance Reaver. Hey, the trainees get the same level ups. You got a Lance Reaver. <laughs> Send that to the convoy. Yep, Amelia's dead. Who said she was two stars? Well, we know where to put Tana. Amelia's currently in the forest, right? Why did she mess around? Do we just stay here? Like, we don't actually have to press forward, do we? Let's just wall here. Oh, we kind of do have to press forward, though. That's sort of what we were supposed to do on this map. Maybe Javelin from here, and then a Javelin from Ephraim. Why is your armor knight made of glass? Because she is Amelia. I think normal armor is too heavy for her. Reinforcements to come. We do want to push forward. But I, I don't want to be W. I don't want to be one trial disadvantage against these guys. I wish I had a Volnary. If I had a Volnary, that's what I would do. Let's do this. Let's equip the Iron Iron Sword. And let's just get the support, right? Canto back and heal. No. I don't want to... I, I, we're so much better than Ford, and Ford has the javelin. He's going to get chopped. Eleven 
damage. 11 damage. Do we? I think we die to one armor knight. Or one axe hit. We do have weapon triangle advantage. We have to dodge both of these, I think. We know that we're not messing around with this guy, right? Oh. My hatchet uses! I'm not messing around! You think you can stand up to Ross- Wreck-It Ross? Maybe we'll get speed this time. At least we got resistance. Foul sorceries! Ross, stop messing around. Okay, we're fine. Now we can't die. Because they would both have had to hit us. Do we double? Okay, I wish we had one more strength. Actually, I don't wish we had one more strength. That would be bad, actually. Oh, the weapon level increase. Ouch. But we're going to have to mend anyway, so I think that's okay. Oh, there's still the hand axe, you're right. But hand axe has terrible accuracy. And we got speed. Oh, we did! This is the same thing we got last time. Stop messing around, okay? I don't need res. Can the hand axe even reach us? Not anymore. It could have reached us, but it didn't. Okay, we survived that turn. Come on, Amelia. 69. There's nothing else she can do, right? We should have given Ephraim the... We should have given Ephraim the... The Axe Reaver instead of Tana. Okay, Amelia level. Strength, skill, speed. needs to be healed. This guy has a lot of health. And we do double and kill him. I think we're okay to do this. Could dodge. Good dodge. Could dodge, good dodge. Could dodge, good dodge. Definitely have to mend Franz. Hopefully Franz can kill that... Not even full health, our magic stat. Not enough. Armor Slayer does it. Well, um, slain? I guess. You think you can stand up to Franz the Fraud? Franz the Fisher! Could you have crit in the first hit, please? Okay. The danger is past, but we're all the way up here. Okay, Ross is not messing around. So he can go stop those pirates. Can Tana kill this guy with the javelin? She cannot. She can not with the iron lance either. I guess she'll just toss a javelin from here.
Because we need her to get this thing. Maybe. State 3. Wish we gave her the energy ring. That would have been nice. That's fine. Armor Slayer. We don't get double, do we? I know it does weigh us down. phase. Okay, we're kind of okay here. We know there's going to be cavalry reinforcements from behind us. So we've got to move through here. There's no way we can deal 18 damage to this guy, right? Oh my god, terrible. Okay, Ford, how do you do? Terrible. With the Iron Lance, a little better. Amelia can deal 7 damage with the Javelin, right? can kill this guy, right? Oh, yeah. That's good. Can Franz kill this guy? With the Iron Lights. Ooh, one short. could get a steel lance out of the convoy and do it. What is Tana doing? Tana can do that, right? What's this guy have? An iron sword. Can Ross get this? Oh, because Ross should kill this pirate. He definitely is in support range. You're right, he just wasn't in support range. My mistake. Let's move a little bit further up, right? There we go, that's what we want to do. I, I, looks five stars to me. Maybe we should have given Tana a Vulnery or something. Okay, and then Tana goes over here. And Javelin's this guy. She has 13 HP. I don't think she dies to the mercenary. That's good. You think Tana might get doubled with the Javelin? How much does this guy have? 13 speed, wow. Yeah, she might get doubled. I guess we'll see. These guys have, they just have iron axes. I think for now we just chop this dude, right? Look at this water walking gameplay. Is this a double? Oh my god, it might be a double. If it's a double, we're dead. long been prepared for this day. Too long. Shouldn't have done Javelin. Shouldn't have done Javelin. Is this the most... Is this the last time I didn't tell Kaga? 
Yes, it was. Ah. Uh. This map is really difficult. Are we sure she's five stars? This is what we did last time. She probably doesn't get doubled with the Iron Lance. Uh-oh. Well, this is kind of okay, because... They don't, like, reach her. Yeah, that's fine. That actually means she doesn't... You think you can stand up to Franz the Fraudulent? That saves us. This timeline's going better. Ouch. Gotta get those sick crits with our armor slayer. Ouch. Franz the floor spar. Well, Selena still has that title for now. Okay, I think what we do because of that is I think we heal Franz and just move him down. But before that, we have Ford attack. Because Ford needs the support bonus. And this guy is accurate. AccuView weather. Ouch. And then next turn, Franz can attack the mercenary. I don't think this mercenary one rounds this guy. That should be okay. Slim Lance? I mean, we don't die. Got a lot of XP. This guy's definitely dead. We want to get the secret book from this thing. The ballista range is that much. Tana needs to dodge a ballista no matter what, right? I assume Tana dies at full health to a Ballista shot. Let's check. I know she's really injured. Eight might. So that goes to 24. So it just adds 16 to 13. She doesn't die in one hit. She doesn't die in one hit. Because of the Angelic Rogue. Good idea. Let's get... Let's get an Elixir. That's what we should do. Good strategy. Do you know what hoarding is a pitfall? Refresh. Okay, and then... I think we're okay, I think we're okay. We're not messing around, okay? We're not messing around! You think you can stand up to Wreck-It Ross? You've gotten that on the first... Hit, please. My Iron Axe durability. Just don't die, bro. If he gets crit, I guess he dies. Hello? Is this FE6? Ouch. Dussel's finest. Do they all have to survive for the Knight's Crest? Uh-oh. That's right. They all do. 
Dude, that's so bad. Okay, that's good. Actually, Dussel's finest! No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Is this FE6? Okay, at least he doesn't get doubled. Actually, Deuce was finest. Hello? Oh, well, it's fine. Is this FE6? We're looking good now. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Franz needs to kill this guy is the thing. And he doesn't. Not even close. Because both got... Because both of them missed this guy. Oh, this is so bad. But does he one-round them? Can they survive one pirate? Might have to. Rescue Ephraim with Amelia. Have Mulder give him to Ford and then drop Ephraim and Ford down to him. Also, there's, uh, there's Wyvern Riders here. Yeah, we have to save all of them to get the Knight's Crest. Dussel joins if left alive? Okay. This map is kind of tough. You can heal here. Five damage is fine. We have 11 crit. This was a disaster, but these these can take one more round, I think. Who can this guy reach? We can kill that guy with two javelins. If we crit this guy... I, mean, I think this works. Hatchet by Gary Paulson? Hatchet by Gary Paulson? And then Franz over here. Armor Slayer? One short, we have 12 strength. So unlucky. I can't believe both of the attacks against that mercenary missed. Amelia's gonna die to these reinforcements. We might be able to rescue her out, though. Okay, that's actually really good, because this guy's on this terrain. And this guy's not gonna die. 
Unless he gets crit. This is so bad. Dusel's finest. And this guy's an Iron Lance. Oh. We take 15 damage here. Well, at least nobody, nobody on our side died. Ouch. And we double kiss the steel lance. Dusel's finest. Oh, hey, thanks for helping, Dusel. We're in huge trouble. We're in huge trouble. We, we, we might have to... What we probably should have done is we probably should have promoted Franz. Promoted Franz is what we should have done. Promoted Franz here would have been a huge help. But if I promote before level 20, I lose out in stats. Javelin from here, and then let him kill himself on us. We need Dusel's Finest to not miss both of their attacks this time. Did we get the crit again? Yeah, you think you can stand up to Friends the Fraud? This is, this is a very difficult map, even on vanilla. But it does have a lot to do with Dusel's Finest. What we really want is, if we get Ross down into the water, Ross can kill all the pirates, they're just gonna suicide on him. Or do we focus on killing this guy? Things that we can't even just kill this guy. But the hatchet does a lot of damage. I think I would rather just get rid of this guy. If I do it from here with the hand axe... No one can attack me anyway, and I'm a tile further inland, which I think is good. We're gonna do it from here with the hand axe. That's a terrible hit rate. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. You think you can stand up to Wreck-It Ross? We're not messing around. We saved a durability. Can Amelia kill this guy? No, she gets done. I think we do the same thing where we mend Franz. We just have to get less unlucky, I think. With Dusel's finest. We're still in a tight spot, but. We 
We do the thing where we, we get her the elixir. If only they had Ross luck. Iron Lance equipped. I should have attacked with Ford first. We lost the support. It's fine. It's hopefully fine. Yeah, that's a good hit, right? Tana does this. Ooh, maybe we should have unequipped the Javelin for better dodge against the Ballista. Alright, Dussel's finest, don't let me down this time. Okay. Does she trade the Reaver to Ephraim? I don't think Ephraim needs it, right? We dodge it again, that's good. Very good, very good. Don't attack the... Fool. But at least he doesn't get doubled. Okay. Don't tell Masada. Okay, Tana's definitely doing this. Or does she... Does she get the village and then go? I think she gets the village and then and then goes. So none of us have to hang back for the village. Just gonna get the village. This area of the ocean is often blanketed in a thick fog. I toiled and rid myself for many hard years when I was still sailing. We always made sure we had torches and the like ready. Oh yes, and there's this. This torch staff shines just as bright as any normal torch. Of course, if nobody you know can use it, it's uh, just so much extra baggage. Will you take it? Oh, go ahead. I'm planning on resting my old bones here for good. My sailing days are done. Thanks, man. Okay, let's deal with this. The soldiers are less scary than the mercenaries. This guy has a sword. Franz can deal 11, though. Franz can do this. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Gotta heal here for sure. Ford full move can give support too. Ephraim cannot melee this guy. But he can attack from there for 17, which is a lot. And then maybe Ford with support can kill him? Ford has to do 16. Come on, from melee range with an Iron Lance. That's 12. That's 12 damage. Level 12. Level 12 with 8 strength. I 
temple for the javelin. Alright. Iron Iron Lance and uh Iron Lance and Chill. And Amelia just flees. Do we trust these guys against the pirates for one turn? This guy's been hit, though. We know that this guy dies to... No, we have to wall this guy off. Trust no one. One turn against the pirates should be okay. Critting would be very nice. We didn't get it. That's fine. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. That's really good. They're just gonna attack big damage. But then he has healing AI, right? So he'll just retreat. One turn should be fine. Dussel's finest. Dussel's finest. They would, they would do better on actual hard mode. Oh boy. This is tough. As if the obsidian... I'm not worried about the obsidian. Don't worry, the obsidian is okay. We're worried about Dussel's finest. That's the issue. The obsidian is fine. Kill this guy. This guy, I don't think, dies to this guy. If I do this... Oh, Ross should rescue. Ross can rescue, right? Maybe Ross rescues. He rescues this guy. This guy has the Iron Lance. I can just kill this guy. If I go over here and I kill this guy... That other pirate won't attack me. Let's try this. You think that guy gets doubled by the Merc? But he, he has the sword. This guy with the sword doesn't get doubled, I don't think.
We've seen him be doubled before. It was the other guy. It was the Iron Lance guy that got doubled, I think. Should have attacked with Ford before moving Franz. You know we need the Iron Lance. But Ephraim is okay to attack with the Javelin. Wish we doubled. Right, let's see how this goes. This guy I don't think gets... No, if he gets doubled, he dies, right? Let's rescue him. Let's rescue him. I've got to do everything around here. What you do is have Ford rescue Ephraim. Franz drop Ford to block the top of the choke point, then Kanto back to block the rest of it. Is there a good reason why I'm not seeing Cormag right now? Because this is a Nintendo PC version. So you play both Erica and Ephraim Root? So some things are different. So for some reason they decided that Cormag joins on Erica Root, so that's why. If I go here, I give support bonuses to Franz. He doesn't need them, right? So I'm not attacking this guy anyway. Ephraim has to not get hit by these Draco Knights. Wow, 100% hit with the supports. Would we rather do this? Do it with the javelin. Now we're closer to here, which might be important. Nah, let's do it with the guaranteed hit, right? That's probably fine. You had a bunch of fun in this room, but I gotta head to bed. Wish you luck on finishing the map. We didn't finish the map. Why are you going to sleep? You think that's acceptable? You think wrong, pal. pal. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never complete my research. The beds must be burned before the interns fall asleep. Isn't that a bit much, sir? Burn down to their frames! No one goes to sleep until our research is complete. Damn it! If my interns abandon me, I'll never rescue Dussel. Good night. Thanks for watching. You think you can stand up to Franz the Fraud? We did not need that. Would getting Ephraim to recruit Dussel help? That would help. Ouch. Okay. No game audio? I, I did click on it. Hello? It's a Nintendo PC error. Ouch. Hopefully this guy backs up and heals. I don't think we double him anymore because we're weighed down. That's very unfortunate. Ah, 
circle. It was fun while it lasted. Built Ford Tough. We are getting destroyed. Phantom Ship's gonna be fun. Ford the Failure. At least we haven't used the Tower of Volney. We need RNG manipulation to complete this map. We should have promoted Franz. That would have made a huge difference. Bronze from here does give support bonuses to Ford, so we'll use the Javelin. Yeah, we can still go back and promote him. We have the Hatchet equipped, which I think is actually what we want, since it's the most accurate, even though we missed. And then we move really over here. And then I think we just have to kind of hope. So now Ford can't get attacked by that many things because Ephraim's in the way. So Ephraim now should tank the, the Dragon Knights. These mercenaries are pretty scary. We need this guy to go back and heal. Hopefully Wreck-It Ross doesn't miss this time. That's unfortunate. We really have to dodge these, that's good. You think you could send up to Ephraim the Eviscerator? That crit is very good. 4%. This guy was going to attack us anyway, so we're not suffering from success. That does hurt, though. Big tanking. Okay. Dussel's Finest are okay. Great. Okay. We made it through that turn, first try. Don't tell Masada. Now what do we do? We are one move short. Does Amelia just cower in a forest? I think Amelia and Mulder just cower in the forest. I don't know what else they can do. Mulder might just have to tank. Gotta get over to kill this for the secret book. mercenaries. Well, they, they can't reach Dussel soldiers, which is good. This guy has to die. Ephraim's not really scared of these guys. Get a drop, right? Division? 
Ross is holding a sword guy. Okay, yeah, and we can drop him onto a pirate. You're right. Maybe. Before we do that, let's see here. Ford can kill that guy. Which is probably correct, right? If Franz does this, then that mercenary cannot reach a sword cap that I dropped to the left, right? So I should be able to just do this. Drop this guy here. And he should be okay, because he has a sword. Oh, he's retreating. That's perfect. Two attacks here is not going to kill forward. And forward gets a great level, which is going to make it much easier for the rest of the map. At least we got skill. Just use an elixir. Oh, that's good, that's good. Please heal. And we can, we just, we double this guy now. So, you, you think you can stand up to wreck it, Ross? I want all the pirates to attack Ross. The ones that attack Ross will just die, because we double them. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. I wish I wasn't using my hatchet. But we don't really need it now. We're, we're kind of okay. about that. Not worried about that. Oh, hand axe. Back up and heal, bro. Back up and heal, bro. Okay, good healing AI. I really want to retreat this way. I think Mulder and Amelia are stuck here. Tana can kill this thing. Takes her two turns, though. Whew. This map is really intense. <laughs> This is really fun, though. It's really fun. This guy is blocking the hero crest, though. Alright, forest cowering strategy. How many of these guys have javelins? Just one, okay. I'm glad they didn't give you a reward for killing this guy. There's no way we can. Oh, killing edge. Or slayer. We're just gonna have to let those go. There's no way we can get them. I'd rather get the hero crest from here. For 12 res. Lunatic mode. Okay, Ford needs to elixir. He 
can actually buy a Volnery from that shop, right? do we really should have promoted we really should have promoted Franz because he doesn't just go to Paladin the reason why he's five stars is because he's gonna get a normal promotion I don't know if you guys knew <laughs> megas, are back. megas are back if we had mega Franz this would be easy only we had Mega Bronze. Thanks to uh, Gold Sle the real Gold Sleazy, for 50 more imported cheese subs. <laughs> 50 hit pin missile. Well, now we're gonna clear the map for sure. Thank you for the scholarship. Mega Franz equals Seth. Let's think about this. So, Ephraim is kind of doing okay. We are going to be cowering here in the corner. Amelia in a forest with the Slim Lance. With Dussel. Or with, um, Molder. Your fake name is actually Franz. Is it really? A crit here would be really nice. Ten percent chance. Ten percent chance. Maybe we should have given Franz the killer lance. I don't want to support Ford. Vulnerary Antitoxin. You're right, he probably needs to take it from... from Ross. Can't Kanto back into support range, unfortunately. What's that sound? It's a line notification. Oh, we can actually. Okay, so all the units are still safe. This guy gets attacked, but he has a sword. So we actually... We don't want them to suffer from success. So we want to kill the weakened one. Ephraim, I think, is okay. He's pretty buff. Five damage. Zero damage. And he can pull out an elixir. Ephraim is okay, I think. Oh, he's surrounded. But he has the Pocket Dimension Elixir, so I think he's actually okay. Ouch. Oh, that's good. These mercenaries on Lunatic are so scary good. 
actually Dussel's finest. Okay, and they're not attacking Amelia. <laughs> That's good. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Oh, th th he's actually Dussel's fine. Is this the 313 Archer? Is this the 313 Archer? Hi, Dussel. Thank you for your assistance. Help us! What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, I just have a mobile game going off. It's not a mobile game. It's uh messaging app. It took us so long to get here. Don't don't tell Kaga. If we do this, I think we can also get the hero's crest. So here's the plan. We go here. No, we can't do that. The issue is, we, I want the hero's crest. We have to rescue that guy. We're one strength short. We kill him this turn. And then we have two more turns, right? Rescue with Tana and visit with another unit? That's what I'm trying to do. Can rescue last turn. You're right, you're right. Can rescue last turn. Okay. We can still do it, we can still do it. Tana level. Her last one was good. Strength, skill, speed. Not great. Ephraim is in a bit of a pinch. We definitely need to pocket dimension here. Look at this. Javelin. Elixir for sure. Let's not be stingy. We can't really go anywhere, we're a little boxed in. Can anyone else kill this guy in one round? I don't think so, I think it has to be Ross. Well, this guy's looking pretty dead. There's some cool green items on the calves. You mean these, right? The Killing Edge and the Horse Slayer? We're not getting them, okay? They don't drop any items. They don't drop any items. It's a visual bug. Forget it. No way. Do I have a full inventory? I don't. Let's, uh, let's not be stingy, okay? Let's just elixir. Hoarding is a pitfall. Hoarding is a pitfall. Refreshed. And hey, we get the evade boost from being on a vendor. Alright. Brothers! I think we're in the clear. The worst thing that can happen now is Amelia dying. Great unit, by the way. Two stars for sure, right? Just cowering in a forest with Molder. Where's that guy going? Ouch. 
Hey, we're gonna get an Ephraim level. This is fine. 50 hit rate, though. Oof. We do have the Iron Lance. Still have the Ghost Ship map to do with these. I think we might do a Tower of Volney level before Ghost Ship. Any objections? I think we have to. Don't double, but we do get a level up. Level 17. This guy's the main character. That's great. Defense is really good. Like, look at this! Hey, now we uh, 2 a KO him because of that strength level up. Okay, just don't get doubled. Well, she doesn't die. And hey, we don't get doubled. Where's the javelin guy? Ouch. Is that the javelin guy? Okay, well... We didn't get doubled. God. Oh my god. Diesel's finest. Two turns left, right? Yeah, two turns left. We did not use the tower, no. But, look, these are extenuating circumstances, Jack. If we're using Amelia, the draft race rules let you get Amelia to her first promotion because she's so terrible. If we're using Amelia, we're going to the tower, okay? I think that's fair. Okay, we can rescue and visit next turn. And Ross can make it. Javelin this guy? Weapon level increased. I think... Ephraim's... It, it's, it's not like we can go anywhere, so I guess we're just gonna sit here. We don't have a sword slayer or anything. We can kill this guy from across the wall. Killer- oh, Killer Axe accuracy is not great. Does killing that guy actually do anything? If we move back and... Hatchet by Gary Paulson? Could crit this guy. 16 damage. Can... One short. But Armor Slayer is stronger, right? No, Armor Slayer is the same. One short. One short, man. One short. Well, we're not really concerned with killing them, right? I think we just wait. We actually don't want them to attack us. Ephraim can get a Volnary. We're gonna be economical, okay? Franz the Fraud and Ford the Failure. Seth would have killed? Yes, I agree he would have. Ross is totally fine. Okay. So the, the thing that could happen is that Amelia could eat some javelins and die. But it's very unlikely. We can actually do this. This is totally free. Because we're going to heal her anyway. Her dying is actually very unlikely. 
I think all three have to hit her. Which is extremely unlikely. Kyle is our last hope. Our Franz is okay. I don't think Franz attacks here. You could maybe javelin this, uh, well, we could do this, right? If we javelin that guy, we do that. It's one less unit, right? And it also means that Ross can't be attacked, although we don't mind Ross getting attacked. We actually know that Ephraim kills that guy anyway. So because of that, killing him with Franz reduces the attacks that Ephraim takes by one, but Ephraim's fine. I think I'd rather have the avoid from here. Let's just javelin this guy. You think you can stand up to Franz the Fraud? Does this hack have hard mode bonuses? No, and the normal game doesn't either. Seven damage is fine. Oh, it's actually zero damage. Okay, Ford the Focus dodged both. That was really good. However, he got doubled, which is really bad. Okay, Franz, please prove yourself. Are we sure this guy's five stars? Ouch. Hey, at least that hurts less, because we got a defense level. And we missed him, so the enemy did not die. Dodge is a different car manufacturer, though. <laughs> Franz the Feeble. Well, our defense is okay now. It's ve Defense is very useful. God, Ephraim has to do everything himself. Everyone who says Sacred Stones is too easy, Evermood has some pretty hard maps. This is hard even on vanilla, yeah. That's bad. Alright, now we're in danger of dying. It's possible. But we have to get very unlucky. Both of the other ones have to hit us. We're fine. So, Amelia can no longer die. In fact, she'll get a level up from the experience. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Are we sure she's one star? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Great armor knight, by the way. Last turn, last turn. This really does feel like a survive map. We are teetering on the edge. Don't tell Kaga. Okay. This is free. Twelve XP for free. And we get the Molder XP, so don't say that Amelia contributes nothing. I think we need promoted units for Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship is the hardest map in the game. Alright, we gotta get this loser off of the village. We're going on a seaside vacation. Ford sucks, so he can visit the village. No good. What? You. You're no good, Ford. Champshire silence. This. Huh? I found it. I can't use it yet. Goodbye. Uh... Is she talking about herself? She's definitely talking about Ford. Okay. Ford.
Franz. I guess he loses his evasion. Three tiles, right? One, two, one, two, three. If we go here, we're in support range. We need to heal. And Ross doesn't have the elixir anymore. 21. We can deal 21 damage, right? Oh, yeah, we can. Just move Ross. Flip them. If we do that... If we do that, we get the support bonus, but then we don't get... Hatchet doesn't kill, so we have to use the Iron Axe. We do have the true hit system, though, so we are favored here. That's bad. We can shop? We can actually heal, right? We can actually do this, because we're a Cavalier. So what I want to do is, I want to buy a Vulnary. I want to use it? Oh. I guess I was too Cavalier. May as well get in support range. Alright, let's hope Franz doesn't die. I think Franz is okay. I think Franz is okay. Unlock utility. That guy's healing up. Okay, that's good. I don't think Franz can die here. Which is all that I'm worried about. He also can't suffer from success because he does nothing but fail. So it's actually good that he didn't kill that guy. One damage. And a miss. No 1-2 range, please. Are we going to suffer from success? Maybe not. I don't think anyone else can reach that spot, right? That other Cavalier might. No, but he's attacking Ephraim. We're okay. So now we just need, I was going to say Wendy, we need Amelia to not die. But the fact that I almost said Wendy is very ominous. Okay, we are in danger of dying. Both of these have to hit us. We are in danger of dying. You think you can strike Franz the Phantom? I guess that doesn't really start with an F, but I was thinking really quickly there. It all comes down to this. Come on. Oh! Thank you, Kaga. We're okay. We did it. We survived. <laughs> Are we sure Amelia's one star? Oh my god. They've held on for too long, with so many one-star units. If this continues, General Volta will have me. Prepare a ship. We must flee, quickly. B but General Volta, he'll be so angry. We're doomed either way. General Volta will never forgive our failure here. If we stay, we'll be devoured like those other fools. Our best bet is to give up and escape with our lives. Commander Baron, wait! Prince Ephraim, the remaining enemy troops have fled. I don't know why, because they were about to massacre us. Is this the best chapter in Fire Emblem? I thought it was supposed to be Conquest Chapter 10. That was really fun. I really liked it. People say that this game is boring. <laughs> what? Maybe they're just playing vanilla, though. That was really intense. I see. And what of Dussel? Is he unharmed? Yeah, because he didn't do anything. <laughs> That would have been so easy if Dussel actually attacked. 
Yes, this way. Prince Ephraim. You've grown to be quite the impressive commander. Ephraim was doing it big. He was keeping the glue industry alive, slaying cavalier after cavalier. I remember what a stubborn young lad you were when I taught you. Any skill I have, I owe to you, Dussel. I'm curious, why are you being pursued by your own troops? Senior citizen silence, come on, Dussel, tell him. Speak to me, Dussel. I want to put an end to this war. I'm sure you feel the same way. Dussel, he asked you for an answer. I just realized, did you know Dussel turns blue if Ephraim talks? Oh, I knew. You might have noticed. I wasn't exactly able to move Ephraim any closer. As you know, the Emperor was once a man of compassion. He loathed war and he worked to build peace across all nations. Then, one day, that all changed. When the Fire Nation that Sibling silence. Come on, Ephraim, speak to us. But why? Why did he change? What happened? I wish I knew. But if you're looking for a likely cause, I have one. This all seems to have begun when Prince Leon... Lion? Did he say this? That's Leon. Ah, it's Leon, okay. When Prince Leon and the mages created a strange gemstone they referred to as the Dark Stone. The Dark Stone? That's what the clerics and the prince called it, at any rate. Now, I'm just a soldier. I don't know anything about these magic man things. But they said the Dark Stone is more powerful even than the Sacred Stones, only for the Game Boy Advance. Dussel, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I think if it's called the Dark Stone, it's probably bad. Like, why did they call it Obamacare, right? It was doomed to fail. They should have called it something like the Affordable Care Act, then people would have liked it. Names are really important. The Wii U failed because they called it the Wii U. Obamacare failed because they called it Obamacare. And the Dark Stone is definitely evil. And the Sacred Stones, only for the Game Boy Advance, had the power to defeat the Demon King. If the Dark Stone is stronger than they are... Ephraim. What is it, Mer? A wave of evil I felt surging from the capital. It consumes. It envelops and transforms. This power can tarnish the purest of souls with its corruption. Are you saying... This Dark Stone was responsible for the change in Vigard? The timing fits, doesn't it? The stone is created and then... Dussel, where's the Dark Stone now? It's in the capital with Prince Leon. He's been carrying it with him ever since the day it was created. Understood. Dussel, I'm going to the capital. I must talk to Leon. Maybe we can restore the Emperor together. I'm going with you. You'll be fighting Grotto's army. Your own men. I appreciate your concern, but I've already been branded a traitor. Prince Ephraim, if you mean to save my lord, the Emperor, if you hope to restore him to his former self, then you have my lance? Then I will pledge my loyalty to you until your cause is won. General Dussel! Men! I owe each of you an apology. I stood there, like Dussel the Doofus, instead of actually helping. You've served me well, and I've betrayed you. You speak nonsense, General. We are your men, no matter what happens. If you must leave Grotto to fight with Frelia's men, then our place is at your side. Your road is our road. My brave men. I'm getting old. I'm a sentimental old fool. We asked to be allowed to join the Frelian army. Prince Ephraim has many soldiers. 
He doesn't need us with him. Please, send us older soldiers off to fight with Frelia. And may the gods of war smile upon you, General Dussel. He's actually a great knight. A knight's crest. So many resets for the knight's crest. Prince Ephraim, we must now take to the seas. The Frelian army is readying a ship for us now. We have some time to rest until it's ready to sail. Right, we'll take a break then. Tell the men. The road ahead is bound to be a rough one. Who are these guys? Well, hello there. <laughs> Tell me, are you all waiting to board a ship? Uh, yes, we are. I recommend that you abandon your plans, my friends. The locals are too frightened to set sail upon these seas. Is there a storm coming in? No, no storm. Demons! Some sort of phantom ship commands these seas now. A phantom ship? Yes, but you needn't worry for long, my friends. I plan on purging the seas of that pesky ghost ship. Oh no. Here we go again. <laughs> well said, Princess Larchel. I, Larchel, am destined to become the protector of the seas. Fare thee well, strangers. Come, Dazla, we must find a ship. <laughs> Sounds fun. Come on, Renek. Honestly, Larchel, do you even think before you set these plans? Are you aware you're level one? Oh, please, someone end my misery. What was that all about? Prince Ephraim, our ship has arrived. Let us prepare to board. Something troubling you? No, it's nothing. All right, here we go. Chapter 10, Turning Trader completed. There was no Killing Edge. There was no Horse Slayer. We got everything and we got it first try. Chapter 11, Phantom Ship. Not today. Not today. Seth suggested we take a rest. I think we take his advice. Good lord. Eleven hours. Eleven hours. For this. Six defense armor knight. How many maps did we get through? We got through a decent amount, right? Like four or five? We only had two units to review, right? It was just Amelia and uh, Tana. Oh my goodness. We are not going to phantom ship like this. No way. We need, we need promoted units. We need promoted Franz. We need promoted Mulder. It's document time, yeah. We'll review Dussel when we start Phantom Ship. So we'll review Dussel next time. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go... We're going to go Tower of Alney. I know that grinding is cringe, but we are on lunatic mode. And we are using Amelia, okay? If we're using Amelia, we're allowed to go to the tower, okay? You can't begrudge me this. We're getting 2020 Molder. We're, we're getting Molder the Boulder, and we're getting... Franz ready to go, okay? That's what we're doing. We're gonna need him. We probably won't promote Tana. So, t next stream, we're gonna start with Boster's Tower, and then we're gonna go into Phantom Ship. That's gonna be next time. So, last thing we'll do today is we're gonna review the Sacred Spreadsheet.
before that, we do have to do some housekeeping. And by housekeeping, I mean... I have to play... I mean, you, you know what's coming. We haven't... We haven't gotten a single hammer yet, but... You should still smash that like button to help increase the reach of the stream. And of course... An army marches on its stomach, which doesn't really relate to what I'm about to say, but... Of course, I'm trying to say that the behind-the-scenes support of the Patreons is important. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all of your contributions. Without you, we definitely would have given up. <laughs> oh, no. And thanks to all of the generous donations today. I think a hundred pin missile hits from Gold Sleazy. Lots of generous donations throughout the course of this grueling game. I do think that this lunatic mode actually makes it a lot more fun. I am really enjoying this, but man, Amelia sucks. Baguette wasn't even in this stream. This is good background music to check out the spreadsheet too, right? Are you sure you want to leave YouTube? Yes, go to site. Alright, let's see what's new on the spreadsheet. This one, I think. Okay, we're back. Franz, when he has 90% chance to kill the enemy. Franz the Unfortunate. Oh. We did get uh, two new... All the stars are here, by the way. So Tana, five stars. Blue hair must be two stars. Hey, no, Tana's the exception. Does she even have blue hair? I thought it was black. Amelia, one star, but seven star in our hearts. She tries her best, okay, but I'm not impressed so far. I'm not impressed. Oh, this is new. Well, this is basically... So, it's Vanessa praising her mount, which is apparently named Titania. <laughs> She's saying, like, you're always a good girl, Titania. I think what they're trying to say is, promote her to Wyvern Knight. But the thing is that the Falconite Wars are over, right? The aggressor conceded defeat. They admitted that Wyvern Knight was better. So at least the, the Falconite Wars are over. We knew that Wyvern Knight would win in the end anyway. Duracell, my favorite unit? What is this? <laughs> Bat oh, level double A. Max HP 10 years. Strength 1.5 volts. All these other stats are terrible. And it has no resistance. Nothing in its inventory. Molder the Moldy. The best FV8 character. Hey, it's Ariados. <laughs> Remember him? He was in this stream. The Sacred Stones. There's too many of them, though. There should only be five. If Garrick is not four stars minimum, the world will burn. I mean, don't worry. Garrick is four stars, so spoilers. <laughs> it's the backseater. Hey, streamer, hey, streamer. Ooh, nice color version. <laughs> Who made this? How do you pronounce his name? Is it is it Lion? I think it's Lion. It's spelled like Lion, right? Because it has a Y. That's Leon. I guess it's Leon. Great work on this. The Chain of Memory sprites. They fit really well. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Well done. Hatchet by Gary Paulson. It's about to break, though. Damn it, this. Can I get some more pixels, please? We got Wreck-It Ross. <laughs> 
Uh, actually, Fire Emblem 8. Alibasba.com. <laughs> I just downloaded the Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, and the first thing I got looks like Ron Swanson. The horse is named Butterscotch. You made this, right, Lab Agent Ash? So I guess the horse is canonically named Butterscotch. It's hard to see in the emoji, but I really like that they gave Franz a toy horse. Fine. I may be young, but I'm every bit a knight of Renee. I'll fight to the end to protect the princess, just like you, sir. Franz talking to Seth in a support conversation. Five stars, by the way. Barely four stars. This is not our Ford. Our Ford is worse than this. Our Ford has eight strength. So this is not a fair comparison. I'm sorry, General Seth. I don't think Franz really underperformed this stream. I think Franz is fine now. Ford is definitely not fine. The cav life of Ford and Franz. Uh, it's it's gonna be the cav life on deck next stream because we are going to Phantom Ship. The sequel show Cav Life on Horseback isn't as good as the original show. The Cav Life series really dropped off when they started spamming boat maps. The Renek Fox. These are very high quality memes. You should put these on shitpost emblem. These would do very well. Oh yeah, great chapter title. It's a trap. Oh, we gotta celebrate their fifth super on a live stream. I know this line. It's from... It's from our Sigma male friend. Did they edit in Slugma? They did. Do you think Grotto slugs could touch me? Excellent, excellent. A plus memes, well done everyone. Did we get all of them? HMO4 strength. I, I, so let's see. Who is actually strength screwed? It's Franz a little bit. It's Ford definitely. Amelia's strength is actually pretty good. The Amelia tab is new. Oh no. Oh no. She's five stars. It says it right here. Rose of the War Amelia. Oh, hello there. I am a soldier in the service of Grotto. I'm a hard worker. My name? Oh, right. It's Amelia. <laughs> I'm not used to being so casual. Well, she said it. So she's not a casual, which means... Something to do I sacrifice two interns. I can do that. Makes it tricky for me. And I summon... The Almighty Gate Guardian. Negate all added effects from casual creatures, but you still take the damage. Amelia the Armored will choke this point. You can either waste your time breaking your weapons upon her armor, or just save yourself the trouble and surrender now. That's what I would suggest. Amelia Bedelia's first day of school. You could add you into this. Hey Amelia, come outside. Can't, getting huge. What? Huge. Huge! She did get plus four con upon promotion. Welcome, XX Demon 23 XX, to the YTC Institute. Weeks later. Hey, look, Amelia's good in general. Can't argue with this. Definitely undoctored image. I mean, 393 wins. Or, th four, only 243 wins, sorry. Lord Cheese, the beds are not but ash. Even the coals are cool to the touch. We are well past weary, my lord. How you persist in this endless now is beyond me. I'm not a casual either. Okay, we're almost done, though. Amelia chan Renshu. So this means... It either means that they're practicing drawing Amelia chan or 
Amelia-chan is practicing. I assume it's the latter. People really like Amelia, right? Hey, we got... The gracious gift of convenience. Thank you, XXDemon32XX, for the five-hit pin missile. I think this Amelia we did see, right? Oh, no. All right. I'll give it everything I've got. She does her best. Is this Amelia? It... face looks kind of different. I think that's supposed to be Amelia. Why is she using an axe, by the way? Wow, look how strong she is. She must have good strength, right? Ours actually does have good strength. <laughs> Minarai Sanin Gumi Gambaru. The three trainees do their best. Wow. Kanose wa Mugendai. Their potential is infinite. Who printed this propaganda? <laughs> this is, these are like flyers from Grotto trying to get you to use bad units. Absolutely not. The FE8 Christmas Cavaliers and the cooler FE8 Christmas Cavaliers and Judith, I guess. Is this Amelia? VTuber Amelia? Is she actually named Amelia? I mean, she just has blonde hair. It's Amelia! <laughs> hey, this Amelia has flying movement. The Virgin Paladin Amelia. Worst, availab worst availability starting stats, starting level and stats than Franz, Kyle, and Seth. People who care about efficiency won't use Amelia anyway. True. Tiny sword. I mean, that's pretty big. Player needs to use OP classes in one of the easiest FEs. Crit animation doesn't even make sense. I don't know about that one. The Chad General Amelia, preferred promotion path of YouTube commenters everywhere. True. Sword larger than most enemies. True. Mech armor. Mere existence sends elitists into a rage. Best crit animations next to Swordmaster. Is that true? It's up there. It's up there. I like Warrior a lot, but General is really good as well. I think Warrior is second best, but General is, I think, a third. Only moves across the map slowly to give the enemy army a chance. Sure. Complete weapon triangle domination. Actually true. Doesn't even need to move to attack. It just throws axe back. It just throws axe and yanks it back. Yeah, the general attack animations are really cool. They they get a huge downgrade in Tellius. The Tellius Armor Knight animations are very silly. <laughs> You're teasing me again, aren't you, Ewan? It doesn't matter how you wound up here. Your skill with the bow is amazing, Naomi. Oh, God. I did... Yeah, well, this is the actual... This is the only actual non-Amelia propaganda. You want the actual Amelia experience? It's this. Her death quote. The Amelia Wars. Well, we know who the general of the Amelia Wars is. It's Amelia herself. Alright, I think that's everything, right? Excellent work on the sacred spreadsheet, guys. Well done. There's something in the bottom? Okay. What lurks below? What lurks below? Oh, I didn't see this. Uh-oh. These are really high quality. Who did this? Nino Amelia Swamp. Is that Amelia? Or Nino? Oh no, is there anything further down? There's a lot of space. I think we're safe. Difficult question. Who is worse? Amelia or Nino? I 
think it's actually Amelia. I think it's actually Amelia. Because we were on Hector hard mode. Nino can deal damage on Hector hard mode. Amelia was actually useless. I think Amelia is worse. Something was added at the bottom of Magvel memes? Okay. We are also playing on a fan-made lunatic patch, though, so... Although Amelia is... Uh-oh. They'll never find me here. There's a traitor amongst the convenient clan. Somebody revealed their location. How did they know we were here? And why do you conceal... a pin missile within your doublet? Truly, the conspiracy goes deep, all the way to row 1000. Okay. I think that, probably, Amelia is worse if you don't use the tower. Excellent work on the memes, men and women of the YTC Institute, but 90% men. Alright. So, very last thing we'll do before we end. This is very good meme review music, I think. Last thing we'll do is... We already asked people to equip a hammer, smash the like button. We thanked the Patreon. We'll just quickly look at the units we have again. So Ephraim, are we sure this guy's four stars? Super good. Fought off the entire Grotto army last chapter. Really, really good. Ours is really good as well. We only have uh, 24 Regileaf charges left, but we might actually use the Hamern staff on the Regileaf. It's so good. Franz the Fraud. Our speed's okay. Our defense actually caught up as well. Our strength is pretty bad. Are we sure this guy's five stars? Molder the Moldy. Horrendous. Horrendous levels. So bad. We are so far below average, I'm actually very worried. Ford the Fraud. Maybe Mecha was right. I'm looking at a level 13 Cavalier with 8 strength. I think we got skill every single level up, but I don't care about that. Our speed is okay. Our strength is so bad. Tana only had two levels, but she's doing alright. Amelia is slightly below average. But it's slightly be below average as a one-star unit. Atrocious. Did you miss Dusil's star ranking? No, we're gonna do it next time. By far our best unit, our only hope, is Wreck-It Ross. Our Ross is very good. But never forget what it took to get here, okay? He's only two stars. Also, we used a Secret Book and a Draco Shield on him, but even without those, it's looking good. We might actually hit the Strength Cap. On average, from here, we do hit the Strength Cap of 30. We just need a bit more speed. If we can reach 20 speed by the end, which I think does require a bit of luck, I will be very happy. I'm already happy. Good job, Ross. You love his idol sprite? 
Hey, we have 13 con. No, we no longer lose speed to the hand axe. So it served us very well. Six more charges on the hatchet by Gary Paulson. Maybe we hammered the hatchet. One work shift later and the man mad life still going. Is Ross even still here? He's right on screen. He saved our lives. We're just about to end though. So next, uh, next stream, we are going to start off with the Tower of Volney. We're going to promote Franz, we're going to promote Mulder. Probably will not promote Amelia. And then we're going to do Ghost Ship, and we're going to review Dussel. That is the plan. I guess that's our strategy for the next battle. Thank you everybody for joining. Sorry that the Amelia chapter took... 76 turns, I wonder why that was. Oh boy. Only two units reviewed today. We tried our best, okay? I don't think I have to save, right? We saved before this. Eleven and a half hours. What a casual thought this was an easy game well it is easy you don't use Amelia and if you play on hard mode I think lunatic was actually the correct choice this is very fun I do enjoy being challenged like this even if we have to use our Nintendo PC to our advantage go to bed it's only 6 30 p.m. but this was my entire day obviously I need to eat <laughs> It's too late to jerk, but maybe I can buy mangoes. I'm processing what to eat. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna eat something. That's the plan. All right, thank you everybody for joining. I hope to see you next weekend for probably not the finale. I doubt we're gonna finish the game, but we are going to probably finish both routes, and then next week we'll probably finish the game, I think. But who knows? Alright. Welcome to all of the new interns. Unlike Grotto, okay? We at the YTC Institute treat our workers well. Especially when they offer $5 microtransactions. Just like Ross Walker, our best unit. Thank you for the $5 microtransaction. Ross Power, have food. Thank you. Let's celebrate their fifth super on a live stream. <laughs> Hopefully it becomes six. Not just because we want more money, but also because it'll prove that... Something is wrong with Gold Sleazy's donations for some reason. We treat our interns well here, okay? We treat them well. We give them free massages. Hello? Hello? Okay. Didn't quite work. That did not work at all. We asked the audience, what question do you have for cheese? Big question for many. Why did you not optimize your Nintendo PC? <laughs> well, the thing is that we did. Uh, this is a next-generation Nintendo PC. Uh, this stream has a lot of stuff going on, so the fact of the matter is you may need to upgrade your viewing platform of choice. But I think that this stream has a lot of great things going on, and the fans are responding awesome. I did optimize it. I don't know what's going wrong. I pet one intern. 
Why are you poking me again? Poke, poke, poke. Is that all you do? <laughs> and I cast. One with nothing. For one cheese man at instant speed, you can discard all viewers. Wait, why would you ever play this? 